Hello, everybody. Happy New Year. It's 2024. What the heck? What the heck? Oh my God, it still feels like 2018. Oh my God, we're all getting old. Time is a cruel mistress. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Happy New Year. Happy New Year, everybody. 2024. I think it's... I, I think everyone in the world is in 2024 now. I think. I don't know if there's like some island off of America that's still behind. But I think everyone's 2024 now. I haven't, you know... <laughs> I've been making dumb dad jokes. Like, <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I've been making dumb dad jokes all year. And I was about to say, I haven't streamed in a whole year. I haven't streamed all year. Well, my friends are already upset at me. I've been making a lot of those jokes. <laughs> Jam Jam, good to see you, mate. Thank you for the lurk. Dude, that's my, those sort of shit jokes are my favorite. Are my favorite. Don't talk about being old, you young whippersnapper. Dude, no matter what age you are, there's always someone older that's like, oh, you wait till we're my age. When you're 20 and you're like, I feel so old, and there's a 25 year old, or oh, you don't know old yet. <laughs> I'm sure if you say you're old, then there'll be like a, a, a 70 year old, 80 year old someone that's like, you don't know old. <laughs> How was everybody's New Year's? I hope you guys had a great, great New Year's. Um, <laughs> I was meant to be live a little bit early today. Um, I set a timer for an hour just to do some like work that I've been uh, neglecting, and then I ended up doing four hours of i'm i've neglected a lot of stuff i'm very behind on stuff I, I so i've caught up on all my emails from september so i uh, was starting the year off fresh i'm up to date on all my emails i still got to reply to a few but i went through i went through thousands of bloody emails um so i'm up to date on the emails i got to reply to a few things but there's stuff in the background that's been worked on. I'm so excited for this year. I'm so excited. It's going to be so much fun. So much fun. Also, Fang, what is this bloody Genji main? This isn't the content I was looking for. Did you have too many bevies on New Year's Eve? Did you forget that I'm a filthy degenerate Genji main? How could you forget? How could you forget? <laughs> oh my god. Also, I went through the, I found the clip, Fang, of uh, me screaming about the Dark Souls where I said there was going to be an enemy. I featured it on the stream. Um, I might, it's probably down the bottom, the featured clip. That That is the most scared I ever was all last year. Easily. Easily. Just like calling you whippersnapper. <laughs> Dude, if, if someone's like three months younger than me, I, I call that as well. I'm like, respect your elders, you young whippersnapper, you bloody youth. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, Damon, I'm a year younger than you. Yeah, you, you're, you're, you're a baby. You're a toddler. <laughs> you hit your mates with haven't eaten in a year, 15 minutes into the new year, I was booed. That means it was effective. As I was leaving uh, my mate's house, like New Year's Eve, we, we would have left like you know, 12.30 or something. As we were leaving, I was in the car and I was like, oh my God, guys, I haven't had a shit all year. And my friends were just like, for fuck's sake, just go, get out of here, get out of here. But I hope um, I hope everyone had a good New Year's. And if you got up to anything fun, let me know. Now, the club looked fun, fact. Actually, the club looked horrific. Like 10 years ago, I would have loved that, sitting in like a, an EDM club blasting music. But it looked terrible. Like, I would hate that. But I love that little booth you had. A little booth you had. Um, I don't know if you want to put it in the Discord. But that little booth was super cool. Super cool. I've got a good night, man. This is one of the one of the few years that I haven't started the year hungover. I had a total of two beers. Responsible. I think I don't even think I drank a carton last year. We did a shoey on my birthday, and I don't I don't know. I don't think I drank at all last year. Um, progress. Progress. So I, we're going to play some Overwatch tonight. Um, I don't want to do a super long stream because I want to get up early tomorrow. I want to get up at like 6 a.m. tomorrow. And I also kind of want to go to the gym um, tonight. <laughs> so we might go for like three or four hours. We'll see how we go. Um, in bed by 10 a.m. Love it. Love it. Also, what a surprise. Every time I log into Overwatch, <laughs> every time I log in, I'm probably responsible for like 500 people last year getting muted. Stop, stop telling people to kill themselves in video games, idiots. <laughs> or stop, stop bullying little old Genji mains that are throwing your games. Okay, L let us live our lives. Let us live our lives. <laughs> so I haven't actually played Overwatch and I'm drinking a strong iced coffee right now. Oh, 10 p.m. Yeah, of course, of course, of course. I should have picked up on that. I love that, man. I love that. Like we, uh, um, we only had uh, four of us last night hanging out for New Year's. Um, there was meant to be a total of seven. Oh, big party. Um, there's only people that I want to spend time with. They're like, I love those friends to death. 
Um, but yeah, like we were yawning at like 11 p.m. Like it's just, I'm 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 way more interested in like starting the new year, like fresh and awake and productive than starting January 1st, like hungover, getting out of bed late. You know, I can do that any time of the year. <laughs> I can do that any time of the year. Also, I don't know if you're still lurking, Jam, but yesterday I showed off the photos because we're doing the, the recap. One, your photo is my favorite one. The drawing, the uh, um, uh, Jam Jam, the science man. Also, B said that this Mercy skin has got him feeling certain kinds of ways. And uh, yeah, I kind of agree. Holy shit, bro. Holy shit. Oh, there's Hanzo. Where's Ash? I see Bob. Where's Ash? Ash is Bay. Ash is Bay. So I haven't played this in... Let's have a look. Let's have a look at the history. I haven't played Overwatch in bloody ages. Hey, Fluke, dude, I was going to insult you on Twitter. It's so hard. I really want to insult people, like, publicly, but it looks mean. It's hard to convey context if I just, like, start yelling at you on Twitter. <laughs> because Fluke was one of my one of the four streams that I just watched, um, like, my top favorite streams. Um, I was going to say something along the lines of, like, mate, I'm not watching you. I'm just watching your perspective so I can see... I can see I can see myself from your perspective so I can watch what, you know, my fans and my crowd. How, how do I look? How, how amazing does the Genji look from your POV? You know, most of your POV is, is uh, being, de being dead, you know, so there's a lot of when you're in spawn, you're watching my content a lot. Um, so that 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 those hours of watching your stream is just me watching myself and I just have to deal with you. <laughs> I also wanted to. This is going back, going back a bit. One of the tournaments, I think, I think Jif was like, I'm going to sleep you in the tournament with Anna. And I wanted to type, I'm going to commit elder abuse on you, Jif. But <laughs> I don't know if that's an appropriate joke because Anna's a grandma. That's what I wanted to hit back with. But it's, uh, <laughs> nah, dude, I love hanging out your streams, man. I love hanging out your streams. I feel like we're like, we have the same brain. Um, but if I, if I ever do be too bantery and you get sensitive, let me know. Because sometimes I overstep the line. Sometimes I, I'm not great at predicting how people's sensitivities and stuff. <laughs> we got to do we got to do the Shimada Brothers this year, surely, dude. Surely. Um, little little uh, TLDR. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Jif, don't watch the vod. Don't watch ten seconds ago. Don't. G oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Jim, it's good to see you. Oh my god. Uh, all right, TLDR. Jif said he was going to sleep me in a tournament on Anna, and I wanted to reply. I'm going to commit elder abuse on you, but I didn't because that's mean and it's like. But I wanted to reply. I just want. <laughs> that's that's the TLDR. I was just saying that I was just I wanted to insult Fluke, but it, it like typing insults on Twitter, it's hard to convey tone and like banter. So I, I try to be a little bit more professional. <laughs> Hi Kyle, good to see you, mate. Good to see you. Kyle, I mean, can you remind me? You won't remind me. I, I want to send you a message about something. I'm always, I'm going to forget, but one of us, if one of us remembers, then cool. Hopefully I remember. Um, good to see you. Cupid, good to see you. Yo, Damo lad. Damo lad is, okay, is your name Damon or Damien? If it's Damien, you're wrong. I am also a fellow Damon. Welcome to the stream. It's good to see you, Kyle. Good to see you, Jif. Jif, how was the bloody, uh, how was the, the games? Today, you're, you're, you see, you're diamond, right? Diamond support now. Woo, let's go. Wooly Mike, good to see you too. And Cuba, good to see you. Thanks for the raid, man. I appreciate it. I will forget. Yeah, me too. <laughs> me too. <laughs> Don't worry. Next time I see you, it'll trigger that memory. Like, oh my God, I was supposed to do that. And then it, the next time I see you, you know, by October, I'm sure I'll be damn you. Um, it's good. Thanks for the, thanks for the, the, the raid, Jif. I appreciate that, man. How are the games today? Damo Lad, thanks for the follow. There's not many daemons around. We've got a few daemons in the Discord. We're collecting them. We're collecting them. Now, do you know... Um, There's like so many, so much personal questions for a brand new viewer. Why were you named daemon? Because I was talking to another daemon in stream the other day and we were discussing like what, why we were named daemon. It's kind of a cool little little backstory. Not bad for a plat player. Yeah, I mean, well, Jif is the reason I'm Masters. You know, thousand hour Genji mate, a two-time tournament winner, a caster... Um, what else do we do? We don't know. Torb hammer gen. I've got I've got multiple Torb hammers in grand finals in tournaments. Oh, fantastic, fantastic! <laughs> oh, welcome in Forest Forest Cross Mouse. 
Forest X Mouse. Interesting name. Interesting name. I want to know more. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for coming by, guys. If you guys are brand new here, I'm, I'm Scary Drop Bear. I used to be a, uh, a Dead by Daylight nerd of like four years. I, I just did Dead by Daylight. Um, and we got not too bad at that. And now... I'm doing kind of variety FPS, just chatting, mental health stuff. We're a big dickhead. We fuck around. We've got Steve Irwin outfits. We've got crocodiles. We've got all sorts of silly stuff. All sorts of silly stuff. You might have seen me around some of the tournaments in the Australian Overwatch community in the last six months. Um, we won the first face off with Team Quality. We won the Lockout Legends 3v3. Uh, we casted AOL. Uh, we casted Siege. What else we cast? We casted DBD, but that was years ago. Years ago. Thanks for the follows, guys. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Um, did you have a good new year? What did you guys get up to? <clears throat> oh, that would have sounded great if you'd say it without stuttering. What are you talking about, Fang? Fang is very spicy this new year. I don't like it. You're going back into mod dungeon. Mod rent is increasing and the chains are tightening, mate. Chains are tightening. Oh, you're DBD? Oh, dude, I, I was a DBD sweat lord, man. We did we were, did the light and the fog stuff. We I was known for one hand Billy. So I'd play one hand hillbilly while smashing a bevy. We just drift around, blast EDM and sink a beer. Um, or 360 Huntress. I had a friend's house. Oh, nice, dude. Nice. Well, you can't have been kind of been too silly. Kind of been too hungover because you uh did a did a big stream today. Awesome, man. Awesome. Games are rough. Monday's usually rough. Really? Monday's usually rough. Interesting. I noticed that during school holidays, the games are dog shit. <laughs> During school holidays, my God, don't let your kids on the computer. It's terrible. There's like, a, you, you get like three days in and you're like, why are the games so bad? That might've just been a plat mentality though. When I was in plat, I was like, why are the games so bad? Oh, school holidays. I don't want to play games with people that, that play three hours a week or three hours a month. I don't, if you're a new student, you're studying, you're working, don't play with me. I only want to play with the nerds. I want to play with the, the filthy degenerates. That's my, that's my, my creed. <laughs> I've not played DBD in ages. I only played it twice last year. I played it for um, uh, when Nick Cage came out and I played Alien. Um, the worst very see Really? Interesting, Jif. Interesting. Some bad games. Oh, rough. Rough. No idea. I mean, maybe it's worth asking because um, one of the... Uh, uh, the other day when I was talking to you, the name comes from an old Greek story about friendship and uh, saving this friend. This, this old, like, fable, which is really cool. I was named after Damon Hill. The F1 driver, because my dad's a racing car driver. Um, I prefer Damon Wayans, personally. Uh, before we get into games, because um, we got a bunch of new people in here, um, <laughs> if you want to get a rough idea of the dumb shit we do, um, uh, one of my friends, I'm actually good friends with Morgan Freeman in real life, um, and he did a little, a little shout out for me, so this is what you're in for. Who is Scared Drop Bear, you may ask? Is he an esports professional? Might be the wind condition of the game. Absolutely cleaning up. It is a massacre. Oh my god, drop in, getting the jump headshot. Winner is Mr. Scary Drop in. Is he good at video games? <laughs> I just hit a great skill check by hitting the space bar with the bottom of the beer. So far. Or is he simply. A meme lord. No, he is none of those things. He is, in fact, a dickhead. Press follow and hang out live. Otherwise, who really is the dickhead? Still him. Thank you. So that's the stream. Or a dickhead. We have fun. We do silly things. We do silly things. We have a good time. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> and we've done a more silly things recently. I just got to edit the videos and stuff. Um, all right. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. I like I hit a uh, when I won that first tournament, I was literally plat. I've been a plat Genji, plat diamond Genji since release. Um, I don't do voice chat. I hide chat. I just I just I just like fully ADHD Genji. Um, that's about it. I can play other stuff as well, but I, I care about having fun on Genji more than I care about winning. But we bloody, uh, we're too high rank now. We're too high rank now. We're too high rank. Like, plat four, plat one, plat one, plat one, <laughs> master three. <laughs> see, see what you can achieve 
in different games when you don't play Dead by Daylight 18 hours a day every day, look at all the free time we have to rank up. So now we're uh we're, we're Masters 3. But dude, the games are hard. The the games are like they're scary, bro. They're scary. Um I open this up for the history. When was the last I guess we played a week ago. We must played a week ago. I don't know what I was what I was doing a week ago. Okay, so I played last week. And I lost four games in a row. <laughs> okay, so we're probably gonna be pretty rusty. I've been really liking the finals lately. Been really liking the finals. Um, I'm gonna do something unfucking heard of. Something unheard of for my stream, and I'm gonna do a quick play game to warm up. Um dude, like honestly, Masters games are fucking they're so hard, bro. Like I'm a sweat nerd. I was a sweat nerd. Sweat lord nerd idiot. <laughs> but it's so hard. It's um like my tank players are bloody like literally top 400. Um, I keep bumping into grandmasters and stuff. Oh my god, I, it's so. I mean, in the tournaments we were versing top 500 hit scans that were damage boosted on my Genji, and we were doing okay. But it's terrifying for me. I shouldn't. It's, it's terrifying. It's terrifying. Wow, Fang. Wow, that's ableist. And if you do it again, you unmodded. How dare you? How dare you? Um, you're too spicy today, Fang. You're too spicy. Uh. I see some new people in chat while I was ranting. Who's here? Who's here? I see some people. I see some people. Uh, Alb's here. What's up, Alb? And people's here. Hi, people. Good to see you both. How was your New Year's? How was your New Year's? I've been um, I've been doing some morning streams lately. Also, I <sighs> we've been on front page for the last three months, and I was wondering why we weren't we weren't appearing on front page. It was because I had the mature content filter on, and I forgot to turn it off. So we wasted. Most of our front page slot. <laughs> Moron. Moron. Um, I was going to say. But yeah, I've been streaming in the morning lately. However, um, that's why we haven't been playing Overwatch. Because uh, the queues in the morning are very slow. Because, you know, people in Australia, like, go to work and have lives. Unacceptable. Unacceptable. Um, put on our fancy skin. Our fancy skin. Um, why do I recognize that name? Is this a tournament player? Did I cast this over this person? I recognize the name. Maybe I'm just getting confused. Getting confused. Your, your brother tried to convince mum to name you Sasha after Sasha Baron Cohen. Thankfully she didn't. Sasha's an interesting name. Is that like a is that like a Polish name or something? I think Sasha Baron Cohen's some form of um something. Is that a um I think Sasha Baron Cohen's amazing, but I don't know about being named Sasha. I don't know. It doesn't seem like a very modern thing. What even is life? I don't know, man. I don't know. People just keep talking about like going outside and touching grass. I don't know. It sounds scary to me, man. It sounds scary to me. That is pretty funny though. Your brother tried to convince you. <laughs> Determination and luck. That's right. Luck is just hard work meets opportunity. Oh, it's an ash. Spooky. Oh, dude, winter. Also, I didn't realize King's Row is my favorite map. King's Row best map in the game. You, ne there's ne you never have a bad game with King's Road. Dude, my volume's wrong. Why is my volume wrong? Um, tell me if it gets too loud. My volume's definitely wrong. Overwatch is... I don't know. The sounds on Overwatch have felt strange in the last, like, three months. I don't know why. I'm going kill Winston here. i kill Junk. Oh, not with the, not with the boost. Oh, nice anti. No! The in immortality field! Oh, oh you little shit. Immortality field disappeared. R.I.P. Kings Row is somewhere. I, I miss... The only reason I miss... I mean, I don't really care about 6v6 or 5v5. Uh, they're both... Seem, I just play Genji. I don't care. Um, it's harder with 5v5 because if you have one brain dead tank player, it's tough. Beforehand, if half if you have one tank, brain dead tank player, you might have one good tank player. Um, but uh, Ryan Zarya, Kings Row. Was there a better state of Overwatch? Was there a better state? If you say yes, you're wrong. Get out of here, rat. Ooh. I'm dead here. Yeah. I'm dead here. Do we have a DPS Moira? Ooh. Ooh. What do we got? Who opens Who opens Winston on defense? I mean, it's a quick play. Winston on defense. Do you hate yourself? Almost got up and got ready for work. I have an automatic alarm. Oh, dude. It's just that muscle memory. It's just that habitual. Yeah, do you start tomorrow? You watch it. Most people are going back tomorrow. Most people are going back tomorrow. I got an email, like, like a kind of cool email I want to send, um, but I'm, um, I know that everyone, the businesses are closed. Um, Monday. 
Which is also, <laughs> the shops are closed. I bloody wasn't paying attention. Gotta get that Mercy, but she's Valking. I can get her now. Oh, she wasn't Valking. Damn it, damn it. I had to reload. I had to reload. I was tempted to blade that. I was worried about the Bob. I was waiting, I was waiting to reflect the Bob damage into him. Oh, this Winston is, he's hunting for my booty. You snooze it twice? Oh my God. Did you actually get out of bed or did you sleep in? Because if you have an alarm set and you're like, I gotta get up early. And then you realize, oh, hang on. I actually don't have to get up today. But if you still get up early, it's like you've got the whole day. It's like you've just time traveled. It's like, oh, I don't have to work today. It's like when you open the fridge and you find like a chocolate bar or something. You're like, oh, I didn't realize past, past Damon. That was a no reg. I see the Mercy respawning. Probably wants to res the Anna. Oh, who killed the, oh, we got our, our rip tire better than their rip tire confirmed. Always be nice to your support players. Seriously, like if you wave to a Mercy like three times in spawn, you have like a 90% chance of them pocketing you. You have a 90% chance of just getting the res forever. If you just, if you just say thank you to your supports. Oh, flying rat, get out of here. Oh, I was gonna Anna on him. I, I, I don't know, I should test this. I should start making Overwatch like tutorial content. I wanna test it. I'm fairly certain in like my playing experience that a full health Genji with cooldowns versus a full health Winston with cooldowns, you can win that 1v1. You can win that 1v1. Like, I have no issues fighting a Winston. But those triple headshots and... Oh, I shouldn't have dashed because... Oh, nice! Good fight strike. Should get the Mercy buff. Can we get her? Oh, big anti-reflect. I'm dead here for sure. Yeah, she hit her shots. <laughs> Me and Anna are like fighting and Ryan's just like, all right, good luck guys. And just sends it to their spawn. Did our Ryan kill their... Uh... Our Ryan got... The Ryan got the Mercy. I love an aggressive Ryan. How are you, Drunksy? Good to see you, mate. Do you have good news? Oi. Dude, Rat versus Genji, you lose that fight always, man. Are you ready? Oh, not with an Anna on you. That is... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What is this is like 5D chess communication. Like, the Anna is just perfectly there. I mean, I did miss some shots, though. Oh, my God. I got baited so hard, I fell for that. Playing comp this year, recently transferred from console to PC. I'm terrified of touching comp to get used to keyboard. I mean, that's fair enough, Cuban. Dude, don't stress, man. Like, just prepare yourself. People are going to be assholes. People are going to be nice. Doesn't matter how good at the game you are. People are going to be nice and people are going to be assholes. You're always going to have weird people in games. So if you do badly in comp, that's fine. If you get placed in bronze, that's fine. You know, you'll get placed at whatever rank is competitive for you. So, you know, don't be afraid of comp. I only play comp. Nice. I knew the trap was going to be there somewhere, but Winston's fat ass blocked it. Oh, shouldn't double jumps. I'm coming, dickhead. Ah! Fuck, is he invisible? Oh my god, I'm going to die, aren't I? Is he invisible? Who was he? Was he, he was like under me. Okay, our Ryan might be a little bit too aggressive. Our Ryan might be sending it a bit too deep. What's Liger's quote? Either he's 5 k or he's inting off the map. I think this this Ryan is, uh, I mean, he's still, he's still alive. Junkrat, no Wraith. Happy New Year's, happy New Year's to you too, man. I'm glad you're doing well. Ooh. Shouldn't have worked. Oh, he's got, that's why it was so deep. Ooh, big, big fucking, that's huge. I'm going for this. Damage boost is spicy though. I think she wants to res. Is he escaping? Oh my god, he's full health. He's full health. I think... Oh, come on. Give me that block. Give me that reflect. I think, um... Um... Oh, I don't have Moria anymore. Okay. I was going to say, I think the Winston Bubble's blocking the Moria heals. We're just trickling. We're just trickling forever. Oh yeah, dude. Um, we were actually watching, watching some of his charges in one of the tournament yesterday in the recap. Um, 
And as he raided me, he's like, why are you watching me? I'm like, because I still have PTSD from that long ago. Hello? Where did... Damn, I'm bad at tracking. Oh, I know why. I know why. Lucio. I blame Lucio. I blame Lucio. <laughs> Five seconds ago. Don't you blame your supports. No, it's... um. I, I'm, I'm not very uh, I'm not very good at uh, diving with Genji when I've got the Lucio speed boost or the Kiriko speed boost. It just changes. It just changes. Like, I'm way more inaccurate. i got to get used to it. Um, oh, really, Drunksy? That's super cool, man. Were you, like, were you always in the Overwatch and the DVD community? Because I obviously met you in the DVD community, right? That's super cool. I've um I've really enjoyed being part of the Australian Overwatch community this year. I'm gonna hit you by that one. Oh, I love I love I actually do love the dive. Oh my God, rack get out of here! I was so high in the air, my dude. I was half health. I was so high in the air. Oh, RIP. You, uh, like, it's impossible to have a bad game on King's Row. <laughs> DPS, you suck. <laughs> okay, Reinhardt. <laughs> okay, mate. <laughs> Unbind your charge key. Good luck next game all. <laughs> That's the nicest insult I can give him. <laughs> I said this to most Reins. Like, most Reinhardts should unbind their charge key. You put something heavy on your M2, hold your shield, your job is done. Um, <laughs> we gotta keep warming up, and then we'll jump into some masters games, dude. I'm actually, I'm actually scared of master grandmaster games. It's spicy. Couldn't go back to sleep. Check your phone. Oh, nice, nice. It's, I mean, it must be like yeah, 8 a.m. or something for you, right? A support player approved this message. What support do you play, Forest? People, I mean, like people just uh, people that are like insult other people. Either, I mean, most um, oftentimes they're wrong. Like you should always, you should always try to look inwards, you know, instead of going, oh, it didn't heal me. Well, were you out of position? Was your Anna around a corner? Like pay attention, you know, but people are, when people fail, it's, 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 it's painful to admit I failed because I made mistakes. It's easy to go. I, I'm really good at the game, but I failed because my team was bad. It might be the case, but you got to be a little bit, a little bit humble. Ooh, as much as I love this skin, we're on the, uh, we've got to put on. The ice wrath skin. The ice ice wraith skin. Yeah, just jump into comp, man. Don't stress. Just jump into comp. 100% survivability buff. That's what she said. Nice. Oh no shit. Dude, I um I don't know. I have the I think the VOD's probably expired. Um I bumped into Tawny in a in like I was offline in a matchmaking game. I destroyed them. I felt so bad. Like it wasn't personal it was just because they're playing support but uh they captive sunned twice and i bladed them twice in the air they uh they vowed and i bladed them while they were vowing it was just like they were just it was just it was mean it was mean i, I had a team supporting me as well oh, you missed me. Oh, nice nice look at a sombra oh and a kiri okay and a widow i'm gonna die here aren't i Where's the Sombra? Hmm. Sombra can't, doesn't, can't survive. Oh, that back is low. Nice. Sombra is really tough to survive now. Kiri is actually so powerful. Oh my god, I'm bad. Um, that Kiri buff, where she goes from 40, uh, 40 health healed to 80 from a protection Zuzu, that is such a huge buff. You, not only are you invulnerable, you're invulnerable for like a quarter of a second less now, which is like, okay, fucking cool. You're still invulnerable for ages. You get invulnerable. You get uh, like instantly 80 health. And if it's cleansing an effect, if it's cleansing an anti or dynamite as well, I think, um, it gives you an extra 30. So you, pr you pretty much go to full health. Bring it, bring it, nerd. Ah! Hindered. Fun mechanic. Ah, oh, I wish they increased. 
<laughs> this is a biased Genji made opinion. I wish they increased the reflect. Like, oh, I was reflecting. I wish they increased the like the angle of reflect because sometimes I'm reflecting forwards and I get hit from like that direction and it kills me. I'm like, really? Or like it gets hit in my toes and I'm like, how do you not reflect it? Ah. <sighs> Is it? See, I just don't see any toxicity because I just never join voice chat. I just don't care. I don't care about people's opinions. Most people are idiots. <laughs> and, you know, sometimes I engage with it because it's funny, but like, I just got sick of like parenting everybody. You know? Oh, nice. Nice, Auntie. Uh, is it just Rissa? Rissa Kiri. Horse, horse bro. They were running Doom. Horse makes sense. No, we weren't. No, they went from Doom to Horse. Weird. I want to play, like, I've only, I've never played support. I've never played tank. Um, I've never done it. I want to do my tank placements this year. Um, <laughs> maybe I should just become a Ryan main and just like, just like battle, battle Liger. Can't be that hard, bro. Can't be that hard. Torb hammer way, fuck it. Okay, good shot. Torb hammer way more important. Than She's still got a telly though. Damn. Zoning blade. Oh, you missed the grenade. I'm still dead. I'm still dead. I was holding like four of their team hostage there. We should win that. I should have got a kill though. Damn. It's Genji's typing into this comp because they've all got survivability. We did cap that. Junk wing going off. Junk wing going off. You know the trick quick play like comp? It's so silly. Like quick play is the is the the whole reason for that mode is that you can throw, like not <laughs> you throw, but the point of it is that you're it's a, you're okay to be dog shit. That's the point. Like when people the, when people in quick play go swap heroes, do it. It's quick play, man. It's quick play. It's like the point of it is to be quick play. You just you can leave, you can join, you do whatever. There's no um. There's no bloody. Um, I ha like if, if people are like yelling at you to play meta in a quick play, it's like, it's so silly. It's like, well, don't play quick play then. Well, then where are you supposed to go? Where are you supposed to learn? Quick play is, uh, like you, it's, and if you get, if you get angry at anything in quick play, it's silly. It's, it's ridiculous. It makes no sense. Junk Queen is so much fun. I played Junk Queen for like 18 minutes, by the way, when I was like, uh, doing with Snow the other day. Um, or last year, actually. Um, and like, I went off on Junk Queen. I went, I went ham and they're like, have you played? And then I played Sigma also went crazy. They're like, how much have you played? Um, I was in voice chat with some of his friends. They're like, how much have you played Junk Queen? And I checked 18 minutes. I'm like, that's all I've played. But most, like most tank players, most characters in the game are easy to play. Like they're brain dead. Like being a good junk rat. Okay. You can hold M1. Being a good Reaper. Okay. I saw the, I saw the Mega there. All right, let's get him. Let's get him, Bastion. Good job, Bastion. Thank you. Thank you. He threw his grenade too fast. <laughs> Did the Kiri just eat that? <laughs> oh, they got a Hanjo. Hanjo, hey? He surely Sonic'd it. No? They're all so low, bro. Ooh! Nice shot! Great shot. Yeah. When like I gotta I gotta get out of the habit of double jumping. Because um like I just double jump at all times, but the second you're in the air you have a predictable trajectory. So like if I got a Reinhardt and I'm playing a Grandmaster game and I jump and one fucking head on my hair gets above the shield, instantly headshot, instantly dead. Really? I feel like I feel like misogyny is just um like that is it's not specific to Overwatch or voice chat. The second you give teenage boys anonymity on the internet with no consequences, they're always gonna act like that. Every voice chat in every video game, girls cop it. It's, it's a sad reality. And it's not one that you should accept. One that, oh, I'm an idiot. We should change it. Oh, good counter pin, but just too luck, too unlucky, too too slow. I got cucked there. It's just it's just rough. Like, it's 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 purely anonymity. You give anonymity on the internet, there is nothing stopping someone who's got XX Gamer Lord 360 from just like screaming and swearing at people and telling them like hateful stuff. And what's the punishment? Oh, they get muted maybe if the report system works. You know? 
most games report systems are pretty bad. No one cares. You're making your account. There's no punishment. Um, it's just a sad reality. But if like the problem, whenever I see, you know, even when I play CSGO and stuff, I mean, DVD was a good example. Nice. Woo. Thank you. I wasn't ready for the nano at all, bro. I wasn't ready at all. I was just like, all right, we're sending it. Let's go. Oh, dude, that, that, that's like, that's like someone jackhammering the dopamine center of my brain. That, that is, that is just, oh, that, that makes my, my ADHD so fucking horny. I love that. That's why I play Genji. Oh, I got you. Where's the McCree? There's the Hanzo. He's so low, bro. Oh, I wanted the million dash reset there. They were all low. Oh, that was not a bad blade. Not a bad blade. Um, yeah, whenever like, you know, DBD especially, like there's a part of me, like I love bantering and I love like, if someone's being an idiot and like I have the moral high ground, then it's really hard for me to not like insult them back because I'm generally a little bit wittier. Um, most people are just like, you're gay or like, your mom. Like it's just, people have got the same shit insults for the last probably thousands of years. In fact, I think there's graffiti in Pompeii that says like, Bob's mum is a whore and stuff. Um, but when I used to, you know, when I used to argue with people, um, I just, I like, one of the things I always, I used to always say to people, I'm like, I hope, dude, I hope you're in like a teenager in your 20s. Cause if you're a 45 year old man telling people to kill themselves on the internet, or if, you're, if you're, if you're like 40 years old, and you're, uh, you know, you, you, you're sexist, misogynist, whatever, you know, you have these opinions, then, man, that's, that's like, I don't even, I'm not even angry. You know, you're not going to upset me with those words. I'm just, I feel pity for you. When it's like, if it's like an 18 year old, it's like, you know, I was a dickhead when I was younger. I was a massive dickhead. Um, it's, it, it gets sad when they're, when they're older, when it's like, damn, you just haven't changed. You haven't matured. You know, I used to do all sorts of silly stuff. Um younger and i you know i'm not proud of that stuff but oh no Can't do anything here you can double jump a uh, shadow you know it's okay if you've made mistakes in the past it's just a matter of if you've changed you know if you haven't changed and you haven't grown you still have your dumb if you opinions then that's when it's a problem and also all of that comes from the people you spend time around you're an average of the five people you spend time around. If you hang around with like five guys and, you know, they're like yelling at chicks on the street or they're saying like, you know, oh, I don't like gay people, you know, whatever. If you agree with that, like there's a, there's that peer pressure of like, I have to go with the group, otherwise I don't have any friends. But it's those friends are damaging to you. If, you, if you're ever with a friend and they, you know, say something that's not appropriate, call them out on it, you know? If you're with a friend and they, I don't know, yell at a chick, like, dude, don't you have a sister? Don't you have a mum? Like, that's not very nice. Pull them out on it. And then the second your friends see they're not getting, like, that laugh, they'll change their behavior. It all comes from, like, calling out your friends. Because if you just pretend to laugh and go along with it, they won't change. And if they don't change, then you just find better friends. But you hang around with better people. Because you become an average of the five people you spend time around. Which is low. You can hit me with an Ananade. There's a really cool Doom rollout over the top of you. It's so low. Oh, the healing's insane. I shouldn't die to Ryan, hey? Is she gonna die to the turret? Oh, we made it work. And I reflected that, but okay, game. The reflecting uh, the hinder grenade is so weird. Like they throw it and then like five seconds later, it slowly hits you. I always reflect too early. It didn't even come up and say hinder on the screen, did it? An aggressive diva main. Give me an open to go in. Oh, dude. I love diving with an aggressive diva. So much fun. Especially if you play Farah. Oh, yeah, you're dead here. Oh, nice cleanse. My mistake. I, I fall for that all the time. Um, all the time. Uh, because the second he drops his shield, I assume he's fire striking. Um, and I always, I always end up reflecting the bloody, um, I always end up eating a, eating a shadow. It's like 180 hits in the back. Yeah, the grenade is bullshit. Like, 
when when it was called McCree, McCree's grenade was bullshit, but they somehow made it worse, <laughs> or at least not better. Like, it's it still sucks. You know, like did the change make it better? It's like it's still equally equally crap. Yeah, eat that nerd. Oh, we got a sim now. Oh, full power. What the fuck? Oh my god, they got a Pharah. I was like, is there a junk right in the air? Okay, I can blade this Pharah. Where are you? You dead? See you oh no! That reload finishes in time. I was, I was. That Pharah was fucked, bro. I had that. Oh, they weren't even reloading. Yeah, good shot, good shot. We'll play, we'll play, we'll play, we'll play. My favorite. I'm, an, I'm, a, I'm a Sky Genji. My favorite fucking thing is uh blading people in the sky i love it because when they swap farah or like echo it's like oh a, like a bit of my ego takes up oh, you're trying to counter me you think you can counter me with my counter nah bro i'll kill every i'll kill every farah in the air where'd she go hello protect the owl. We got her. Oh, she Kiri. She has uh, she Kitsuni'd. Also, one of the tournaments that I casted, um, Chris didn't notice either. The whole tournament that I casted, I called I'm just an idiot. My brain doesn't work. Meds aren't strong enough. Um, I called Kiriko Kitsuni the entire fucking tournament, and I called her Alt Kiriko. Like, I was such a, I made such mistakes. Such mistakes. You can go. Yeah, the OPA is broken. Yeah. Um, the the accuracy still works. If you go exclamation mark accuracy, it'll tell you how many hours you've been in the stream. Um, it doesn't work if it breaks if you've changed username. But if you go um, exclamation mark accuracy, it'll tell you your, your watch time. Watch time. Also, Wooly, good to see you, mate. I don't know if I said hi to you yet. It's good to see you. Make it having a flame cheeks in game, then can't, then can't then complain they can't get a gamer girl. Yeah, yeah. Every like every teenage boy wants a gamer girl girlfriend, but. 24-7 in games, they go, lol, a girl. You're a girl in the game. It's like, but, you know. Your brain doesn't fully mature to like 25 or whatever. Um, the second, the second guys hit puberty and, uh, you know, they're snapping tables. Um, the brain turns off. Brain turns off. Oh, I got her. Oh no, I got the Rhine. Well, I'm gonna wait for her to down. Oh, no, I got her. It's on here. Nice. Thanks for the nano. Oh, I tank went off, man. Um, I've noticed as well that uh, quick play games actually are tough. When I, especially when I'm killing with snow and flower and that. Like, quick play games feel tougher than. This is pretty good. Do we plug the Twitch? We plug the Twitch. We plug the Twitch. We plug it. Because we actually didn't do shit. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. I love it. Women scare you. Dude, Dixon had a shirt on one of the streams that said, it's a black shirt, and it says, I'm afraid of women. <laughs> With his GG Easy sunglasses on. <laughs> I love it, dude. Girls are scary, man. How do you talk to girls? It's scary, dude. Scary. We'll do one more quick play game and then we'll jump to comp. We'll, we'll, see, we'll see if we can lose. Top 500 OC Genji. Yeah, there's not many Genji mains. Um, like, a character with high mobility. Like, Genji feels very skillful. Genji feels very skillful. And it feels like it's got a very high skill cap. You know, things like... Um, oh, flashpoint. I should just leave this game. Um, things like... Uh, like, hit scan characters are really skillful as well. Things like Junkrat, Reaper, Mei, Sim. Like, the, the skill cap is a bit lower, I feel. Um, I've been messing around with a bit of Sombra just because, um, specifically for Flashpoint, because I hate, the reason why I hate Flashpoint is because I hate respawning and walking and walking 150 meters. I'm so bored. Um, that's why I love Control, because Control is spawn, team fight, spawn, team fight. There's no waiting. Like, I spawn and I'm doing damage within two seconds. Uh, nah, Genji's more fun, dude. 
and use more fun. I'm a girl, boo. Didn't say anything mean. Just that the, the, we're, you know, we're, we're degenerate gamers, so we're scared of socializing. No, I'm not actually scared of girls. I don't have any shame. I, um, in fact, at New Year's Eve last night, um, I was hanging out with my, uh, like my best mate and his, his wife. I introduced him to his wife like nine years ago. Um, I just went up to her at a pub and I was like, hey, you want to dance? And she's like, no. And I'm like, do you guys remember how you, how you met your mother? Or he's like, hey, have you met Ted? I was like, oh, she's not keen. And I was like, have you met my friend? And she's like, and then she's like, oh, I took my hand off the motion there and got shot in the head. God damn it. I was like, do you want to go dance? And she's like, no, thank you. And I was like, oh, have you met my friend? And then I walked away. I walked away to the bar to talk to another girl. <laughs> and they're happily married almost 10 years. Um, because I wasn't afraid of girls. But, you know, um, don't, don't let fear of rejection or fear of failure stop you from doing things. You know, it's better to try and fail than to never try at all. You know? Oh, we're definitely losing this, aren't we? Oh, we're capped. The first cap is so important. We can stall this out. I can get the hands up. Nice. Can't get the jungle with that. Ooh. I'm dipping, I'm ducking, I'm weaving. There you go, 50%. Oh, just being slippery, just being slippery, Genji. Slippery, slippery, slippery. <clears throat> yeah, the followage is, is not a priority. And you guys have been doing the followage command. Uh, actually, I'm just going to turn it off. After this game, remind me, I'll turn it off. You guys have been doing the followage command like 400 times more than you've ever done it in the last five fucking years, purely because it's broken. You haven't done it. I think, like, no one's done it in years. <laughs> so, I'm not giving in to your... There's other priorities at the moment. But if it's a simple fix, like, one of my mods could just Google it and fix it. I'm gonna get more grills to play because I'm tired of the toxic men. Fair. Fair. Dude, it's awesome. Like, um, you know, the gaming demographic and Twitch demographic, it's mostly like most gaming and, and Twitch stuff um, in general is like uh, guys aged between 18 and 25 or 18 and 35. Um, that's the majority of the demographic, but like, I think it's like 80% or something. And also, I'm just pulling these numbers out of my ass. Um, so, like, whenever, whenever um, there's a girl playing, that's awesome. Like, let's get more girls into gaming. Fuck yeah. It's awesome. And also, you'll probably find that guys aren't toxic if you're good at the game. There's probably like a bit of like sexism where they just assume that girls are bad at the video games. But, I mean, I know a lot of girls that are really fucking good at video games. Jen's an insane Rainbow Six player. Hoshi's Moira is insane. Hoshi's Moira is insane. I'm not sure how she identifies it, if she's a girl or not. Uh, that's, that's, I'm just ignorant here. But uh, uh, their Moira is, is ridiculously insane. Um, Flower Dragon's fucking mercy is also insane. Like, there's there's tons of... Like, being a good gamer is not gender-dependent. Anyone can be a good gamer, you know? Anyone can be a good gamer. Hi, Rikali. Good to see you, mate. Good to see you. I just went into Lucio. Yeah. Wait, wait, are you serious? There's a timeout if you leave quick play games? Also, Kyle, good to see you. Sorry I didn't say hi, mate. Good to see you, mate. Did you, get, did you get much of a hangover? I know you uh, had a bit of a saucy New Year's. Just thinking about how much time I spent here as one of the five people I hang with. Aww. That's kind of sweet. I hope I'm not a bad influence. I mean, I'm technically an influencer, right? Am I a bad influence? I'm gonna blade this. Oh, we don't need to. We've got to pick. He's AFK. Hello? Oh, no thank you. Ooh, dash reset, let's go. I want a solo bloody mate. Oh, we got the, uh, this was the same tank that we were, that was defending King's Row. Now we've got the Winston on our team so we can dive with it instead of the Winston countering my Genji. Beautiful. Beautiful. Are we doing well, Rikali? You're legit one of the most positive influences I've had in my life, dude. You can't just hit me with something that deep and that meaningful in the middle of a game. Thanks, man. Dude, that means so fucking much. I'm At the end of the stream, I'm going to go through your chats and I'm going to screenshot that and I'm going to put that... I have a folder on my computer called, like, Sad Boy Hours. And whenever I feel shit or I feel like I'm not a good streamer or I'm like... Whenever I feel bad, my brain's being mean to me, I open up that folder and it's just, like, nice messages. 
Um, and I, it makes me feel, it makes me not feel like a shitty person. Is it do this better video games? Yeah, also, yeah, this is like, yeah. It's not, um, it's just a maturity thing. It's just a maturity thing. Idiots are always going to be idiots, unfortunately. I'm going to blade this. I don't think we have to. Maybe we just win. Oh, God, never mind. They're dropping three ults, like, 400 meters away from the point. Okay. Okay. Dude, Gamer Girls are super hot. Just saying. Just saying. Like... Dude, a goth gamer waifu? Oh my god, please. Please. Is that screenshot in the highlights? Oh, that's very sweet, Acid. I appreciate that, man. I appreciate that, dude. Got it. But it's not, it's also, it's not about being a gamer girl specifically. It's just about having a partner that shares your interests. That's all it is. It's just about having a partner. Oh my god, actually owning them. This is so unfair, dude. Oh, you can't do. She pre flailed me. <laughs> she was just fucking swinging around one. Yeah, she pre flailed me. Oh my god, that's annoying. When do they swap Brig? Just then? Brig flailed by a Grandmaster Brig. Ugh. About cosplaying a game of waifu? Like, I should do a cosplay? Dude, we're gonna do. Oh, hello. Alright. We have the point. You know what? They're taking out the threat. The spawn came with the threat because we're just so powerful. That's why. That's why. <laughs> that was like when I used to play DVD and you know, you'd get stream sniped or you get slugged or whatever and like teabagged and all this sort of stuff. That, I, I didn't take that insultingly at all. Like that stuff, maybe I molded it sometimes, but I take that as like such a compliment. Like you're, you're going out of your way to target me. That's so cute, dude. Like, dude, rent's expensive. Rent free, man. Thanks, dude. Like, that's what you're spending your time with? You should spend your time focusing on yourself, making yourself better, not not trying to bring other people down. That's silly. Get out of here, nerd. Oh! Flying rat, dude. You can't touch, though. GG. Should I plug my Twitch every game? Nah, bro. I mean, I've met... Like, there's people in the community that have found his badges that have been here for five plus years and I met them from plugging my Twitch. Um, so, like, if you're a streamer and you get, like, nervous at plugging it, plug away. Dude, go for it, dude. Discovery really is the hardest part of it. That's a big shatter, dude. Five man shatter. Oh, spicy. Leave four out of 25. Okay, out of 25, that's okay. We'll play some comp now. I, um, I very much dislike, um... The, like, when you go to leave now, especially in quick play, you go to leave, and there's, like, it's to, to confirm leaving, it says, do you want to leave? And you got to wait five seconds. You have to wait five seconds before you click the button. I am the most impatient person ever. That tilts me so hard. In, in quick play, that shouldn't be there. That shouldn't be there. If I got to, like, if I'm, like, touching cloth, I got to go. I don't want to sit here and wait five. It just tilts me. It tilts me. I don't DC. I don't, almost, I don't DC and I, very much, or ever, but I also don't um, play quick play very much either. Um, I mean, a few people in chat, Rikali, a few people in chat have said they, um, they've started playing, they've redown, I think Amsey redownloaded Overwatch just because, like, I was playing it, um, and she said, I blame you, like, it's terrible. <laughs> Alright. In high school, a boy threw a chair at his friend randomly once, so I don't know why. Guys, guys do dumb shit. Like, even if you see videos of, like, 40-year-old men hanging out, guys always do dumb shit. It, there's no explanation. You can't explain it to the other gender. They don't... It's just... I, I don't even know why we do dumb shit. It's, um... I've, I've definitely hit someone with a chair in a, in, a, in school before. Um, I was in math class, and, um... Or maths. What are they? I'm getting Americanized here. Um, I had this teacher... This teacher was terrible. This teacher told me I'd get liver cancer. He told me I'd, I wouldn't... I'd fail school. I'd, I'd, I'd be back there. That was the only class I did badly in. Um, I did... I did average in like a math class in year 12 and then a year later i was doing advanced biomechanics and calculus and trigonometry it wasn't me it was a teacher um and the teacher remembered me and then like also was mean to my brother but the teacher this teacher was wild he would bloody um he would just leave the class he'd just leave the class look at the textbooks none of us knew anything he didn't teach us a single thing my mum saw him at the shops during class he just left and then in pe class we went to like a gym in pe and like outside the school like a, a separate gym a separate hall and he was at the gym working out 
at like 2 p.m. And the other teacher, the PE teacher's like, mate, do you only have a class? He's like, oh, they're studying. So he wasn't very good. But one of the times he left the, you know, undiagnosed ADHD, I did a lot of dumb shit back then when I was bored in school. One of the times he left the class and we stacked up all the tables on top of each other. And then me and my friend stood on the tables that were wobbly and we, we hit each other with chairs. And he walked back in and like the classroom was fucked. Like, what are you guys doing? You would know if you were here supervising. <laughs> I um I did so much dumb shit in high school. Like, in fact, uh, the, the teachers thought I was the ringleader. So anytime something went wrong, they thought I was a ringleader. Um, I didn't never did any damage, any graffiti. I never did anything like injury or damage. It was just pranks. I did so many pranks. Um, duct taped a friend to a pole, and then we threw water balloons of glitter at him. Um, dude, oh my god, we had a thing at school. I'm missing some time. We had this thing at school. It was called the circle of intimidation. And all we would do, we'd just slowly form a circle around a random person, like a random year eight. We'd just like slowly form a circle. And then eventually we'd just be, well, we wouldn't, you know, we wouldn't fight them or do anything mean. We'd just stand there, just be a circle of intimidation. And then there was a hallway between buildings and the teachers were both on like 10 of us were on either side of the wall. And the teacher walked down the middle and we just closed around him, just silently. And he's like, we're just like circle of intimidation. And then, oh my God, high school was so fun. And then we'd yell, we'd yell disperse, and everyone just sprint in different directions. He's just like, what the fuck? <laughs> Sorry of intimidation, disperse! <laughs> I have so many high school stories. Can't tell all of them. No, he shouldn't have been a teacher. One of my friend's sisters owned a rural pub, and they saw him there in a sombrero, um, intoxicated on many things, dancing in the rain. And then Monday he was wearing like thick sunglasses. It's like, I got a photo of you at the pub on the weekend, mate. <laughs> and um, the second, like, I just, I just torched him. I just torched him. I was like, okay, you're an idiot. I don't care. Even with, like, I, I barely passed. Like, 10 out of 20. 10 out of 20 for mass. Um, I barely passed. Even barely passing, I still got the third highest grade in school. Like, it was just... It wasn't even close. He's like, you'll be back here next year, Damon. You're gonna fail. You're a bad student. You're gonna get liver cancer. You're, you're terrible. I'm like, okay. I wish that person could get a shot. So I could, um. There's the. Dude, they're building off very fast. Is that Malga's name? Girth Control? Love it. Girth Control. Why? What a name. Oh, damn, I thought I jumped over that. That's gonna be painful. Yeah, it's gonna be painful indeed. Sorry, Mr. Some Jack, guys. I will catch up. We'll catch up. Yeah, I didn't realize you were in the uh, the uh, OCE community, uh, the Overwatch community for so long, Drunksy. I'm a guy I like dumb shit. It's just like, dude, we used to play. Anyone play um, like the games in school? You would play. You play Superman, where you would just punch each other in the arm for an hour straight. Fucking why? It's just like so dumb. Or, um, what's that game called? Knuckle something. Or you slide, you throw the coin into each other's knuckles. Blood knuckles. Anyone play blood knuckles? Oh, I was, I was a heavy binge drinker in school. Like we were, we were heavy, heavy binge drinkers. Um, every weekend for like the last two terms, we'd, we'd be going nuts. Um, which is probably why I'm a little bit, we were getting owned. Malga's actually hard to kill. We got a tour. What do you got? Because like, we'd be talking loudly in class about like the parties on the weekend. So, oh, you need to live here. Like, dude, I have a photo of you at the pub on multiple substances. You know, your liver's 50 years old. Mine's fresh. But like, you shouldn't, you shouldn't drink that much. You know, made a lot of mistakes. It's much better to learn from other people's mistakes than to learn from your own. And one of my friends, uh, one of the guys on my stream has got a founder's badge, Mikey. Um, he's, he's great. Um, he's, got a, he's got a great quote. Which is, um, what is it? What's the quote? Damn. What's his quote? It's, it's maybe Fang remembers it. It's something like, it's something like, um, I've spent so long being a piece of shit, I can help you not to stink. That's, I relate to that. I've made so many mistakes in my life, I can help you guys not make them. You know, it's much easier to learn from other people. DJ, what's up, mate? New Year's Day is going good, man. 
It's almost over. It's only an hour left. It's already almost January 2nd. It's all good, dude. Thanks for asking. How's your, uh, how was your New Eve? Yeah, I want a blade -o. Like, we've got to get some form of kills here. Like I said GG. Why do you say GG? It's just impossible to kill this guy. Oh my god, he's so thick. He's so thick. Oh, I got a, a widow now. It was good. Nice, man. The, uh, the time passes so fast. I feel like I'm going to blink and it's going to be 2030. I was talking to my friends about this last night. I was like, the 90s in my brain are still 10 years ago. Nine, not, not, the 90s are 10 years ago in my brain. The 90s are fucking 30 years ago. What? How? How did that happen? How did that happen? Oh my god, I'm in the cage. The one thing I... I mean, I, I hate the cage for a lot of reasons. Um... Widow, just over there. Can't get it now. Don't shoot me. Um, you can't double jump in the cage. Oh, Wooly, please stop. Please stop, dude. Oh, I was telling my friend yesterday, there's that, um, that meme. Someone in, like, a university class um, asked their professor, is it okay if I use sources from the late 1900s? Can I use a source from the late 1900s? Do you mean 1990? Do you mean the 90s? What do you mean the late 1900s? Oh, that, that hurts my brain so much. That hurts my brain so much. The late 1900s. Oh, pain. There was, um, in, in 2021, um, uh, bouncers in America, like the age to drink and stuff is 21 in America. Um, I don't know I said that. I'm sure you guys know that. But, um, bouncers in America would just look at your card and if they saw the nine, you're good. They would just look for the nine. You got the nine? Good. God. I'm, I'm at the stage. There was, I filled out, um, like today I went through like four months of emails and I filled out some like, uh, some sponsorship thingies and stuff. And one of the questions asked like, what age are you? And it was, the, the age was, uh, the age groups were 18 to 32. I'm not that far away from being in the 32 to like 55 category. How bro? How? It hurts. Are we, this is comp, right? Are we in comp? Okay, I should be paying attention. I thought it was still quick play. I'm not paying any attention. I'm not paying any attention. Um, Malga is... Malga is getting, getting diffed, unfortunately. But it could be a team thing as well. Yeah, sharing your interests. And like you said, Miss Clancy, I did see that comment. I just didn't respond to it because I'm a bad streamer. Um, you're right, though. Um, it, they don't have to have exactly the same interests. In, like, you want to have you want to have a partner that's got some differences. You don't want to just date yourself. You know, Five, you want to have someone that's got four, some differences that makes it exciting. Three, two, but they've got to be understanding one, of your interests. Like most of my past girlfriends um, get angry that I game so much. Um, uh, okay. I don't get angry that you watch The Bachelor seven hours a day and are a moron. <laughs> Yeah, if it start, yeah, they look for the one. Yeah, they know. You, that's, that's that's rough. That's rough. What was the other girls at your school? We had a group of girls at school. That, I'll tell you that story if you remind me. Um, we went to school at night time to do some riffraff, and we thought it, we thought we we're gonna get bashed by a gang. Like I've lived in lots of bad dash. Where's my Anna? Why's my Anna over there? Why's my Anna in the in the room? What? Was my Anna running from someone? Is there a somber trailer? Why is my Why is Anna over there? So I'm asking why are they over there? Not saying that's a bad mistake, because from their POV there could have been a there could have been a reason they were over there. I mean it's 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 um it's better to go in there and heal from in there. But you just gotta hold M1 into the Malga. I'm damaging. Oh if she shot me, she was dead there. Thanks for the lurk, mate! No worries, dude. Enjoy your games. Always good to see you, Ricardo. Always good to see you. Um, I'm hoping to get enough cash this year to um, actually commission you for some artwork. This is your stuff's awesome, man. Woo! Oh, I didn't see. I cancelled my reflect deflect too early. I, I'm I'm a I'm chronically cancel my deflect too early. Um, like the second I'm out of danger, I cancel it because then uh, then the cooldown comes back faster. I didn't see the ash there till too late. Till too late. Then twenty. Oh, nice. No, how do you feel about turning 20? There's a few ages like when you turn you turn 20, you're like, oh my god, I'm in my 20s. I remember like 
When I was 15, I thought 18 were adults. And when I was 18, I thought 21 was adults. And then I hit 21. I'm like, oh my God, I'm, I don't know anything. I, 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 sh I shouldn't be in charge of things. Hit 25. You go, okay, 30 year olds are adults. No one's, the, the, the truest thing is no one's an adult. Everyone is faking it till they make it. Everyone's faking it till they make it. No one feels like an adult. Oh, thank you for the reminder, Forrest. Thank you for the reminder. I learned how to put people in chokeholds and mess around with your friends. Oh, dude, yeah, okay, I used to do that as well. I used to play a game with one of my friends in the morning where um, I, I, I tried to choke on you every morning, every morning. And so like, I'd walk in and I'd be like 100 meters away at the canteen or something. And he would look behind him and he'd see me and he'd be alert, but I'd let him see me. I'd be on my phone or something. I'd be like, I'd let him look at me. And the second he looked back, I'd like sprint around the canteen and instantly choke on him. <laughs> and he's like, <laughs> just dumb shit. I'm like, this, is, this game's over, man. This game's over. Have I, have I, have I got a blade off once? I haven't got a blade off once. No. Genji's bad, a bad character to play here. Um, uh, uh, the Torb is also an calls. interesting pick. Um, what do we play? What's, what's a good play here? Diva? Diva dive? I think I'm, bad. I'm not even going to go for it. Can I save the blade? I won't go for the blade. I was going to swap to Ash. Oh, traps. Great. Hold, protect me. Unlucky. Yeah, grow older, don't grow up. Yeah, I love that, Miss Clancy. I love that. Um, you know, it's a very cheesy quote, but the, uh, you know, you, you don't, um, it's not that you, you get old, so you stop playing. No, no, you stop playing, then you get old. You always keep that. Oh, what am I do? What am I do? Messages. Unlucky. Rough game. Sometimes, sometimes it happens. Sometimes it happens. Is our Torb actually throwing? Was our Torb actually FK? I saw him in that bush like 15 times. 15 times. Has it been long enough that I haven't played that I can avoid people? I'm probably gonna get put back to Masters as well. Can I avoid people? Level one brand new account on Torb. Maybe they were just throwing. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, nice. Only having three avoid slots is tragic. It's fucking tragic. Give me, give me 15 avoid slots, please. I want to avoid like 20 tanks in OCE. Um, <laughs> yeah, so uh, one of the things, uh, there's a thing in, I don't know if they have it in America. I feel like in America, it's going to be dangerous because people are going to be shooting each other. But in Australia, we have a thing called muck up day, which is um, like the last day of the year in year 12, um, in the final, final year of, of high school. It's called muck up day. Um, generally it's like contained. So usually you just throw water balloons at each other or something like you just do silly pranks and it's like the teacher allow it. So our muck up day was like, what they wanted to do, they, they wanted to, it was in the morning before school at like 8am or something. So they're like, you got an hour and a half, we'll give you, we'll cook pancakes or something. And they put some cones on the oval of like a, stay in this zone and like you can throw water balloons or whatever. Um, I decided to turn it into muck up week. So we had a whole week of pranks. Um, the teachers were very unhappy. Um, and what, one of the things we decided to do, hey, Mal, I'm good to see you, dude. Is that the best Ash player in Australia I'm seeing in my chat right now? You are disgusting, mate. <laughs> Comes in, says hello, immediately insulted. How are you, man? How was New Year's Eve? Hope you had some fun, had some bevies. Um, yeah, so the day before Mark Up Day, we did like a whole week of pranks. We did some crazy stuff. Um, the day before, we all went to the school at nighttime. Um, uh, like we were like, oh, we're hoodies and battle clubs and stuff. We didn't do anything, anything bad, but um, we all went to the school at night time. So let me tell this story, mate. I want to say g'day to you because I've been, I told you I'd tell this story. Uh, the day before muck up day. So we went there at night time. One of my friends put on a Superman outfit. Um, we're all in like hoodies and stuff. And our plans were we're just going to throw some toilet paper and, you know, just do some riffraff. We ended up, um, we ended up hanging a garbage bin off like the staircase. It was like swinging. Um, and uh, what I what I did, so I did parkour and free running for like five years. Um, I scaled like a three-story building. I climbed up a drain pipe and I, I, I printed off the smiley face emoji. This is 2010, by the way. Smiley face emoji on an A4 piece of paper. And I stuck it facing forwards on the window on all the on all like the third-story windows. And the teachers the next day were like, what the fuck? Like, how, how is that there? And one of the teachers was like, did you use ladder? Did you get a cry? No, no, I just climbed it. And you'd see my footprints outside. Um, and then I did that to the, the, the principal, the coordinator's office as well, that like looks over the, the schoolyard. I put like a smiley face looking. And actually I climbed onto like the roof almost 
and onto the camera, the dome camera, I put the smiley face emoji facing inwards. So it would just show a smiley face. Um, so we did like a little bit of riffraff. But, so we all rocked up. It was all of us guy friends. It was like, I don't know, 10 of us guys. 10 of us guys, Superman outfit, silly stuff, toilet paper. And as we were walking in, like I went to a very rough high school, stabbings and gangs and shit, like mugged a few times, rough high school, rough public high school. Um, <laughs> I didn't mind though. You know, I could get I could get away with a lot of mischief because like I was like, I'm a straight A student um, and my pranks were harmless. So it's like, I didn't get too much. Most teachers liked me, some teachers hated me. But as we're walking in, so we're all walking in, hoodies, 10 of us guys walking in. We look like one of the gangs that was in the area at the time. Like people would tag their like postcodes and stuff, just idiots. Um, as we're walking in, we see another group, another group of like 10 people, all in hoodies as well. And we're like, oh my God, like we've ran into one of the gangs. We've run into one of like the, the, the you know, the criminal <laughs> idiots. So we walked in, saw a, ten, a whole group of 10 other people walking towards us, all in hoodies and all gangs. We're like, oh my fucking hell, like this is, we gotta be get out of here. Nope, it was all the girls in year 12. The girls had the same idea. All the, the group of girls had the same idea as the guys and they rocked up with toilet paper and stuff. They had the exact same idea. So we had like both the guys and the girls groups the night before at the school, just like messing stuff up. But the girls actually did damage. They, they did terrible stuff. They were super gluing locks and they like super gluing gnomes. They, they, they did actual damage. Um, not, nothing to do with me. We were just doing toilet paper and silly stuff. Silly pranks. <clears throat> Got engaged. Yeah, lock it down, mate. Lock it down. You're punching above your weight, bro. Lock it down, bro. Yeah, that's not true. You are an attractive man. That's awesome, dude. I love uh, I love the, the vibe. You and your, I guess, your fiance now. Um, congratulations. We get a congratulations in the chat for male, dude. Engaged. Did you do anything like? How'd you do it? Did you do special? Did you, did you, did you drunkenly propose? What'd you do? Did something cool? That's awesome, man. Thank you for sharing. That's such cool, cool news. Such cool news. I was quite the handful. I was. Severe, like severe, I have the most severe impairment ADHD. Like I got the high school. I, I go hard. I don't. I don't go. I, don't, I go. I go hard. Um. So all the stuff in high school was just me being bored, essentially. But never did any damage or did any harm. It was just pranks. It was just pranks. We just did some silly stuff. Um. Oh, so much fun. So much fun. All the boys in my high school did was hit each other with chairs and Naruto run the school playing anime openings. That is, that's such a teenage guy thing to do. <laughs> Naruto run around. Okay, that's great. That's great. We used to, so um, my era at school was Borat. Like Bor Borat, the Inbetweeners and Zohan. Those are like my three developmental mo like shows. Oh my God, they're my favorites known to man. I, I love them to death. They, they were my like full on development. So we were walking around at school all the time going, wah, wah, we wah, like dumb Borat quotes. Sleeve hang like, uh, <laughs> sleeve a wizard, all sorts of stuff. And then like occasionally, you know, this is before TikTok dances and whatnot. Occasionally the teachers would like kick us out and we'd just do the Borat dance, the 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 corky boot check. Um, actually someone's mentioning Sasha before. We were doing the corky boot check, bing, bang, bing, bing, bong. Just dumb. Teachers were like, are you guys okay? No, we're not okay. Fuck it in high school, but harmless. And you just don't, yeah, that's it, man. That's it. Like harmless, but like fucking around. I was just so bored, man. So bored. Um, and looking back on it, I now know the reason. Um, did you turn twice and dropped out studying? No shit. Dude, you don't need, you don't need year 12. You don't need year 12. You don't need your do university degree. Don't need that anymore. There's nothing stopping you from leaving school in year 10 and going to work straight away. Like you can, you can, in the age of the internet, you can really learn anything you want and yeah, you can learn anything you want. Don't, uh, don't let anyone shame you for like, you don't have a PhD and fuck it, who cares? Who cares? There's so many successful people that dropped out of school and uni. Um, it's not for everybody. And it's also, it might not, it might not just be like, it's not a reflection on intelligence or anything. It might just be the environment. Like it's just the environment. School is like, school is an indoctrination into like a prison camp. It's, it's like, it's, it's a factory. It's clock in clock out bell for lunch bell for this like it doesn't suit everybody you know people are different learners you might learn better um you know you might be like me where we only learn stuff that we're interested in no public school is not one size fit all not at all um oh i feel that cupid i, I get that man i get that don't let other people's words and actions uh, affect you 
you gotta be strong. If someone's an idiot, just go, there's an idiot. There's an idiot. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna give them the power. Like uh my um because it was pretty rough school. Um my teachers uh what was that story? Think you can keep up? I mean we had the teachers come to the formal after party at like a student's house and like do shots and stuff. Um What was I gonna say? Something about the year 12 coordinator. Oh, the like the year 12, the like the head honcho guy. Um in the morning, what was it called? Home Home something? You know, like morning assembly or whatever, like in the in the morning you'd have like 15 minutes in your in your class and they they tell you announcements or something and you just sit there and do roll call. Um That is terrible. So I'm gonna sleep in and I'm gonna rock up at 9.30 when the first class starts. So I just rock up at I'd rock up at 9.30 every day. And the the main teacher was like Damon, you've been wagging. I don't know if you, uh, other countries have that term. Wagging is like, haha, thanks, Anzo. Wagging just means, um, like, you're absent from school. You're, uh, what's the other word? What's the other word for it? What's the other word for that? Is it D? Yeah, like, absent from school. He's like, Damon, you haven't been to school for four days in a row. And I'm like, I have. He's like, no, you, you weren't on the roll call in the morning. And I'm like, oh, you mean that, like, 15 minutes that is just sitting in class with roll call? There's nothing. It's not a class. Well, you haven't been there. I'm like, well... Did you check my roll call on the first class of the day? Lesson one and two? No. I'm like, well, I'm there every day. He's like, well, you have to come to home care. Why? Because you have to. It's the rules. And, you know, ADHD, rebellious. I don't do... I hate rules. Like, tell me if there's a rule, I say why. Here's a rule. Why is this a rule? Because it is? I don't respect authority. Fuck you. Give me a good reason. Because you have to. But if I don't, what's the impact? Nothing? So I'd rather sleep in 15 minutes? Um, so he's like, that's it, Damon. Like, if you don't turn up tomorrow in the morning for the thing, you're going to be suspended. I'm like, cool, suspend me. I'm getting straight A's, mate. I'm, I'm, I'm so bored. Like, I don't care. He's like, I'm going to call your mum. I'm like, dude, call her. In fact, like, one of my teachers wrote a note in my book that was like, Damon's disruptive. He's throwing paper planes. My mum worked at the school as an SSO. She was literally next door. And I'm like, dude, she's next door. Let's go tell her. And my mum, like, actual champion. Um, she had my back the whole time. She's like, so why is Damon in trouble? Is he passing his things? Yeah, he's one of the top students. Okay, well, fucking, I don't care. Oh, but you have to talk to him. A parent-teacher conference. Oh, he's misbehaving. Okay. Is he, you know, is he stabbing anybody? Is he a drug addict? Is he, is he failing? No. All right, don't call me again. Mum was, uh, mum was awesome, but my mum also has severely hunter. I don't say ADHD. She just refuses to admit it. Oh, big boop. Is the bat gone? That's huge. Is that Farah? That's huge. Can't aim, eh? Uh oh. Big escapee. Oh, almost fell off, eh? Oh, we almost got him. Go, Junker. Uh oh. Storm arrow, unlucky. It was a wild school. But it was good because, like, you know, um, I, I got away with, like, most teachers liked me because they could tell I was just being a fuckwit. I was just being an, an idiot. Um, I wasn't actually causing, like, trouble. Um, I was just being silly. But some teachers that were, like, hard as the rules, like, I rocked up in a green hoodie one day and no, not a single teacher called me up for it the whole day. You know, like, I didn't go, I didn't go to a public school. So, like, if I went to a private school and I had to wear a blazer and do my shoes or whatever, like, I would be expelled immediately. Um, whole day, not a single teacher said anything to me. And then at the very end of the day, a teacher's like, Damon, you can't wear that, it's not uniform. And I'm like, why? And she's like, because you can't. I'm like, but it's war like, I, I am. Like, I'd be pretty blunt with teachers. I'm like, I'm going to do it. Do with that information what you will. I'm not having a discussion. It's happening. Am I getting the cool? Oh, that's actually... We had no right getting two kills there. We had no right getting two kills there. I'm pretty uh, pretty happy with that. He really wants to re-mech on my head, I can tell. Remake that, mate. Where are you? Oh, do we get it? Nice. Nice. That's not, not a bad little Genji play. Like, I don't like following rules if there's no reason for it. You know? Oh? If you can explain it to me, awesome. Awesome. Like, if it makes logical sense, awesome. Like, I got fired from a lot of jobs because they were like, Damon talks back. I don't talk back at all. I'm very polite. And, uh, not very obedient, but I'm very polite. But if a boss would say, Damon, do this, I would say, why? 
Because I said so. Okay. That's a shit reason. I was like, Damon's talking back. Okay. I'm not. Like, uh, you know, this isn't, this isn't, this is, this is just an example, not an accurate, not an actual story. But like, if a boss told me, damn, Felix rocketed. If a boss told me, Damon, clean the bathroom with a toothbrush. I would say, okay, like you're the boss, Grandma, maybe you know more than me. Why? You know, I'd say, hey, here's a suggestion that I had three in two seconds. Wouldn't it be better if I used a mop? Wouldn't it be faster and better for the employee, better for the boss, better for the customers, and I can get back to work? And that is seen as like talking back. And often when I'd say, why don't we do it this way? Here's a suggestion. You know, doesn't this seem easier for everybody? Um, most bosses that aren't very room temp IQ um most bosses uh that have like that ego that just respond with because I said so do it because I said so okay even though I've explained the reasons why it's inefficient here's a different solution this is going to be way easier to do it better for you better for me amazing but I have to do it I have to do it slower and harder and worse purely because you said so no bueno for me no bueno for me man that's uh Big no bueno. You know, but I always ask questions. Like, I ask a lot, I'm very inquisitive. So I'll ask, I'll go, you know what? You know more than I do. I respect, uh, like, I respect your you know, business or whatever. If you, if, if, uh, if there's a reason to it, awesome, for sure. But if it clearly makes no sense, I, I don't care about minimum wage jobs enough to listen to the dumb stuff or be anti. I get deal here. Thank you, Mercy. Oh, I got punched. Damn, I should have taken some distance. I should have reflected, actually. Damn, damn. Oh, that was so bad by me. It was a huge anti. If I just got healed slightly earlier. Um, like, I think my whole team tellied up there. We touch. We can't, can we? Oh, well. I think my whole team tellied up there. So my uh, my healers were up there. I'm not paying attention. I'm not playing badly, I don't think. Oh. Okay, that's not great. I don't think we're playing that badly. Do the oh friend bit. We we didn't do we didn't do that bit, but that bit's hilarious. Friend! And it hits him in the nuts every time he says Carly or whatever. Oh my god, it's so funny. It's so funny. Friend! Thumbs up, friend! Oh my god, what a show. What a show. What's this thing? I will, son of a bitch. What did I miss? We should begin. You have assemblies to tell people. Okay, I have an assembly story. Oh my god, the first day, of, first day of school, first day of uni, I got in massive trouble both first days. Oh my god, I needed, I needed really so bad during those errors. Oh my god, how did I function? How did I get through it? Oh my god. Okay, I'll tell you this story quickly before the game starts, before I read the rest of the chat. Um, first day of school, first day of school, first day of high school. So like the assembly, you know, like. 800 kids or whatever massive assembly teaching stuff i had a fart keychain i had a fart keychain i'm in the middle of the thing and i press the thing and it goes Four, massive three, fart two, everyone one. in front of me turns around and looks at me what do i do turn around and look at the poor fucking year eight behind me oh dude fucking that's so unprofessional man first day of school he's doing fart keychain teachers rip this kid out of the assembly None of that in this school. I am like pissing myself trying not to laugh. I am, oh my God. I used to, I used, I used to do that to so many people. Like I'd cause trouble and then I'd, if look at me and I'd be like, yeah, man, like, you, you believe, you believe that, that kid, man? That, that kid was like, I didn't do anything. Like first day, I didn't do anything. I'm like, oh man. I did that to my brother as well. Oh no, there's someone here, who is he? We, we got Junker Queen, we can retest. Nice. Oh, a bit of frame drops there. Wow, my aim, please. I'm gonna die here. That sucks. That sucks. I should have double jumped. I tried to double jump to avoid the, the dots damage, but I should have just ran forward. I would have actually get the mini in time. Damn. Damn. The, the pylon. The pylon's so useful. So useful. 
Yeah, dress code doesn't make sense. It makes I, I understand it in terms of being uniform, in like in terms of like, oh, if there's some weird person like that's trespassing at the school, we know that like all the students are in the uniform and there's one guy in a hoodie. You know, I understand it from like a safety perspective. In fact, I think I did an essay on uniform in, in one of my classes about it. I understand it. I just don't agree with it. Like, I, I mean, like most rules that exist, I'm like, I understand why they're here, but they don't apply to me. I understand why the speed limit's 30 here, but I am a okay driver, so I'm going to always follow the speed limit. I understand why it's here, but... You know, it's like most, most, all the rules are set up in society for the, the slowest member of the tribe, which it should be. You know, you judge a society based on how you treat your infirmed and your, um, uh, you know, you're locked up and stuff. Um, you know, if you're walking with a group of people, you should walk at the pace of the slowest member and stuff. But things like, um, you know, there's like yellow lines on stairs. It's like, okay. Or like there's a warning on a chainsaw, don't operate near your face. You know, those are the same things to me as like a 10 kilometer speed limit. You know, they're there for the people that need it to be there. And I understand it, but I'm probably not gonna follow it. Probably not. Dude. Full, full health Zarya and the, the pylon. Yeah, I mean, so many bosses said it was talking back. And I'm like, I'm not talking back. I'm being so, like, I'm not interrupting. I'm listening to you. I'm just asking, like, you know. And But, like, if, if you know, if a 17-year-old has a better idea in a millisecond than you as the owner of the business does, you know, that's when the ego kicks up and they're just, because I said so. Okay. Okay. You don't want to do the best job. You want to do what you, you want everyone to do. You want everyone to be slaves. Like, most workplaces I worked at, they want you to just... I wanted to blade there. Like, uh, that's why I dashed up. I wanted to... I was hoping the trial would come underneath me, but I think he held it for a few seconds. The second a soldier ults or a uh, bastion ults or a, um, a junk rat ults, I dive them immediately. Immediately. What's up, Zach? Things are good, mate. Things are good. How you doing, dude? How you doing? Have you changed your username since the last time I saw you? Um, because I, I don't remember that username. Um, I apologize. But maybe you can refresh my memory. It was good to see you either. Anyway, hope you had a great... Great New Eve. Can't counter with Genji with an Echo. Ooh, we actually won that, dude. Like we, I can't believe we won that. It was a good hold. We're just a defensive team, I guess. Well played. Well played. Dude, games are tough, man. Gold Wolf, did you... Gold Wolf, is, did you used to do like motivational Instagram stuff? Or did you do the Blood Point Challenge? The, the DVD blood point challenge. Are you one of those two people? If you're not, I need, uh, I need more refreshing, unfortunately. Normally my memory is pretty good at remembering people, but I'm not perfect. In fact, I went through the stream stats and stuff. Nope. Okay. I, ap I apologize, mate. I apologize. But welcome back, dude. One win, five losses. Let's go. We're so good at the game. So good at the game. Um, I was going to say. I can't remember. Something. One friend who gave... I had a teacher who gave my friend a better grade than you on a group project. You didn't believe it as much as your friend. She was right. I technically did more. Oh, that's the worst. I've had that before as well, where um, I got a lower grade than like people in my group. And I complained immediately. And I got it changed immediately. They were like, oh, one of the members of the group said you didn't do as much work. I was like, who? And it was, it was three people. And two of them said I didn't do it. And the other ones wouldn't reply. I'm like, okay, your shit. Um, in fact, we actually had, we had a teacher, oh, this was, this was such a sweet moment of revenge. One of my best teachers in high school, and I love this mentality, like I remember this my, ever since. One of my, uh, one of my teachers in high school, um, the first day of class, like, you know, it was a rough school. So we had kids that were getting D's and E's and failing and, you know, kids of, you know, some kids were good at PE, some kids were good at like studying and homework and stuff. Um, and the first day of history class, he said, I don't care what grade you get. He said, if you're, an, if you're failing, if you're getting an F, we'll try to get you an E. If you're getting a D, we'll try to get you a C. If you're getting a C, we'll try to get you a B. I don't care what grade you get, we're just going to try to get you a little bit extra. And all the drop kicks in the class, all the people that were failing and, you know, wagging and stuff, they actually started working. They were actually, like, that's the first time in their life they'd actually got positive motivation. And so we had students that were getting Ds, then they started getting Cs. 
you know, they were actually trying. It was so good to see. Um, and one of the kids in my class who was like failing all the things, you know, a uh, bit of a drop kick. He, um, he got, uh, like he was doing pretty good in the history class. He was getting some good grades. He was trying. And then in English, English teacher was an idiot. We also tortured, we tortured the English teacher. She was such an idiot. She didn't understand the definition of words and she taught English. Oh my God. And <laughs> no respect for her. She was terrible. Um, but she gave him a bad grade in an English thing. She gave him a bad grade in, in an English assignment. And he was super upset because he's actually trying now. He was actually trying. So he took the paper, the essay to the history teacher and the history teacher remarked it with a good grade and said, if the teacher has any problems, she has to deal with me. And the other teacher was so furious. She was so, she was such an old bitch. So furious that she got overridden by a teacher. Like, and the teacher was like, I'll go to bat for you. Like, this essay does not deserve this grade. Um, oh. So I was, uh, <laughs> I some inter interesting, uh, interesting, uh, stuff. What was that? Oh yeah. Oh, dude, the, the fart keychain in the assembly. Oh my God. Oh my God. I did that to my brother as well. One of the, uh, there was like a relief teacher, you know, you get substitute teachers that like, you get familiar with them. Like they're, they're there pretty often. They're like the, the main substitute. And one of the substitute, like I had two, I got two younger brothers. Um, two younger brothers. Also good to see you, Fang. If you're on a bed, no stress, mate. It's a shame you don't get more time off work, but thanks for hanging out as late as you did. Hopefully you can rest well and hopefully work goes well tomorrow, man. Um, what was I gonna say? Um, yeah, so I had two younger brothers and you know, um, one of my brothers looks very similar to me. The other one looks nothing like me. He's like six foot three, um, long hair. But one of the brothers looks very similar to me. Um, and I would always get detention, like go pick up 10 papers at, rub at lunch or something. And I'd never do it. I'm like, I don't care. In fact, I, the only, I only got suspended once. Um, I drew a dick on someone, on someone's face. Um, and then uh, I was going to get suspended for a week and I talked my way out of it. I was like, please, I'm a good student. I just made a mistake. I'm please. And they're like, okay, Damon, we'll let you off. All you have to do is pick up 10 pieces of paper. And I didn't pick up 10 pieces of paper for two terms or for like a whole term. So because I didn't do the detention for so long, then I got suspended. I'm not doing the picking up the rubbish. Um, I got suspended on the last day of term. So I just had a day off. I was like, okay. It was the last day of term. Just, you can't come to school tomorrow. I got a day off? Cool. Cool. Um, but at lunchtime, I was running around. I was like playing. I was doing something. And the, the substitute teacher saw me. And um, the substitute teacher was like, so one of my brother's names is Jared. He saw me. And he was like, um, Damon, you're supposed to be in detention. You're supposed to be picking up papers. You're not supposed to be running around. And immediately I went, oh, sir, I'm not Damon. I'm Jared. That, Damon's my, my older brother. He's always in trouble. Yeah, he's always in trouble picking up paper. You know, Damon's a, a arsehole. I'm Jared. I'm, I'm the younger brother. That's Damon. He goes, oh, sorry, Jared. I get you boys confused. It's all good. It's all good. Uh, don't worry about it. I'm like, yeah, you know, he's in that class, whatever. So my brother, who was like well-behaved, the teacher came up to him and was like, you got to pick up paper. You got to go to detention. He's like, what did I do? I didn't do anything. <laughs> he was all upset and stuff. I got away with it. And then... At home time, you know, he told mum and dad, and mum's like, Damon, you can't, you can't scapegoat your brothers. I was like, I got out of, I got out of it. I got out of it. You know, this is the teacher's fault. Um, I, I snuck out of it. I don't think I had to pick up papers. I think I got out of it. <laughs> My poor brother. <laughs> I love doing shit like that. We went to a private school for a bit. They'll focus on uniform. They get suspended or not. Yeah. It stops them from learning. Yeah, like my school, we had so many people from my, like that people transfer to my school from like good private schools. They would transfer all the time because they couldn't handle their blazer, their blazer being one inch to the left and they're in trouble or this is wrong. They, um, they like came to my school, which was just chill. Justice for my brother. I mean, um, that brother, um, he's going to Saudi Arabia this year. He's also going to, where else is he going? Poland? He's going somewhere. He was in the, uh, the World Cup dodgeball championships last year. Um, not as impressive as world record dead by daylight holder, to be honest. World record games, way better. Is 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 world record at touching balls? Not as impressive. Not as impressive. <laughs> I'm catching up. I'm catching up. They tried to ban long hair in your school because hair could enter eyes through the pupils and scratch your retina or tucking it behind your ears would push them forward. What? That was the reason? They tried to, that, that, is, that, is, a, that is a complete lie. If, you're, if your teachers honestly believe that, that they had to ban long hair because it could scratch your pupils, 
then I I hope you didn't learn anything. I don't need to listen to them. That they shouldn't be teaching anybody. They're morons. That sounds like a they, they wanted to ban long hair. Like I'm assuming they wanted to ban long hair because it looks it doesn't look clean and it gives a bad like impression. So they just tried to make up some some fake reason. Hi MJ, good to see you, dude. Good to see you. I was um I can't remember the name. When I was hanging out with my friend New, uh, New Year's, I think I might have mentioned to you they on their their honeymoon they went to they went to the like north sweden but like just more, more, they went to like southern norway in the north in the arctic circle and they saw the aurora borealis and stuff all the photos they stayed in a town called terrence Tur with T. i'm just gonna google maps it because i asked them i was like where in sweden or norway did you go because i'm gonna tell my swedish friend and see if they know what i'm talking about i don't know what it's called though i don't know what it's called Stupid rules come back. Someone took an advantage. Caution comes may be hot. Yep, yep. That was the Maccas thing, and uh, uh, that story actually is more serious. Um, like the the person that sued Maccas for the hot coffee actually got third degree burns and actually got fucked. Um, it's a common thing to be like, oh, you know, course, course coffee's hot. Didn't you know that? Um, like the rules get in place for you know for reasons. Um, which is you know it's it's good, but also I don't like rules. All right. This is Sweden. They said they went to the north. They said they went up here. Up here. They're actually in Norway. They're actually in Norway. It started with T. I don't know if it's like a big place. It started with T. Tarum? Tarum? I got to ask Viking Bear. He's um Norwegian. Trollvik? Maybe it was Trollvik. Trollvik? Might have been Trollvik. It's the only thing I can find that says it starts with T. They went somewhere up here. He pointed at the map. Sweden, he went, they were uh, somewhere up here. Maybe it's Trollvik. I don't know if that means anything to you. I don't know if it does. But it's cool. Like, it's really, it's it's cool hanging out with, you know, IRL friends. I think I saw them three times last year. Um, but whenever someone's like, oh, we went to Sweden or we went to Norway, I'm like, I have a friend from Sweden. Or someone's like, oh, it's New Zealand. I saw I'm like, I have friends from New Zealand. It's my favorite part about streaming. You get to hang out with people from all around the world. It's so cool. Like I've shown your Christmas photos to like family members and friends, to all of them. It's so beautiful. Five, four, three, two, one. Uh, great teacher. Great teacher. Awesome teacher. Um, by far, like I think surely everyone in high school or I'm sure I'm sure everybody has everybody has a favorite teacher like there's, there's, there's one or two teachers that stick out that made an impact that actually weren't shit you know most teachers aren't memorable because they're just they're just average they don't know nothing the teachers you remember are like oh you're exceptionally dumb you're an exceptional idiot okay I remember you or it's oh you're actually a good human being you're a good teacher I remember you you gotta chase this surely Surely we punish this. I can't kill two healers solo. Dude, I wonder if Farrah's gonna get slept. I can get slept. Oh, the Cassidy respawned. We needed, um... Sigma's a bit slow. Oh no, that Cassidy's pretty good. Pretty good. Oh, no shit. See, that's that's like such a good influence, you know? The teacher was was that good. It's like, you've you considered that as a uh, job. I'm absolutely dead here. Damn. Damn. Uh, but as soon as as soon as look, they got two picks, I should have backed off and waited for respawns. Of the month dayers? I've never heard that term before. Home of the month dayers. Yeah, your country is just different for, for, for no reason. Like, it's just different to be different. We're going to put the month first. It's annoying as fuck as a streamer because, um, like... I do, you know, whenever you're working with American companies or American time zones, I have to go, oh, is this, is this, okay, it's 10-10, is it the, oh, actually 10 will be the same. <laughs> we have to go like, is it bloody, what month is it, what day is it? Oh, that's a big Kitsune and a big Anti too. Oh, big rock. Oh, they dropped everything there. They dropped everything. Um, it was, I thought it was a good, a good Gravity Clocks, but we didn't get that pick. It's like Overwatch ever since day one. Like Seagull's been complaining about it since day one. Overwatch is just old management. Um, like what'll often happen? I see people in the game get angry and they, I mean, they're just idiots. But like you lose the first team fight, fair enough. And then the second team fight, guess what? 
you lose the second team fight because they have the old advantage. And then someone in the chat goes, Genji swap. Because we've lost two team fights. We were always going to lose a team fight. They have old advantage. You know, or like tank, you're zero for two. Yeah, because I got three, I got altered three times. Telly. I know Sig, hey. I want that nano. Actually, I don't care about nanos. I, I honestly, I'm actually happy with, without a nano. Trying to coordinate is always difficult. Oh, I want to blade this. Yeah, I will. Okay. Okay. That must have been frame perfect. I, on my screen, I got that slash off. On my screen, I got it off. Damn, nice survive. We should win that though. They're down on Anna. Like trading a Genji for an Anna, that's a big, big trade. And they're also uh, stagger spawned. Nice try. Thanks, mate. Thanks, dude. Welcome to the stream. How long has it been since you've been here, man? Did you used to watch me in the DVD days? I'm like furious that I've forgotten you. Um, I remember, I remember a gold, someone's gold, but I, I guess I got it mistaken. Damn, can't do anything. A good Genji, good Genji. Um, yeah, like diving, like you get anti. Cause we, we're, we're gonna eat every anti because we're no damage negation. Like the best thing to avoid the anti is me reflecting it. Now we have a Kiriko, which is awesome. Like we're always gonna eat every anti there, which means we're gonna get antied and then we're gonna get a uh, dove. Like they, in fact, they had a Kiri that they're diving with. No. Yeah, they got they, so they're diving with the Kiri, and also the uh, the what's actually called bleeding. The bleeding you get from try to poke her out. Big. I love actually having a Zen. It's a bit tough with the healing. Dude, yeah. Now we just eat ults. Exactly what I was talking about. We actually, we did really well to survive that. I got carnaged from there. Did the Genji die? Okay. Oh, the Genji. Okay, the Genji died from the impact. Because I was waiting. I was like looking at the ground. I was waiting to when the Genji dropped under me. To finish him off and they get the dash reset but i uh got carnage unlucky no shit no shit do you like overwatch as well it's actually better if you don't like overwatch like it's it's it, and i mean that because it's like it's so sweet when people go i don't like the game you're playing at all but i just i just like hanging out here you know that's, that's like such a sweet thing to hear as a streamer Cause like, you know, we lost, we dropped like a hundred viewers, hundred every viewers when we swapped from Dead by Daylight. Um, which is, you know, part of the territory, of course. Um, but the people that, the people that still stick around, that's like so, so sweet. So sweet. Cause they're such different games. DBD Overwatch. I've been loving the finals as well. Finals is fucking awesome. But, um, it makes my CPU run at hundred percent. It's, it's not very optimized at the moment. Um, so my camera breaks. Which is um, I I don't I I don't like not having the camera on. I feel like my content isn't as entertaining if you can't see my face and my emotion. I don't know. It's really fun, dude. It's it's made by a Swedish company. You gotta support the homies. Oh, all good. Thanks for letting me know. We do have the ads uh, as low as they can, but you can't hear that. If someone can explain my ads, or actually, if someone can explain my ads, it'll it'll tell you. We haven't set to the lowest possible. The lowest possible so we can turn them off. Um, so if someone can do the ads or... Oh shit. Hold that forever, man. Or if someone can just gift them a sub. Any, any gifters in chat? Turn the ads off? I, um, I love a battling other Genjis. I love it. I love it. I, I don't get salty when people are better than me. Like, it's a challenge. I'd way rather have a tough loss than an easy win. Way rather. Like if I get bodied, then I go, okay, I gotta get better. So I love versing tough Genjis. I love it. It's, it's tough if they have like a team sporting them and you don't. Um, but that's just even more, even more of a challenge, you know? Yeah, we're just gonna eat. Oh, we got the kinetic grass. It's want to secure the point. Telly. Nice 25 health. I hate that 225 Cassidy. Although, hmm, I think I'd rather Cassidy be 200 and also Widow be 200. Widow being 175 is so easy. Like Widow being 175, it's just like Genji's wet dream. Yeah, Genji's always gonna target our Zen. Um, 
Ben's always going to eat it. We pushed too far forward there. Too early? Are we safe? Can we win this? We clutch it? Oh, big clutch, big clutch. We, um, we got, oh, we got front spawns now. Nice. Yeah, the best way to improve is where someone better than you. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Like, um, I'm pretty competitive, but I'm competitive with myself. Like, even when I play sport and stuff, I, uh, I don't get angry, but I get, like, I get frustrated at myself. You know, I'm like, I, sh I can do better. I should train harder. I should do better. We can get him. We can burn him. Nah, they, they did. Nano, Kiri, or Kitsune. What else do they use? Genji's, a, Genji's bad into their comp, but I'm like, I'm not doing bad. I'm not doing bad. How does Sig go versus Junker Queen? Uh, we kind of mismatch comp. Like, Sig is good for poking, but Junker Queen wants to rush you. So, like, uh, I feel like Sig's not very good versus Junker, right? Because you just walk past the shield and then you just got to deal with a Junker Queen in your face. We're not running a poke comp. Like, I guess I got to talk to Ash. But oh, they're running, yeah, they, they got, dude, the... We killed him. Nice. Having the... Where's the... Oh, it's over there. Um, having the Genji and the, the Genji, the Kiri, and the bloody Gun Queen is so powerful. That um, commanding shout. I'm purposely saying the names of the abilities because um, one of the big things I want to do this year is do more casting. Um, I loved casting last year. It was so much fun. And you can't, you're not supposed to use like uh, slang terms. Like, oh, there's hamster. No, 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 it's wrecking ball. You're supposed to, you're supposed to use proper terms. Ah, uh, scary. Get rid of the pink pen. There we go. I can get my ult so quick off this Roadhog. Nice. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, dude, the Life Weaver now. Oh, my God. Their supports are... Oh, my God. I'm losing my shit. Life Weaver is probably my most hated support. Alari's a DPS. Kiriko's a DPS. Um, but oh, the, it's so frustrating diving someone, going all in. All my cooldowns are gone. And then they bloody Life Weaver. Dude, Life Weaver into the Castiel is huge. Huge. Not high noon. It's dead I am. We're gonna continue out. I'm the only DPS right now. They came back Sombra. It's tough. Where, do you, where is he? He's gotta be low. He's gonna be low. Get him. Can kill him here. Oh, I missed all my other See what I mean? I'm bad with the I'm bad with the Kitsune rush. Because it makes me faster. And I can't aim. Um I have muscle memory of like. Where is he? Oh my god. Okay, this, I'm actually getting dipped by the Genji. Dude, that Genji's good, man. The Genji's good. Well played, man. Well played, Genji. Damn. I couldn't track him. Oh, never mind. He got Life Weaver. Take it back. He's dog shit. Support carry. <laughs> Take it back. Damn, well played. Good game, man. Good game. Good played. Fight Genji. Good fight, Genji. I have a lot of trouble connecting. Oh, so that only happened um, busted all over your team. Easy little bro. Yeah, all right. We'll, we'll just pretend like your supports weren't hard carrying. We'll just pretend. We'll just just pretend that uh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Easy. Nice. Um. Yeah. There was uh. That was that was during that was around Christmas. Was it around Christmas time? Um, Forest, because uh, I've never had any trouble connecting, and I've also had like what, like thirty second queues, um, any time of the day or night. Ten million active players they hit, which is um super bloody cool. Um, what was I say? Um, yeah, around Christmas time, um, the servers were overloaded. Um, I think they were doing maintenance or something. They yet to, they just wouldn't connect. They wouldn't connect. Um, I think that's fixed now. I think it was only only happening for a day or two. Um, I haven't had any issues since then. I only know about one city that far up into Sweden. It's uh, Kiruna. Geography isn't my strong suit. Okay. I tried to tell my friend. I was like, because my Swedish friend, because you're in like some Swedish state that like wants to like succeed or something. You have your own like special festivals and stuff. I know. <laughs> Actually, my friend um, hit me with an adventure time quote. An adventure time quote was something like, um, I have an approximate knowledge of many things. That's me. I have an approximate knowledge of many things. I know 80% of everything, but none of it's, none of it's accurate. 
What's up, Frederick? I am alive, mate. I am alive. I've been alive this whole time. How are you, mate? It's good to see you. I don't usually stream this late anymore. Um, I've been streaming in the mornings. Also, I've had a lot of time off. I had a lot of time off. Um, when I did that blood point thing and I um, got partner, I had like 18 months off. Um, and then I did, uh, like, my first stream this year was in June. Um, you know, lots of background health issues and stuff um, that I've talked about a billion times. Um, but yeah, we back at it. We've, we've, I mean, we've done a, we've done a fair bit of Overwatch this year. We've we've won multiple tournaments. We've casted tournaments. We 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 were involved in like twenty grand of charity last year, like probably close to twenty grand in charity raising, which is um that's fucking awesome. That's awesome. How are you, Frederick? Are you still playing DVD? What are you up to these days? What are you up to? Will I ask you about your challenge? All right. I will. Are you gonna do? Are you gonna do it every day? You know it every day. I'll try my best to remember. Try because you want to do. You want to do no sugar. Is it no sugar for a month? You got this, people. You got this, dude. You got this. Every time I see you, I'll ask you. Um, and if you if you say I ate all the sugar, or you say I I didn't eat sugar, doesn't matter either way. Doesn't matter. Either. It's just accountability. It's just accountability because we can't be accountable to ourselves because we let ourselves down and we're used to it. Having someone ask you, hey, do you go to the gym today? It's like, it's more painful to say, no, I didn't, than go, and I'd rather go to the gym and not, not let someone else down. Tarkov? No shit, dude. I've, um, the last time I played Tarkov was before the weight changes. I played a little bit of Tarkov. I do like Tarkov. I haven't played Tarkov. Uh, like, I play, I'm, I'm, I'm experimenting with all sorts of games now because I only played specific games back then because of the ADHD, because... Uh, I needed like stimulation and stuff. I couldn't handle downtime. I couldn't handle boringness. I would like, I'd get distracted. Like if I played Tarkov, I'd get distracted. I'd watch a YouTube video. I'd read, I'd get distracted. I'd die and I'd get frustrated. So now I'm trying all these games that I wasn't able to play before. So I've, I've got Tarkov installed, I think. I know, I know it's wipe, wipe right now. Um, Tarkov's fun, man. It's just, Tarkov, I don't know how people read chain Tarkov. Like if I didn't, if I was silent for half an hour playing a game, or well not silent, but if I was focusing on a game, I'd feel bad for chat. But some of the tournaments we did this year with Overwatch, I, I didn't reach out at all. I focused and the feedback I got from most people in the community were like, we like this, this is good. You know, don't stress. So I'm trying to get over that like insecurity of like, oh my God, if I miss one chat comment, oh my God. So maybe we'll play some like, oh, there's so much variety this year. So much variety. We're gonna do some more Hunt Showdown. Why not Tarkov? I've been playing Magic the Gathering recently. Um, I'm a, I love drafting, so I can play some Magic the Gathering on stream. Um, I, I want to play Red Dead. Um, I don't have the game, but it'd be cool to get that Red Dead. We probably should play Dark Souls and finish that. Never, never played the finish that before. What else? Oh, a way out. Um, I gotta write that down actually. Let me write that down. He's got time to do it. I want to play that prison game. A way out. Yeah, never played Red Dead. Uh, we'll probably only go for like another hour. I want to go to the gym and then I got a little bit more work to do before, before bed. Um, some stuffs. Um, nice, dude. Nice. And if you fail, just make it easier. You know, if you fail, make it easier. Then just go, all right, no sugar before lunch, or if that doesn't work, go no sugar before whatever. Just make it easier. You got this though, dude. Because like once once you do one day, you do two days, it starts to snowball. The momentum starts to snowball as you get closer to the goal. It's much easier to do the second day after you've done the first day. It's much easier to do the third day after you've done the second day. It's with everything in life. It's just that first, getting started is the hardest thing. Getting started is the hardest thing. Once you're started, it doesn't matter if you make like a hundredth of a percent progress every day, you're going forward. It's better than better than nothing. Oh, really? One of your English teachers noticed it. See, that would be like, um, you know, having undiagnosed dyslexia. Like, I mean, having undiagnosed lots of stuff. It, you get the situation where it's like, why am I struggling reading? It's easy for everybody else. For me, it's so hard. I guess, like, I have, I got a lot of negative self-talk in my brain that I've tried to like get out of this year because my whole life was just negative. My whole life was, why can't I do this? Why am I failing? I've tried this, I've tried this. I just keep failing. I shouldn't fail. I should be able to do these things. I keep failing. I had no answer for it. Like I'm 
I'm able-bodied. I have a brain. I can. I should be able to do those things. And I didn't know why I kept failing. So my only logical answer was, I guess I'm lazy. I guess I'm shit. So I had. I got those negative self-talk for 30 years. So now I'm trying to. Uh, now I have a reason. Now I have. I'm like, oh, some things are easier for me. Some things are more difficult for me. Rather than just being like, oh, I guess I'm a terrible human. <laughs> So I totally feel that. And like good on that teacher for noticing it because, um, you know, like I've heard stories of people that didn't get diagnosed with stuff till they were like 50, till they were 60, till they were 70. Um, poor bastards. Like, um, you know, I, I, I went through like a kind of a, a grieving period of like, like what, what, where would I be if I got diagnosed when I was five? I got diagnosed when I was 10, when I got diagnosed in high school and uni. Like I missed uni, I, I forgot the time of uni exams and I failed uni courses. I had to do two years of like repeats and all sorts of stuff. I got fired from jobs because I was late to work, I, like, no matter how hard I tried. So it's like, I don't, I didn't know, I, um, what's I saying? I can't remember. Um, you know, like you have that, uh, but then, then I go, oh shit. I, I know people that didn't get diagnosed till 40, till 50, like those poor bastards, you know? I try to play again on the weekend. Can't get a new keyboard until Friday. Spacebar's missing. Oh, dude, spacebar's pretty important. Spacebar's pretty important. Is that? Are you, are you like raging? Are you like slamming it, or is it just is it just running out of out of juice? Um, we worked. We did some stuff with Logitech last year. Um, we did some giveaways. Um, we're gonna we're gonna be giving away this this month as well. We're gonna be giving away this in January. Oh, like it is January, but I'll give it this way on Twitter. The Streamlight, really fucking cool. Really, really cool. Um, I'll be giving that away on Twitter this month. So, like, to enter is just liking and retweet. It's not up yet, but, uh, you know, I recommend... This is, my one, this is my one plug of the stuff. I'm active on all the socials. Dis my Discord community is, like, the best Discord in the whole world. Um, I'll die on that hill. My Discord community is so fucking sweet. Full of champions. Um, <clears throat> such a positive little group we got. Um, but, yeah, like, if you want to enter a giveaway for that, um, it'll be on Twitter at some point this month. Hopefully. I don't forget. Um, but the reason why I mentioned that was because um, it's not unlikely that we might be. I'm hoping this year we do some more sponsor stuff. We get involved. We are, uh, you know, we grow and stuff. I'm going to be trying my best, making some cool content. So we might end up getting some more gear that we can give away, and one of those might be a mouse pad. Oh, sorry. Uh, one of those might be a, a keyboard. You know, I'm not leak anything here or anything nothing's confirmed but like there's no reason why we we we, we can't do that again so could be uh something cool for the community yeah i mean i like again i'm not a medical professional i recommend i recommend you see medical professionals i'm just an idiot um like my favorite quote you know i spent a long time being a piece of shit so i can help you not stink so any of any of my stories or anecdotes, you know, they're just personal to me, my own experiences. You might not go through the same stuff. This is just a disclaimer. So definitely listen to professionals. And if the professional's an idiot, nothing wrong with a second opinion. Thanks, Spectre. Happy New Year, Fart Knocker again, G Boy Rude Love. Fart Knocker, what the fuck? I've heard that before. Oh yeah, Spectre. Thanks for the bits, bro. Thanks for the bits, man. Appreciate you. Oh, that reminds me. Um It ends January 2nd, but it actually ends January 3rd in Australia, because we are in the future. Um, 25% off subs, exclamation point discount. It ends in January 2nd. I think the, the new hype train ends in January 2nd too. So if you want to get the new hype emotes, um, you know, not specifically my community, just my other communities as well. You know, also, I would like money and subs so I can pay for rent and food. Um, but, uh, yeah, they got 25% uh, off the details, exclamation mark discount. It's only for two days. Oh, actually, it's, it's essentially the second. We're one day away. That was a big dash, but yeah, can't do anything. I like the team. We just lose two team fights in a row. Unlucky. How's the future gone? Not too bad. Quite warm today in Australia. It was like 29 degrees, which is not, you know, it gets up to 50 degrees this summer. It's been a mild summer, but like this month is usually when bushfires and stuff happen. So I don't know how. If we're going to get La Nina, La, La El Nino, El, El Bing Bang Bino, or whatever. Gambino. Childish Gambinos, La Ninas. Might make the weather worse. 
Uh, 29 Celsius because, you know, our country has brains. <laughs> That's so mean. I'm just, I'm just talking shit. Fahrenheit is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. I'm sorry. It's ridiculous. What are you like, it's, it's... I think it's only America and Syria that use Fahrenheit. <laughs> Why you gotta be different? Why you gotta be different? I'm trying to protect my teammate. <laughs> yeah, so 29 is war, like a uh, 90 Fahrenheit. Something like that. Negative 14. Wow, dude. Oh, I didn't open up Snapchat for like three months. So last night I went through all the Snapchats. Um, so I saw like three months of your Snapchats in a row. Oh, you're in the UK. Okay. Oh, yeah. 29 for the UK. That's like, that's fire alarms. That's terrible. You guys, anyone know what Dave syndrome is? If anyone gets the reference from Dave syndrome, you are a person of culture. Yeah, like, so it's kind of funny in Australia whenever you see on the news, like, it'll be like, heat wave rocks England. It was 20 degrees. Everyone's dying of heat stroke. Like, 20 degrees? I'm in a jumper. <laughs> yeah, I saw all your Snapchat. I saw one of the days was like negative 26 or something. One of the Snapchat, negative 26. Oh my God. Oh, no, no. Okay, nice. We don't need it yet. Sorry. I threw it before. I'll go for the hands though. Damn, yeah, I got right clicked. I needed that dash reset from the hands. I need to hit that that horizontal shuriken. Unlucky. We should still win this though. No, we don't. Yeah, full health Zari is so powerful. Um, especially on control, because we have to defend we have to attack the point. We have to attack the point and she's, and she's got full charge in the point. She just shreds our doom. Or she's just built different. I mean, like, everyone acclimatizes, you know. MJ is like negative 20 degrees in Sweden, and I've seen her like running around in shorts. You know, you just get used to it. Wherever you are, you just get used to it. Pretty happy with that deflect on that Hanzo, but now I'm too close to the Zarya, which is scary. Now oh, we got this. Got a cap though. Nice work, Doom. Good job, guys. Dude, good team. Good team. That's what I've noticed. Um, One of the things I've noticed in playing like Masters, Grandmasters games. Um, One, uh, Kiris, like Diamond and Plat Kiris, aren't they good? But Masters and Grandmasters Kiris, holy shit. They're like a... They're like a bazillion DPSs. Like my one of my teammates, Snow. God damn, his Kiri is insane. It's so ridiculous. So Kiri's are so aggressive in Masters. They just they just like all in you, and they often win. They just two tap you. Um, I should have reflected that. That was so bad by me. At least we don't get the dragon. Oh, huge cleanse. Huge Zuzu. I'm dead here though. I went too deep. Went too deep. The uh, Anna just got full health immediately. Then she had all the cooldowns and the Doom punch her away. Damn, that was a good um, good Zuzu though. Should have reflected the grab. That's bad. You like you sat down in an oven? It's um one of the big reasons as well. One of the reasons why. Unlucky, GG. I mean, good round. Oh, nah, Lucio can't. So this is a good game. This is a back and forth game. I like it. I like it. And also, I I can swap heroes. I can play other heroes. Um, I just don't want to. I'd rather I'd rather lose, have fun on Genji, than lose and not have fun on Soldier. Um, because oh, so the, the reason why it's because um, or one of the reasons why is because of your houses. You're like in England and Europe, the houses are meant to maintain heat because it's always fucking cold. It's meant to maintain heat, and then you got climate change. It's getting warmer, so your your houses are insulated, so they're keeping heat in. In Australia, our houses are built to get rid of heat. So our heat, it gets rid of it. So it's it's way different um, being inside. Um, like 20 degrees in, in Britain inside probably feels like 30 degrees. Um, that's a big a big reason, I think. But I don't know about architecture. I think I'm right. <laughs> so this is a bit serious climate. So there's different locations having different... Oh, humidity's huge. Humidity's huge. Sydney and uh, Brisbane. So far... Oh my God. I actually... Can I warn you on this Zarya? Dude, I'm triple dink that Zarya heaps. If I was in voice comms, I could have asked the Doom to get him. Okay, no cooldown. Another double bubble. And she's already like 60 health. Stop shooting the Zarya with bubbles! Please! Oh my god, she's so she's so spicy. She's gonna stay out of her range. And then you can manage it through. Infinite bubbles. We gotta get the healers. Oh, she's kinda low. I die here? Maybe. 
I shouldn't have jumped. I should have waited a half second more. I, I had two seconds left on my dash. I was going to dash to that mega. I shouldn't have jumped so early. I should have waited another half second. It's greedy. It's greedy. I'm from South Australia. From South Australia. So um, I'm part of the Twitch Adelaide community, which has been crushing it this year. We've done so much cool events. Massive love to Scott. Crushing it. Chaos 2. Um, yeah, Twitch Adelaide. So I'm, I'm the southern state of Australia, South Australia. We are famous for our malls balls. We have two gigantic chrome testicles in our main shopping district, in our CBD. Um, and people climb it and like plank on it all the time and shit. We also say like, there's not much differences between states in Australia. Um, oh, nice. Like in terms of, he's definitely got, he's a hundred percent got old. 100 million percent. And I'm going to reflect it. I'm going to, I'm going to ruin his life. But that Anna is done. Never mind. I was, I was outside the range. He's going to get Reaper over here, Death Blossom. I was, I was too close. I was too close. Damn it. Yeah, this is a good game. Oh, Victorian! My natural enemy. You know what the best thing about Victoria is? The roads to SA. <laughs> My dad's Victorian, so he always gives SA shit. My dad said me his entire life, drivers in SA can't drive. And now that I'm like, now that I drive a bit and I'm a bit older, he's 100% correct. No one can drive in SA. I can't beat Double Bubble, Zarya. Um, I got the Anna. I was, I was trying to get the Zarya there because I wasn't sure where their Kiri was. Yeah, there's not much different. Like, if you're not from Australia, um, like, in terms of, like, Europe, you go 10 minutes down the road, it's, like, a different language. Europe is, like, the culture changes so quickly because it's so close. Um, America, America is crazy different. Like Kentucky to like Ohio, very different. You know, West Coast, East Coast, very different. The South, the North, Midwest, super different. Different accent. It's almost a different country. Um, and because like you guys have got a lot of like specific state rules and stuff as well. Um, in Australia, um, it's the same everywhere. Everyone has the same accent. There's not that much difference. Um, a girl from Sydney once said that I sounded, told me that I sounded British, and I was like, okay. Because apparently, like, there's a few differences. Like, I think we say school and they say school. And we have differences in beers, pints, and schooners and stuff. Um, but one thing that South Australian is we say heaps a lot. We say heaps a lot. Like, our, our uh, motto, our merch for our state is says heaps good on it. And apparently other states don't say that. So we'll always say, oh, that was heaps good. That was heaps bad. Like, what, what do you mean heaps? What do you, what, what, what do you mean? What do you mean? Heaps. I reflected. I heard the shing. I heard the shing. Dude, give me give me zero ping. Give me zero ping. It was a game. That was a good game. Um, like we, well, I, I was playing a bad character into their comp. I should have swapped. I should have swapped. Um, I do pretty good. Like it's just their Zarya was super good. Uh, they also their supports were very good, man. Like our Lucio died eleven times. Our Lucio died eleven times, and their supports didn't. So that's that's massive. That's massive. Yeah, this was really good. Hold on, guys. Hold on. I want to go to the gym. I want to go to the gym. <clears throat> like, it is midnight. But I still want to go to the gym. I was thinking this. Um, I was um, I was thinking this, I guess, last year. Yesterday. Um, because I've, I've tried to have, like, you know, it's, as a streamer, it's important to have a schedule. Consistency. So the viewers know when you're live. It's same, you're being consistent. Same time and stuff it's so impossible for me to have a schedule my entire life i've tried to force myself to have a schedule not just in streaming but just in general like force myself to schedule and i it's just it's just i can't manage it i've tried i've tried every bloody thing i just can't get i can't get it to work and a big part of that is because i have chronic sleep issues so sometimes i just don't sleep for two days and then i sleep too much so i get like different schedules and stuff um but um Last year, I let a lot of, like, if I woke up at 4 p.m. or something, then, I, or if I woke up at the wrong time, I'd be like, oh, well, I don't, can't stream now. I, I stream in the mornings or I stream at night time, so I've missed that time slot. So then I just don't stream. But what I was thinking yesterday, um, it, even though it's better for growth and it, it, the schedule's important and stuff, um, I'm, I can stream anytime. I can stream at 2 a.m. I can stream at 1 p.m. I can stream anytime I want. I don't, there's no rule that says I have to, if I'm not at the certain time, I, sh I can't go live. And also I can go to the gym at any time. I can eat food at any time. I can, I can go for a walk at any time. I'm actually, I can't because I live in cracked ends. I'll get stabbed if I go outside. Um, 
But, um, so I'm thinking this year, instead of trying to schedule would be the best case scenario, but because I fail. <laughs> Yo, Boa, good to see you. Howdy, howdy. Happy New Year, man. Crombasm, 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 scarred, two booty, scarred, two booty, scarred, two booty, scarred, two booty. Nice, dude. How are you, Boa? Good to see you, man. Good morning. Is it morning for you? No, afternoon. Afternoon for you? Must be afternoon. Good to see you, Boa. Um, yeah, so this year, I think I'm just going to... I'm gonna to try to be consistently inconsistent. So it's better It's better if I, like, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna stream multiple times a week. I'm gonna gym multiple times a week. When? You know, we don't know. We don't know. And I've been, I've been really, like, you guys in chat have been, have been so, like, my community's been so lovely because I haven't even been giving you guys notice on Discord. I haven't been giving you any notice. I've been, I'm live now. No notice, no schedule whatsoever. Um, but because I've been so infrequent, I've made friends in all the time zones, which is nice. Oh, it's morning. Oh, I apologize. Got my time zones wrong. Wish it was nighttime. I skipped a day. Wait, you want to skip a day already? The year's going that badly? That's not good. <laughs> you can go get stabbed anytime. You go to the hospital anytime. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah. I don't have to get stabbed in the afternoon. I get stabbed at nighttime. Um, thankfully, never been stabbed. Unshankable. Unshankable. Um, so this year, I'm not going to like, because... I got a lot of, um, uh, like, you might not believe this. Uh, I'm looking at some scuff stuff. Um, but I, I let perfectionism stop me a lot. If it's not perfect, then I just, I'd rather not do it. If I can't do the best case scenario, then I wouldn't do it. And that was the same with like things like gym and stuff where it's like, okay, if my sleep's not perfect, if my food's not perfect, if my program is not perfect, then what's the point of that? I'm just not going to do it. Which it's, 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 it's stopped me from taking action a lot in my life. So this year, I'm not going to let that stop me. If 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 I wake up at 9 p.m., you know what? I'm still going to stream. You know, it's not the best for growth. It's not the best for discoverability. It's not the best for the community, but it's better than not streaming. So I'm going to try my best to give you guys advance notice and stuff. But um, the like the perfectionism is, is such a such a cruel mistress, you know, and um, like the fear of failure as well. You know, like you don't want to, it's all, you, you, there's a, a, a part of all of us that doesn't want to, we don't want to be embarrassed. We don't want to uh, fail publicly. We're worried about like judgment of people around us and stuff. Like everyone's got that, that like negative part of their brain and it's a real effort to try to overcome it, you know, but I'm so excited for this year. I'm so excited for this year. We'll be here. Yeah. You guys are so sweet, man. It's so nice seeing regular people. And it's also like, it's so nice meeting new people as well. Like a bunch of you guys in chat right now, you came from the raid, right? And you're still sticking around? That's so sweet, man. That's so sweet. Like, I know what it's like to like, I'm raiding someone. I don't know this person. I'm just gonna leave, you know? You've actually stuck around. That's so sweet, man. Uh, side note, massive love to the Overwatch community. All the Overwatch streamers in Australia that I've bumped into have been lovely. Been lovely. It's been such a fun little community. Um, and coming from some other games I was in, the community didn't feel like this. It didn't feel like this. So I'm very appreciative. Um, Oh really? It will feel is that because is that yeah, how does humidity work, MJ, in the cold? So negative twenty-five feels colder if it's humid compared to negative thirty-five if it's not humid? Also, how can you tell the difference? Negative twenty-five, negative thirty-five, what, your, your nuts freeze four seconds slower? How can you tell the difference? Is it just cold? But in terms of heat, when it gets to forty degrees, it's like that's fucking hot. Forty five, it's still fucking hot. Fifty degrees, it's it's still hot. Um Adelaide's got dry heat, which is really nice. Um humidity's terrible. But yeah, so I'm just gonna try this year to just um, like I mean I'm you know gonna try my best at everything, but try to try to uh, conquer the stuff that's stopping me from doing. It. I heard a really good quote um, that like it stuck with me ever since I heard it because it, it describes my life so perfectly. Um, what's the quote? What's the quote? Seeds of doubt become forests of inaction, and that is so fucking true, so fucking true. Um, you have to just you have to just get comfortable with looking like an idiot. Get comfortable. Oh my god, I thought I had like shit on my hair. It's just the things dropping. Thanks for following, mate. Welcome in, Monkey Vivid. Hi, mate. Good to see you. Good to see. You. I think it's gonna be our last game, guys. Gonna go to the gym. I haven't been to the gym in a while, so uh, I've been a bit nervous going back to the gym because I'm gonna get shit from the owner and the PTs. You know, they're very friendly. They're very lovely. But I haven't been in the gym in a few months. So that, um, you know, the end of the year was a bit rough. Um, but so I want to go to the gym now because it's like 1am, you know. So it's um, there's going to be no one there. 
I can, I can get over that that hurdle. I can, and then just get back used to it. Um, I'm from South Australia. South Australia, mate. Whereabouts are you from? If you're comfortable sharing, obviously, don't share anything you're not comfortable with. Yeah, South Australia. Right. If anyone is in, um, actually, it doesn't really matter where you're from, but if you're from Adelaide, uh, I'd recommend joining the Twitch Adelaide Discord. Even if you're not a streamer, if you're just a, a Twitch community member, join the Discord. If you're from, um, if you're from Canberra, like um, ACT, the uh, ACT, the the politician state, nice. Um, also, it's funny how Americans say Canberra, Canberra. Um, what was the saying? I can't remember. Oh, like if you if you spend a lot of time on Twitch and you you enjoy Twitch communities and stuff, I massively recommend joining your local community. Um, like uh, if if you're from Twitch San Diego, I'm sure they got Discord. Everywhere in the world has pretty much got a Twitch Discord. Um, and most places run events and stuff. In fact, um, I showed um, you know, my friend yesterday was like, "What do you get up to this year?" Well, it's kind of hard to explain. Made outfit, <laughs> shoeys. Like it's kind of hard. <laughs> it's um. <laughs> I do some weird stuff. I lost five followers. I lost five followers on New Year's Eve. Wow. Wow. Dude, I've been at 1200 and then 199 and then 1200 and then 1202. God damn it. <laughs> I posted Happy New Year and I lost five followers. My God, how can I show my face? These these metrics, All that's all that matters. All that matters. No, I showed him, Um, where was it? Yeah, this thing. How cool is this? How cool is this? So this is from the actual Twitch uh, thing. Community meetups. There's one in Las Vegas. There's one in Huntsville, Alabama. There's one in St. John's. And there's one in Adelaide. Little old Adelaide. You know, and like the, the, the Twitch is 10 million followers. It's like, you know, Adelaide's kind of a small... It's not the largest... um, The largest uh, city in Australia. But they actually tweeted another one as well. Um, yeah, so this was a, this was a Twitch Adelaide event. Twitch Adelaide did a lot of events this year. So um, if you're if you like, you know, also Twitch people like being like introverted and like not leaving the house. So fair enough. But um, yeah, I massively recommend joining your local community. We had a whole cinema to ourselves. We did a market tournament and a whole cinema. That was really good. And that's just one of the many events that we did this year, um, which is super cool. Where was the other Twitch thing? Just scrolling past my multiple tournament wins. Just, you know, just ignore that. The Battle.net launcher, pretty good for a plat. Where was it? Oh yeah, like Twitch ANZ tweet us out for FPS week, which is kind of cool. That was kind of nice. I didn't expect that. I guess we clipped it. Oh yeah, that was me uh, killing a Pharah. Dude, Genji's so much fun. So much fun. Grace is lovely too. I had the pleasure of meeting Grace and uh, her partner Jeff this year. Um, in fact, at the Twitch, at the Twitch, I was I went through. So today, one of my, oh, can I have Genji? Can I has the weeb? Can I have the weeb? Look, you're Moon Bear. I'm Drop Bear. No, maybe I can't have it. All right, we've got to be fast on defense. What do I want to play? I don't mind it, Ash. Okay, don't laugh at my aim. My aim's going to be shocking. Shocking. Oh, holy moly. I haven't been there yet, but I've known so many people that have gone there. Did you have fun? What were you in Adelaide for? You just seeing friends and family? It was humid. The cold bites. Ah. Interesting. That was perfectly timed as the shield broke. Thank God they... Oh no. Oh, this guy, this guy, I've played with him before. He's top 400. He's a top 500 tank. He's very good. This is what I mean. Late night Masters games, it's, um, they're actually top 500 games. It shouldn't be in a top 500 game. I mean, I guess I have won tournaments versus top 500s. So, maybe, maybe I should stop being so critical. Ash isn't great versus the Ryan. Where's their supports? I should just... Oh, nice. Great pick. Oh, there we go. Another great pick. Let's go. Another great pick incoming onto the... Junkrat won't die there, unfortunately. Oh, I got him. 
Tickle, tickle, tickle. Where'd the junk rat go? Is he dead? I feel like the junk rat's hiding down there or something. Aim is ultra. Yeah, that's it. Oh, we're doing a wedding. Oh, nice. Nice. Wedding in Adelaide, hey? I mean, I went to a wedding last year in Adelaide. I got my, my the favorite wedding photo ever. I got a I got a photo of all of us in the suit, like groomsman, best man. I'm dead here. Freaking scary. Um, I got three slow motion photos of me sack tapping the groom. I was like, look, mate, I'm not getting laid tonight. You're not getting laid tonight either. Smacked him in the nuts. It was a, oh my god. If I can find those photos, my favorite photos. You remind me after this, after the game, I'll show you. Slow motion, such a perfect flick. Such a perfect one. All right, we just kill the sports and then. Oh God. Please, please. Okay, that was a tactical miss because we split spawn him for longer. We split spawn him uber long. I'm gonna die to the hands, I wanna. Dude, my aim's shocking. Also, I'm getting like fucking 100 FPS. This is unacceptable. I would love to work with the PC company this year. We need a computer upgrade so badly, man. It's been four years. My computer is really unhappy. Really unhappy. A chicken costume? Wait, at the actual wedding? At the actual wedding? Were the bride and groom happy with that? I just don't have sleep up. They're dropping a lot of ults. Generally, if if uh, like if like if we lose a pick, I'll generally ult. Because if you lose a pick, it's like you're pretty much gonna lose a team fight, so you gotta stabilize it. So if they get a kill, I generally ult immediately, try to save it. Um, I saw the Ryan go down there, so, but they used more ults than we had. They used more. I'm just trying to, I am staggering, but I'm trying to get a little bit of ult charge. They, they've buffed the Ash reload speed multiple times. I'm st I still want it faster. <laughs> Make it, give Ash like a 30 round clip, please. Give, give her like, you know, two barrel drums. Give her a machine gun. I remember my fear of Brig. Yeah, I mean Brig, like when Brig got invent when Brig got invented into the game, I didn't play Overwatch for like a year. Because I just couldn't play Genji. I couldn't play Genji, dude. Every game had a Brig. I'm like, great, now I can't play the fun character. Oh, thanks for the grip. Oh. Got a Torb now. Torb kinda spicy, eh? Oh, I got someone. Haha, -ha, I got the rat. Winnable, winnable, totally winnable. Yeah, nice. Am I lagging? No, I'm just bad. I just gotta be careful. I'm a Torb player as well, dude. Torb is a sniper. I don't think Torb has any um any fall off um on his damage. Like a Torb headshot, two tap, GG easy. He can't push at all, but he's so he's so thick. His hitbox is easy to hit. Oh no! See, I, I manifested, manifested it. Judging, Ash is my second favorite character. Ash is my favorite hit scan. Like, oh no! I have such PTSD from Liga. I heard of the charge, and I'm like, I don't see a Reinhardt. I guess I'm about to die. I, my my aim is so bad, man. Like, I used to be, I used to have really good aim. Like. Before Overwatch, I was um like uh, global CS doing like um like face and ESA tournaments and stuff uh, back in the day. Um, but uh, ever since then, like then I did then I did Overwatch and DVD. So like 2,000 hours in Overwatch, not playing hit scan, and DVD is literally you can play it with the fucking no hands, no legs. You can play it with your ball sack. It's it's it's, it's M1 and W with like graphics. Um, so my aim is so rough and aim is so like it's um it's not a uh, it's something you gotta train like when I used to do CSGO I'd be playing deathmatch aim maps like five hours before I'd even try comp and I'd notice if I didn't play if I didn't play CSGO for like one or two days I would be so rusty I would get destroyed so uh my aim is not great but I used to be okay at aiming I do love Ash which is and, but also your Ash is are you, are you are you only diamond? Are you you gotta be at least masters. Well, like casting your ash in the tournament, especially on Route 66 on defense. Jesus Christ, man. Jesus Christ. I was both disgusted and horny. Oh, you're not allowed to. Oh, you're GM. Okay, that makes sense. Have you have you been GM like the whole year? I don't think I ever asked for rank. I think I just assumed. 
you know, when I beat you in that th those first two tournaments, I just assumed you were low rank because, you know, they can't be GM. Yeah, that makes sense. Have you ever been top 500? Nah, your aim is nutty, bro. It's, it's nutty. It's crazy. Dude, yeah, I think he played Genji pretty well. But like, I want... Oh, give me the Genji. Give me the Genji. So make notes on calendars. Transferring notes before you throw it away. At 190. Uh, just wait for day one at 168. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. Do you have a goal? Also, don't um stress about, you know, numbers too much. Like, and I, I know you're not that sort of person, but just generally here. People get really freaked out about numbers. They'll go on the scale and be like, oh, I'm I'm not high in number, I'm low in number. Like, it's very fluctuating. My best advice to anybody, like, I have a degree in sports science. I, I worked as a strength and coach. I've done a lot of stuff in the background. Um, Oh, he wants to be Ash? Fine by me, dude. Let's go. Ash is better on defense here, for sure. For sure. Um, but the, the tip that I give most people, because water weight, it fluctuates, don't tie your value and your progress to the number. And I know I know this isn't you, I'm speaking generally here. Measurements are good too. I actually am a qualified, um, what's the right word? Anthropometrist? Yeah, I'm a qualified anthropometrist. I'm Isaac level two trained. I worked on multi-million dollar research studies for the, uh, the Australian Navy. Um, in both HMAS Cuttable and Garden Island in Perth, um, for the for, as a research assistant in, in, uh, for uni, um, you know, skin fold measurements, body weight, like a couple, like three hundred dollars machines that we do scans and stuff. Um, that's just me like bragging, I guess. Humble flex. Yeah, dude. Guess what? I'm fifty k in hex debt. Ha ha. I'm so good. I got I got a great job. I got promoted twice. I was going to run centers. I got the best job of my life. Like, I think it was like 100k a year. Never earned that money in my life. And then I, 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 turned, down the, I turned down three promotions because I wanted to stream. I had, se I had seven average viewers and I'm like, I love streaming. This is what I want to do. This is my whole life. Like, I found my dream. And it's like, you just worked for 10 years and studied for 10 years. You finally got a good job where you can buy a house and actually not be a poor cunt. Nope. ADHD. I was bored of it. Like, because once I got the job, because, like, I, uh... This is up a tangent. Um, before I forget. Um, so my advice if you're losing weight, weigh yourself at the same time every day. Like, weigh yourself in the morning, same time every day, and then average it out over the week. So weigh yourself seven days in a row, and then average it. That's the best way to be accurate. And if you've gone up or, or like, gone down, if you've, if you've gone up weight or whatever, don't stress too much, because your body does play toes sometimes. It's, it's just part of it. You know, just focus on healthy habits rather than... Like, be performance-based, not results-based, you know? Try your best. Don't worry about the end goal. Um, nice stream and reach. No regrets. I mean, some regrets. I would have probably would have a house and wouldn't be eating Audi frozen pizzas. Um, no, because, um, like, like my friend said, um, you would have quit in three weeks. Because once I got, like, the context of that that story... Are we going to... Oh, we're actually testing. Damn it. Is there a Brie upstairs? I want to reflect that, but I think the Ryan's more important. Damn, they touched. The load, bro, the load! Ooh, shit, spicy, spicy. How much damage does an Anna gun do? Do you know that, Mayo? What's the actual damage of an Anna gun? 60? I was 72 health there, I was scared. Um, so what I, what I did, like I was a swimming coach. Um, I coached swimming for a, a while. Um, I loved it. I love working with kids. I love teaching. I love coaching. That's why I was like educational BBD. I love teaching. I love coaching. Um, and I was a swimming coach, and then I got promoted to supervisor in like my first my first uh, term. Um, and then I had like uh, I loved it, man. I loved it. It was really good. Um, but I I didn't do I didn't wasn't a swimming coach for the money. I was a swimming coach, you know multiple reasons one i was experienced i used to be a national swimmer um i got a sports science degree like there's many reasons why i was a swimming coach um but it wasn't the money it was just like i enjoy this and i can pay rent so i do swimming coaching and then i got promoted to um like i enjoyed the job and then i got promoted to like supervisor so i wasn't coaching as much and then i uh, got promoted to like duty manager i was going to run a few centers and stuff um so that had like the big pay rate I was going to be you know all successful and whatever yeah, yeah, he... Oh, does every every Masters rat do that? You just wait for five seconds? No, just send it. Send it so I can blade you. 
But I had to I had to try because that's the last fight. Oh, Bob killed their turret. Nah, GG's. GG's? Just better. I tanked it pretty well. Was it their supports? I mean, uh, Akiri did really good. And Mercy kind of struggled. Oh, we did okay. Like, we out damaged their rat. Um, yeah, well played. Well played. Play of the game. That is that is BM. That's such BM. Did I even get a blade kill? Thank you. Hard ban this good to be honest. Nice blade. Fuck off. Who said that? Oh the Torb. Alright. Alright, mate. Nice turret damage. Didn't even get it. Didn't even get it. Can you believe that? A Torb talking shit. Didn't even get a single hammer kill. I didn't even see him whip his hammer out. Didn't even attempt. Didn't even attempt a hammer kill. Can't, don't take criticism for people you wouldn't ask advice from. How dare you? You're a tall player. You don't even try to hammer. Mate, I, I bring out the hammer in grand finals of tournaments. That That is impressive. I'm going to play another game. Do I just stream till 6 a.m.? I'm having so much fun right now. I should go to the gym. I'm not going to. I'm, I'm going to. Uh, video games are fun. <laughs> Meal promotions are huge. Like one of the easiest ways to lose weight is just um, breakfast. Have half a breakfast. Super easy. It's calories in, calories out. It's, it's, it's all it is. Look at that. All it is. Yo! Dude, I almost came into a stream the other day and then I felt I felt nervous. I was like, I haven't said hi to Val in forever. Oh, it's so good to see you, dude. Val, yesterday um, I did a like a, a year recap, you know, Twitch recap. Um, I was like going through all the stuff over the years and... Um, I didn't show off the pack stuff because I wasn't streaming during the pack stuff. Um, and I yesterday on stream, I showed the photo of me and you at packs together. Um, and I was like, she's lovely. Oh, so good to see you, man. Dude, you're crushing it. You've been crushing it for how many years now? How many years have you been crushing it, Val? So many years. Guys, please follow Val. Um, she's not purely DBD. I think you've done some Boulder's Gate and stuff. Thanks for the raid, man. Walk one in. Hi, Wake. Good to see you. Um, Sunder? I don't know how to say that. I don't know how to say that first thing. The Shadow Realm. The Shadow Realm. Hi, Shay. Good to see you. Also, Val, if you got to raid and run, you'll take a shit, go to bed. Get out of here. Take care of yourself. I'll make sure I pop in. I get so nervous when I haven't talked to friends in like so long. Like, I haven't talked to you three months, six months. It's like harder to say hi because it's like, I haven't said hi in so long. I feel guilty. Oh, House of a Two. Nice. I got it. Is that based off an, is there an anime character called Sun something? I feel like I've seen that name. Is it like a thick girl? A, th a thick legged girl anime character or something or a fighting character i don't know i don't know um so good to see you val thank you so much for the raid if you're if you're brand new here from val's stream um or oh my god i have to come in just i'll have to i haven't heard i haven't heard scary that is the most serotonin inducing welcome i've ever seen in a stream um oh that's sweet val. same for me same for me i just really don't um I just really don't watch DBD too much anymore, and I feel weird not being in the DBD community. And I don't know, man. I don't know. That's my problems, though. Okay. Um, thank you for the raid, man. That's so sweet. That's so sweet. House Loop is a chill game, man. House Loop is a chill game. I appreciate it. Um, if you're brand new here, I used to be a Dead by Daylight nerd. I'm reformed. Um, now we do like we do just chatting. We do uh, like we're, we're very mental health positive and we do a lot of a lot of motivational talking and just chatting and stuff but we're doing a lot of variety fps so playing finals playing oh we, we we won some overwatch tournaments this year um we've done a bit of casting casting so much fun val oh my god oh my god we've been, we've been casting tournaments and stuff i i got, I got the bug when i did light in the fog that was like i was like oh this is great this is great thank you man dude there's so many brought so many new people here that might not know me but if you want to know what I get up to, this is from 2018 and 2020 when I was a DVD nerd. So this might interest some of your community. Um, I'm sure you've got people that love everything. But my friend Morgan Freeman can welcome you to the stream. Who is Scared Drop Bear, you may ask? Is he an esports professional? Might be the wind condition of the game. Absolutely cleaning up. It is a massacre. Oh my god, drop there. Jump headshot. Winner is Mr. Scary Drummond. Is he good at video games? <laughs> I just hit a great skill check by hitting the space bar with the bottom of the beer. Right or is he simply a meme lord? No, 
he is none of those things. He is, in fact, a dickhead. Press follow and hang out live. Otherwise, who really is the dickhead? Still him. Thank you. Who is That's the stream. We're a dickhead. That's the stream. We're a dickhead. Welcome in. No matter what game we play, we're always a dickhead. We're always being silly. Do some more variety. Dude, your community is so wholesome, man. I think you could get away with doing all the variety. DVD is such a specific game. Like, DVD, stream, DVD viewers only watch DVD. Um, mostly. But you're bloody entertaining no matter what you do, so... You'll be okay. Like, going from 150 average viewers... Um, to like, you know, between 30 and 60. Um, was like a, a, a you know... Tough pill to swallow, but I wasn't surprised. Different games and stuff. Thanks for the rate, man. I appreciate it. And if you've got to run, no stress. Yeah, we were known for... When we did DVD, we were known for... Oh, wow. Did I get him? Damn. Damn. Anna, massive save. I'm dead here. Anna did so well. The bat too. Scary. We did one hand Billy. We drift with Billy with one hand and then drink a beer. Good fun. Or we do a 360 Huntress. Yeah, um... I don't know if you're sticking around for a bit, Val. But let me know. I want to know how DVD is now. I only played DVD twice last year. Um, I played it when Nick Cage came out, which I thought was awesome. And I uh, played it when Alien came out. I played it with Noms uh, when I came back. Um, DVD seems like it's improved in pretty much every area. Like, 95% of my opinion is that they have made such great changes. It's just a shame it took fucking... Aha. Uh -huh. No! Run! Run! <laughs> that was really cheeky. Really cheeky, dude. This is the same, like, the, the changes took so long to happen. Before I got burnt out. And love that stuff in the background. Pop over to alert. No stress. No stress, mate. We'll catch up soon. Thank you for the raid, man. Um, I'm hoping I'm in the financial situation this year to go to PAX. And if I am, I'd love to say good day to your partner again. Need a break and want to play other games? Oh, nice. Nice, dude. Yeah, getting into that, like... You know, you go lurk. Stop replying to me. <laughs> go get some food, man. You need more. You, you, you know all the food you can get, dude. You know all the food you can get. Jesus Christ, wasting away, man. <laughs> no, um... What was I going to say? Um, like, it's good that you can have those breaks and it doesn't, uh... It doesn't affect you with your, like, your stream growth and stuff. That's awesome. Are you a Fog Whisperer now? I'll, I'll, I'll stop asking questions. Go make food. If you're not a Fog Whisperer, you should be one. You should be. You, you must have a Twitch shirt at least. Surely. Surely. But thanks so much for the raid. Dude, I was gonna... This was gonna be my last game. Actually, the last game was gonna be my last game. I've said this for five years straight. since 2018. If you stream in Australia and you stream past 11pm, you, you'll stream to 5am. Because at 11pm, you go one last game and you get a raid. And you go, okay, I'll do a few more games. And then at midnight... Okay, let's last game, and then you get another raid. And then 2am, get another raid. And then 3am, get a lot of Americans coming in saying g'day. And it's like, you just can't end. If you don't end before 11... Because we, we had a cool little... We had a, group of, a cool little group of friends in DVD. Give me the lamp. Oh, nice. Oh, he's, he's nano! Spicy! I thought she was dead because, um, oh, oh, huge. See, it's almost like when we have the top 500 tank on our team, we win. And the top 500 tank on the other team, we lost. So maybe it wasn't the Genji's fault. And now I'm 6-0. Haven't even died yet. That other idiot just getting carried by top 500 tank. <laughs> Damn, he flicked his shield. Unlucky. Unlucky. Oh, you got shirted. Nice. Nice. Don't do anything, don't do any spicy memes, I'll take it away, right? <laughs> There's a few things that like, um, uh, you know, I'm not going to complain or anything. There's a few things that like, um, what's the right word? Disenfranchised? A few things that I saw and I was like, uh, what, why am I trying to do some of this stuff? Because the people that have done this stuff, it doesn't, doesn't look fun or enjoyable. It looks stressful. But I mean, you deserve it, man. You're a great creator, no matter what you do. No matter what you do. Oh, you're probably a good Billy now, eh? I know you were crushing that. That's probably two years ago now. Must be great now. Yeah, I played it twice last year. And, like, without sounding like a complete arrogant cunt, I honestly was like, okay, this guy. Like, I made multiple kills DC. I, uh, 
Oh, I'm dead here. Unlucky. Unlucky. My mod because I was still looping people. I was still 360ing him. I was like, it's still easy. It's still... You know, I do have 4,000 hours, so... Uh, probably better than average player. But I thought after having, like, you know, two years off the game, I thought I'd have to relearn it. But I can still press W and spacebar, so... <laughs> Shay Gekin. I'm sorry I missed that comment, Shay. Just, just, what a, you see that all the time in streams? Where like the streamer just only talks to the partner streamer? Only talks and ignores chat? I'm just, I'm just uh, forgetful. Cool name though, dude. Cool name. Yeah, House Sweeper sounds relaxing. And also, um, what's the other one? Um, Power Washer? My friend K-Ray does Power Washer Simulator. Power Washer is in that chill game? I think, um, we're going to do more of those chill sorts of games because instead of doing just chatting where we're just talking, why don't we have like, you know, do stream raiders in the background or do um house flipper or power washer. Those games don't take any like focus. But God damn. This turret is so annoying. Oh my God. He's instantly full health. I can't get her. Damn, I can't do anything here. I'm dead, yeah. I was... Uh, I didn't want to get no. Uh, uh, so fair enough, fair enough. Like, getting nanoed... Like, if, if I get... If you get nanoed and I'm more than one dash away from the enemy, it's dog shit. Um, like, because when you, when, you, when you use your ultimate, you get your dash back. But I had to dash in, dash in, ult, and then I, they were still too far away. I didn't have a dash to get the other guy, like... Um... Nice shot. Nice shot. Great shot. Alari's a DPS, man. The two-tap headshot. Oh, dude, she's essentially Widow with AFK heals. She's so fucking strong. Go away! Oh, I got it! Yeah, fuck you, rat! Oh, we lost anyway. Die, rat! Die! <laughs> oh, god damn it. God damn it. Wait, there's a SpongeBob DSC, is there? Like what, you can clean Bikini Bottom? That sounds awesome. That sounds awesome. Super chill. We should do it. Uh, one of my friends, K-Raid. I, I recommend watching K-Raid. He's, he's very awesome. He's very awesome. Super chill. Uh, I'm gonna take a piss. I don't know if I have time, but I'm busting. Back in a sec. Oh, we're gonna be a bit late. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah, like um, one of the big things it still feels weird saying last year. Oh, dude, it's gonna be like six months before I stop writing 2023 on forms and stuff. Yeah, one of the things I was uh, trying to get over last year was being comfortable with silence. Like you know, all the all the 24 hour streams we've done, you couldn't find three seconds of dead air. Like, I can, I talk 24-7. My brain runs 24-7. Never shut the fuck up. And that's actually something with casting that's been hard. Um, learning to shut the fuck up rather than just talk 24-7. Um, and the medication which makes me calmer, it makes that so much easier. I, I'm not impatient. I'm not as impulsive. I can actually be quiet. So one of the things I was trying to do last year and I want to keep doing this year is like being comfortable playing a chill game. You know, if we play Power Simulator and we're just playing lo-fi, and we're just relaxing, you know, trying to get over that feeling of like, I've got to be talking 24-7, I've got to be entertaining, oh my god, you know. Just chilling, just chilling. So, there's no reason why we couldn't do Power Wash Sim 1. Damn, nice. I suppose it didn't reflect that. 
Also, the May is quite good. Oh, unlucky. Yeah. I don't want to go hit scan. Fine. Fine. I'm not very good at hit scan. But, like, it's a, a bad hit scan can shoot a Pharah. She doesn't have a mercy. So, should be okay. But their Alari is fucking scary. Alari is super scary. I don't know if we need that cleanse there. Ooh. We'll wait for the tank to come back. Roadhog? I like it. Can we even touch? I can't touch. Their Alari is so good, man. No, you don't. And also, Soldier vs Doom is so rough. I just get deleted. Why am I ego peeking a fucking window versus God tier supports? So dumb. So dumb. I'm not. I don't play Soldier. I'm not good enough to to kill their. Uh, I can't. I can't even kill their Alari at that range. Yeah, you were, we were talking about that yesterday, MJ. Were you saying there was a bug or something? Or there was like, oh, are you saying there was like a lot of, um, a lot of loading stuff? Did I even destroy it? Wow, I die here. She's so good. She's so good. Oh, I don't hit that. Yeah, what am I, well, I, I don't anything. I don't know anything. Damn. Damn! I talked shit at the start as well. I was 6-0, didn't die, talking shit. Oh, unlucky. I definitely prefer attacking to defending. Unlucky, man. Oh, dude, I just got owned this game. I really got owned. I mean, I'm masters. I shouldn't be playing top 100 games. I know, I know what my skill level is at, at the moment. But, motivation to get better. Our tank is very good. I've, I played with him the other day. Um... And he was top 400. I don't know what he is now. I ain't top five, 400 DPS. I'm a filthy, degenerate Genji gamer. It's a long loan screen. You have his new save you can't skip. Yeah, that's what you were saying the other day. Yeah, that's so irritating. Oh! Do you want to dive into the mortality field? That's our hogs, pig pen. I'm an idiot. I don't know. Like, I should be managing my cooldowns on the soldier. I gotta play the range. I gotta be more pokey. I don't know who I should be targeting. Am I dead? Yeah, I'm dead. We don't have a shield, so I'm just like in the back line. Like, our, our supports are getting pressured super hard. Super hard. I don't know I should play. I think we just lose, unfortunately. Still got some um, their supports are better hit scans than I am. A soldier. I got one kill! Let's go! Yeah, I struggled that game. GG were played. I wanna have a look. Am I right? Their supports was I mean their supports were so good, dude. Their supports were so I got I got out damage, dude. Like look at that look, eight nine thousand supports. That was so good. Very well played. Subs. Yeah, they were owning me. Bap is like, I, when I saw, like, I saw Snow play Bap, and he's essentially DPS. Um, and also Q, like, oh, God. They played super well. Super well. Have a look, am I right? Okay, so he's ranked up. If he, if he keeps lobbying with, if he keeps bumming into me, he's going to keep de-ranking. Yeah, he's bloody fucking, I mean, that's season high. Now he's Masters 3. Yeah, top, top 380th tank in, in... In OCE, crazy. What about everybody else? What's the supports? Most people have their um stuff, uh, their profiles hidden. Um, yeah, okay. So this guy's a grandmaster. Um, like grand uh grandmaster three. So of course their aim is god tier on support as well. Yeah, that played super well, super well. What about the bat? Uh, okay. Oh, the bat was also master. That's, that's, that should be bearable. I don't think the mate did anything spicy that I noticed. I noticed the supports though. Uh, who's this player? That's oh, a tank. Diamond 2 tank. Or Masters 2 tank. Masters 4. Okay, this is pretty, pretty balanced. Pretty balanced. Like we had the advantage there um, with that guy. Um, 
What are we streaming for? The games get the queues get slow at like 4 a.m. Like the queues for Overwatch are high rank. They're pretty fast from like afternoon, evening to like degeneracy hours. Like 3, 4 a.m. You can see like a two hour queue. Um, the morning's really slow, but like anywhere between like 8 p.m. and like 2 a.m. They're usually pretty fast. They're pretty fast. Um, but goddamn Val has to <laughs> has to braid me with all of her beautiful people. Terrible. Terrible. You know what? Maybe we should just we should just we should play one more game anyway. Maybe we should just end it. You know, I don't want to be I don't want to be too viewer viewer folks. Although there was some like I was, so today my my work today my boring offline work today, I went through, I caught up on all my emails from fucking October, October. I went through thousands of emails from October, and there's a few opportunities that do have an average viewer component to it. Um. And like all of last year, I tried to get out of my head, like don't give a shit about uh, like numbers. Don't care about numbers. Just try your best. And if you try, I'd rather try my try my best and fail than be someone I'm not and succeed. Um, than like mask and stuff. So I, I spent a lot most of last year trying to get out of that mindset of like have fun, get back into like start enjoying it again, start uh, like do, making good content. Not and don't don't because like a trap that a lot of streamers get into. A trap that a lot of streamers get into, and I always I feel into this massively like that grind set, um, grind set one, all the time is where you go like, oh, like especially, especially when you're growing, especially when you're affiliate, um, like it's so stressful like trying to push partner and stuff. It's so stressful. Like the, you, the average users go down and you freak out and stuff. And one of the biggest things that like I think other most streamers have gone through as well, uh, that I kind of uh, felt for a little bit was I would tie. Uh, if it was a good stream or a bad stream, I would tie it to the result. So at the end of the stream, I'd be checking the stats, I'd be going through the stats. Oh, I have had five average viewers less than yesterday. It must have been a bad stream. Oh, I had five average viewers more. It must have been a good stream. But it is so inaccurate to think that way. Like, don't discount that stuff. They're, they're good metrics to judge yourself on. But it's the, such the wrong way to think. Such the wrong way to think. Because you might have an awesome stream. You have fun. You're being silly. You, you're making good content or whatever. And then you check the numbers and you go, oh, the numbers were lower. I must have done worse. But the numbers could be higher because of the time zones. They could be lower because of public holidays. You have no idea. You have no idea. Just because they don't align with what you were doing doesn't mean it's exactly accurate. It's correlated, not causated. Um, maybe it's causated. <laughs> um, so I really tried to get out of that, um, get out of that result-focused mindset. It was a big part of last year, just about trying and if it fails, we'll still be proud because you tried your best rather than, uh, you know, tying tying your like mental health, to those numbers and stuff. Um, so we could just end the stream right now. <laughs> oh, well, I'm not going to sleep tonight anyway. I wanted to get up at 6 a.m. Um, I might just stay up to 6 a.m. I might just stay awake till then. I'm, I'm rarely awake this late. Oh, that's not true. I am. I'm still a night owl. Um, which is a shame because I, I don't get to hang out with all my my 3am friends anymore the bondulence it's a long ingron loading it's probably also oh, you're up super late acid did you um how was the camping trip man is that what you did for christmas new year's did you say you went camping a new era I think I have a vague memory, us. a vague memory of that. <clears throat> it is officially the second day of January, which means there is less. I think it's 24 hours. I think it's 3 a.m. on the third on the third of January. The uh, Twitch bonus stuff runs out in 24 hours. You got one day left. One day left. 25% off subs. X Men discount. Uh, brand new special hype train. It disappears in 24 hours. So if you care, if you care about the hype emotes, the the hype elf emote is pretty cool that we got. God, I hate Malga, man. Like he's he's cool, but he's got too much health. Like I can't do anything on Genji versus him. I gotta play Reaper or Junkrat. He's got so much health. Is that that Torb? Is that Torb? Dude, I should go to Torb. Yeah, I think I'm gonna Torb. I'm gonna hammer this guy. That's the plan. I hope he's not a god Torb. I'm gonna hammer the tall, bro. Ah! Got Malgan. Oh, shit. Got an Anna on him. There's a trap behind me. It's super important to get that first touch. I got 50% ult charge. I should just keep it. Nah, let's go, dude. 
Oh, I love a bit of Torb. Oh, we're in Torb. Did he just swap? Oh, he opened on Torb. Oh, I love Torb, man. Torb is so fun. Oh, fair enough. Fair enough. Shame it got, got cut short. Um, but yeah, probably a good call. I actually, I think one of the, the biggest pleasures in life is being inside a tent while it's raining. As long as you set your flight, probably you're not getting wet. But being inside a tent when it's raining, it's so nice. Sitting on a camping chair at the river while it's bucketing, not so nice. Not so nice, but... He's getting kind of low. Rig there. Who do we get here? None of us with the tank. Pressure the support is a good call. Ooh, now the brig to keep her alive. There's no sleep. I have no aim. Great. I got junk rats peeling for her. Oh, I'm actually dead. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. Everyone else died first. Not my fault. Thunderstorms. Is that worse? I mean, you don't want to get struck by lightning. Yeah, also, it's like super windy and stuff. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. We had some brutal fucking thunderstorms uh, like the Christmas week. Christmas Day. Christmas Day was like... Christmas Day was 19 degrees. Middle of summer. Christmas is never 19 degrees. 19 degrees and raining and thunderstorms. Like, what the fuck? Cage, bro. Can I touch? I can! Let's go. Right, I'm just getting booped around. I want to go Torb. 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 I want to hammer someone. I want to hammer someone. Went on a hike and it started warm rain. Warm rain is nice. That was, um... Uh... I was freaking out about this last night. Um, I went to Bali for my... Uh, I went to Bali twice. Um, the first time I went um, was for my friend's 21st. My friend's 21st birthday. Which was exactly 10 years ago. Which was which is crazy. Um, but uh, we went... Uh, the first time we went to Bali, we went in like December. You know, December New Year's Eve. So we're there for Christmas, we're there for New Year's Eve. The... Um, did he die here? No. Um... Which is their monsoon season. You know, Bali's always like 30 degrees. It's always been warm. Um, but it rained for 36 hours straight. So we we're walking around on New Year's Eve, bucketing rain, like monsoon, bucketing rain, beautiful 30, 35 degrees. It was like a warm shower the whole time. Walking around, a few bevies, the clubs and stuff on the beach. Oh man, like we're just soaking wet, but it was so nice. And it's like rain is the only water that won't give you a brutal illness on um in Bali as well. It was so nice. It was so nice. Cold rain, not so much. Not so much. I gotta buy um we gotta do an ice bath uh, this month. Sometime. Sometime soon. Got an ice bath for one of the charity goals. Um and when I suggested that goal I was doing like lots of cold showers so I was like getting used to the cold. But um the problem now in summer uh, I guess it's it's a, it's a weird problem to have. Yeah, I'll just die here. Um, is now if I cold shower, it's actually like it's it's warm. It's 30 degrees, so a cold shower feels nice. Whereas a cold shower and it's negative one in winter was horrible. And that's the point. It's supposed to be horrible. Like if a cold shower is nice, that's the, that's not the point. The point is it's supposed to be, supposed to be horrible. So I got to train. I got to train ice bars or something. Oh, by the candles. Oh god. Oh my god. Dude, I don't I don't have a bath. I think I've only had. I mean, I think I guess I bath as a kid. But, I don't know, where would be a hotel room? Two times as an adult, I had a bath. And it's never happened in my life ever before this, alright? This is the only time it's ever happened in my life. Twice. Both times in a bath. I don't know why. Two times in a bath, I got a gooch cramp. A gooch cramp. I didn't know it was possible. It's, how do you stretch that? I don't know if the bath is too small or, like, just that position. Two times in the last 10 years I've had a bath, it's happened. I don't know why, it's, but it's so painful. So I think I'm like scared of baths now. I don't know why. Maybe TLDR, or maybe too much information, but that touch. Oh, I was stuck in a rock and a hard place there. I shouldn't have altered. I didn't know Doom had, I didn't know Doom at all. So I altered just to get double dash to touch because it looked like we were gonna contest there. Can I talk? No, we still talk. Oh, I'm doing dog shit. I'm doing so bad, man. I don't feel like I'm doing bad. I'm just like, I'm just, uh, I can't Cassidy at all. I can't Cassidy, dude. I can't aim. I can't aim on Cassidy. Sombra is brain dead, but I'm also bad at Sombra too. I'll probably have less impact on Sombra. 
But at least I can move fast. I don't have to walk 100 meters slowly. Oh, getting a renovation. A cup of, cup of tea and Pepsi Max. That is the weirdest combo. That is the weirdest combo. You didn't even ask a number for the tea this time. Why is my game feel super quiet now? I don't know what you should do, Vestorb. Should I hack the turret? Is that the thing? I don't know how to play Sombra, dude. Happy New Year, whoever that was. Nico, good to see you, dude. Dude, I was doing a Twitch recap. I'm dead here. I could have tallied. I did a Twitch recap yesterday and we were watching like a bunch of old clips and stuff. Um, and in the in the clip that Shawane bought the first ever merch, um, top top left, recent subscriber, copycat Overwatch. How many months is that, man? 64? Fucking hell, bro. We're so old. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. It's gonna be a good year. It's gonna be a good year, dude. It's gonna be a good year. I hope you're feeling good. I know last time we talked, uh, you were, there was like, wasn't too good. Um, I hope, I hope, you know, you, you've got over that stuff. I'm trying to be vague here. I'm trying to be vague. Don't worry, dude. This year is going to be another year of super models. I'm so bad at Sombra, bro. Oh, the... Oh, actually, I'm... I'm just getting... I'm getting owned by Mauga. Dude, I'm I'm high masters now. And I'm, I'm constantly... Like, this is, you know, it's like 1am here. So I'm constantly in, like, top 500, like, Grandmaster games. I'm a plat Genji. It's so hard, bro. It's so fucking hard. How the hell did you play like, you played Div 2 World Cup, was it? Or was that, uh, was that Viking? How do you, dude, is it support? It's so hard. It's so hard. It's so hard, bro. That was a bit heavy. Unfortunately, like nothing helps. It's just time. Nothing helps. It's just, it's just time heals the wound. That's all it is. But you learn some stuff. Next time will be better. You know, every relationship, you either, um, say, every relationship, either you get married or you break up. That's every relationship. Yeah, I'm actually dog shit. I'm playing shocking. Sorry, guys. Oh, Flute just started playing. Bloody Perth. Still yesterday. I'm just getting owned. Just, I, can't, I can't Genji into these comps, man. I can't Genji into these comps. Just getting absolutely. I'm getting my prostate inspected. Oh man, they play well. Like there's no, uh, there's no salt. Um, I'm getting, I'm getting diffed. I'm, uh, they're playing much better than I am. And, I mean, I'm, I keep versing bloody Briggs and Maze and fucking Malgas. What am I supposed to do on Genji? That's all I play. That's all I play. Uh, I don't know. Seven, seven today. He's so, dude, he's got too much health. He's got too much fucking health. I don't, also, you can't double jump when you're in the cage. Why did you take away my double jump? Everything in the game. Oh, Brig. Oh, great. I thought that was going to be the worst of the game. Now you get, now I get hindered. Now I get hacked. Now I get in the cage and I can't even jump. I can't wall climb. Or then I get bloody, um, what's it called? Ravenous Vortex from Ram and I get slow and I can't jump. Oh my God. Everything is just like countering Genji. Oh, well, I, I want to see, I want people to play, you play Zen, you play Junkrat, um, play Ryan or Sig or something, then I can have free reign. Oh man, we're getting bamboozled. Getting bamboozled. He's so strong, dude. He's, I like I like everything about Mal. Like, I, I, I like the character, I like the voice lines, I like the lore behind it. I like how he looks. I think it's awesome. Um, but as a Genji player, I wish he wasn't in the game. He's um like, I'd, I'd way rather versus Roadhog. I'd way rather versus Roadhog. Cause I feel like Roadhog, like Roadhog, I can just like build my ult in like five seconds, just poking him. But Malga, I'm just like, he just has permanent an Anna on a Malga. Just, he just has some million, billion, trillion health. <sighs> Rough. Oh, number twenty-two. Ah, oh, nice. Thanks for the uh, sixty-four months, man. I went through the artwork as well. Um, all the inches went to his nose. That's funny, dude. That's funny. Have you got some, uh, what was your, I mean, I don't know how long you're sticking around for. Um, but how was your New Year's? How was your Christmas? If you guys did anything cool for New Year's or Christmas, let me know. I'm curious. Did you have like a, was it snowing? Was it like a, um, also someone earlier said they like my shirt. Thank you for that. Whoever said that. I, I missed that comment from like four hours ago. Oh. Oh. 
when I had when I had two beers and was slightly tipsy, I challenged my very strong friend, who's like 25 kilos heavier than me. I, I arm wrestled him. No, he had a um, he had a, a cast iron pan that he bought, and he was like, try to lift this, and then he was like, he lifted it up to here, like held it up, and I'm like, that's pretty good, that's pretty good. It can't be that hard. Picked it up, like it was so fucking heavy, I couldn't do it. And then I got, then I was like, this is unacceptable. I'm not gonna get beaten by my friend like one minute into the new year. I can't start the new year with the shame. So then, of course, you know, being an Aria cunt, <laughs> I'm like, all right, let's arm wrestle. Arm wrestle him, owned me. Oh, so then I was like, I was too loved down. I was already, I was losing. And then we, uh, he has like a, a gym workout thing. And I'm like, all right, he's stronger, but I got the body weight advantage. So I'm like, all right, let's see if you can do, I was doing pull ups, it would like L sits. I did like three L sits and my abs are like screaming in pain. God, I'm so unfit. I gotta start, I gotta cut gymming regularly again. Oh my God. So I'm all sore because I got beaten by my stronger friend. Such a, um, that's like a caveman thing. Losing a, losing a strength competition versus a male friend. Oh, it's unacceptable. It's good though, because it's, it's, a, it's motivation. I'm, I'm very, uh, competitive about dumb stuff. So I'm going to smash the gym and then next next New Year's Eve, I'm going to be ripped and I'm going to fucking own him. That's the plan. Something that, that something that dumb, that little, that something that, that small and that dumb is enough, is enough to get me going. It's enough to uh, motivate me. <laughs> Stormy as fuck. Yeah, dude, our Christmas was too. Christmas day was 19 degrees and windy and thunderstorms. It's fucking summer in Australia. 19 degrees? Dude. This is the weirdest wind. This is the weirdest Christmas I've ever had in my life. Um, we're getting El Nino or whatever. Went to Copenhagen with family. New Year's with some lads I came with. Have messed with. Oh, nice. So you're making you're making new friends. Are you still um? Are you still an Overwatch nerd, or are you like variety now? Um, do you have some time off of work as well? When do you got to go back to? You got to go back tomorrow. The warehouse thing. A Discord call with friends. Great food and drinks. Oh, your food looked lovely, MJ. I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'll shot on Discord. Your food looks so good, dude. Thanks for the um. Also, thanks for the follows before as well. Um, dude, 20, 64 months. That's crazy, man. You you have to be my longest resub, right? You have to be my longest resub. Wow, it's almost five and a half years. Ah, oh! time passing freaks me out. Freaks me out. I only play Genji and I'm not playing it very well. God damn it. All right. Where's the food? Such cool food, MJ. I love, I love, I, man, it's so, it's so cool having a dis like an international discord. People from all around. It's so nice because, um, like all this stuff is just brand new. Like seeing all the like specific Christmas food that you guys have and stuff. Garlic bread. Oh, Loz had a big thing as well. Oh, cannolis. And the game's about to start. Yeah, I remember seeing it, MJ. Yum. Oh, you had the fish. You had the prince. You had prince sausage, right? Prince sausage, pashokan, shokan, whatever it is. And then you had um. What else do you have? The fish. The it wasn't the rotting fish. You had some fish thingy. Play. Consider getting back into it. Working tomorrow. Going to work. Psychologist, you know. Dude, I'm proud of you. Going to psychologist is not fucking easy. I hope, I hope it helps massively, man. Also, if they're a fuckwit, nothing wrong getting a second opinion. Oh, I'm dead here. Nice ante. Thanks, Zen. No! I I knew he was there. I totally double jumped that. I totally double jumped that. I was beginning my jump. Damn. Damn. Pickled Harry and Salmon. Are you both the Master Chef? Oh my god. Dude, I need to I need to get a, a girlfriend. A girlfriend that I mean it sounds so sexist. That's, that they can cook and clean. Not because of gender roles, but because I can't cook at all. I'm so dysfunctional. I need help. I need I need a I need a babysitter. That's what I need. Um Dude, I can't cook. Cooking's such an effort. Like I I I um I don't enjoy food that much. I look at I look at eating as a chore. Like eating is an effort, man. It's like, oh. Cooking, it's like a whole thing. It's like a oh. like most of the time I don't eat like all the day. I don't eat throughout the entire day, and then I eventually get starving. I pretty much only eat one meal a day, and then I get starving and I eat like something massive. 
but it's um eating such an effort like maybe it's a new diversion thing i don't know mood you feel the same yeah like my two my my two best best guy friends they're both fat shits um <laughs> like they love food and like they're, they're uh, great cooks and shit they eat delicious food and i'm like it's not worth it i wouldn't spend an hour cooking that salmon or whatever I'm, i mean i cook like the only things that i cook i cook spaghetti i cook spaghetti which you know is the most basic thing ever i know but for me impressive spaghetti you know sometimes burgers microwave hot dogs frozen pizzas although i've been um cooking up like the like these uh jamie oliver like garlic breast things with some chips and then like oh dude the best thing if you can't cook is the um the bloody uh where is he oh he cancels charge that was such a good change i love when they i reflected no i didn't i was on cooldown fuck me fuck me um Something. Oh, those like steam veggies. You know, you buy the pack of like four, the four bags. You microwave it two minutes. Bang. That's like the only vegetables I get. That and a multivitamin. Those things are awesome. I don't want to have to like prepare vegetables. Just microwave some fucking a bag of corn. Hell yeah, healthy. I'm, I'm not gonna play this. I don't think I have to. It's a good deflate, but I didn't aim properly. Oh, scary. Oh, it's 90%. I should have bladed. That was the last fight. Oh, I'll save blade for next round, dude. Brig, hello? What happened to the hands over there? Did you double jump? Stuck in a rock and hard place there. What happened to the hands over there? I'm trying to work on myself. You got this, dude. You got this. You got this, man. Like, you, you have to take care of your brain as much as you take care of your body. You have to put the reps in. Like, you really, you have to put the fucking reps into your brain. It's not like, because we don't think of the brain as an organ, because we, we are our brain, we're conscious. But you've got to, it's the same as the gym. You go to the gym, you do you 10 reps for your arms, get your biceps, or whatever. Same as your brain. Like, you know, things like meditating, things like, you know, positive thinking, stuff like that. You know, uh, reading about, like, philosophy, whatever it is that gets you crank going, whatever's positive in your life. Um, you got to put the fucking reps in, like daily meditations or cold showers and all this stuff. It's good for you, like, you know, doing hard stuff, doing difficult stuff, like doing stuff you're procrastinating. You've got to train your brain because we have a tendency as humans to only do stuff we're good at and we do something we're good at and we get rewarded. And then whenever something's bad, or, you know, for example, great little example, um, someone said last year, um, oh, I wish I could go for a walk, but it's, it's cold, it's wet out. That's the point. You should go for a walk when it's cold and it's wet out. That's when you should. Because if you only go to the gym when you're feeling good, when everything's great, when you're motivated, when everything's perfect, when it's sunny, if you only work out when things are perfect, you're training your brain that you can only do the hard stuff when everything's easy. I can only go for a run when it's perfect weather, when I'm feeling good, when I'm motivated. No, you got to do it. you got to train yourself to do it when you, when you don't want to. Going to the gym when you don't want to go to the gym you feel so rewarded. We go, like, I fucking, I'm tired. I don't want to go. And when you push yourself to go, you feel so much more rewarded. You feel so much more satisfied than if you were excited to go. You know, if you're excited to go, it's easy. So you've got to put the reps in, which is so fucking hard. It's so easy to say. It's so hard to do. Like, it's so hard. That when you when you really aren't in the mood to, you know, do whatever bullshit work you've got to do, it's so hard to force yourself. It's so easy. It's so easy to sleep in. It's so easy. It's so tempting. Your brain will come up with all these, all these little tricks. Your brain will go, oh, just do it tomorrow. Oh, just... Your brain will trick you. It will come up with every excuse under the sun to force you to be lazy. Gotta put the reps in. It's so fucking hard. It's so hard. And the set, like, I was, for three months, I was like smashing. It might just be bipolar. <laughs> um, but the second I started letting it slip, the second I was like, oh, I'll go to the gym tomorrow. I uh, don't want to coach out. As soon as I started letting it slip, I started giving those excuses. It's so hard, man. Dude, I haven't slept. I have. I've never had a sleeping pattern. My psych wrote down the last time I had a sleeping pattern was in high school, and that was because like I was forced to. I was forced to. I didn't have a sleeping pattern in uni. Didn't have it when I was working. Like I'd be awake for 30 hours and I'd sleep for 16 hours. I have no advice. I got no idea, brother. Um, I don't know if you've got like if you can do sleep trials or like you know your sleep clinic 
and they can measure if you got like sleep apnea and stuff. Hi, Rudzi. Good to see you, mate. <laughs> Dude, I love all that shit, man. I love all that shit. <laughs> Who's gonna carry the bolts and the logs? Like, you, not everybody has to be Goggins. Not everyone has to be Goggins. But there is a version of you. There's a there's a great there's a great version of yourself. You don't have to run ultra marathons. You don't have to fucking, you know, all that sort of stuff. Don't hold yourself to that standard. If you can do it, like that's awesome. But you know, if if you can if you can get a, if you can be if you can be not if you're if you're employed and you're not overweight, you're already in the top ten percent of the world. You know, maybe not. I don't point stats out my ass. Um, but it's 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 the bar's never been lower. I still have much you know. To learn. I love that shit, Rudy. Good to see you, man. Yeah, dude. David Goggins, fucking all that stuff, all that stuff. Like this year, two things that really helped me this year. Um, obviously, like prof seeing professional help, medical doctors, psychiatrists, medications, all that sort of stuff. That was a big thing. But the other thing was stoicism. I bought Marcus Aurelius's meditations. I read through that. I'm so fucking obsessed with it. Um. I, c I cannot recommend meditation more to anybody. Like, I recommend it to fucking everybody. It's so worth to read it. Like, uh, like Stoicism and Philosophy is essentially my therapy. It's so useful. It's just hard. It's hard to train your brain to think that way. It's worth it. And, you know, like, I'm not, I'm not some ultra marathon runner, you know, dating supermodels or anything. I'm just an average Joe. But hold yourself to your own standard, you know? Just try to be 1% better. 1% better. You don't have to be the best. But you can be the best version of yourself. I'm sorry I'm missing some chat. I'm getting, uh, dude, I'm, I'm getting bodied. Like, I think I'm one win for like nine losses. I'm getting fucking owned. I'm getting owned. But I'm not, fo I'm focusing on chat, mostly. The game doesn't matter. Games, who gives a fuck? Who cares, who cares about games, dude? Who cares about games? Hang out with people's way better. And James supermodel. <laughs> yeah, shut up. Copycat's the Charlie Sheen of fucking Europe. He's, he's the Genghis Khan. 5% of the world's DNA is from Copycat. He's been pumping loads in everybody. You're not allowed to be good at games and attractive. That's so unfair, bro. Kick a fucking lane. I'm struggling with the 13. Melatonin. You still wake up from... Oh, it's from night. It could be like trauma. There's a thing called CPTSD. Which I learned about this year. Like CPTSD, bipolar, ADHD, autism, they all share a lot of like comorbidities. They've, I mean, comorbidities is the wrong word. Um, but they all have very similar yeah. symptoms. Because um, one of my friends has CPTSD, and we're very similar. CPTSD, and also it's kind of hard to think like, because I feel like m millennials, we look at our like, our childhoods, and we go, you know, it wasn't too bad. I didn't get beat to death. You know, my parents weren't abusive. You know, I was fine. But your parents probably made some fuck ups. You know, hopefully they tried their best. My parents made lots of fuck ups, tons of fuck ups. Um, I have specific like nightmares about one situation, and that's the first time that I lucid dreamt. Which, looking back on it, was like actually de depersonalization or whatever, or dissociation. Um, you know, but also don't fall into the don't fall into the victim mentality. Don't don't be like one of those people that's like. I can't do it, you know, don't, don't use it as an excuse, use it as a, a motivator. Because that, the, the, the bad actors that make it, make the, the rest of the group look bad. Um, but CPTSD, and again, I'm not a medical professional, you know, um, seek advice and stuff, I'm just an idiot. Um, but also, we do have these commands. Um, if you need help, there's a resource there, and if you've got any meds or vitamins you must take, there's your reminder, I always forget. Um, but CTP is interesting, instead of having like, you know, one traumatic event, like, you know, um, assault or like war or whatever. It's only one traumatic event. CPTSD is lots of little events. Lots of little events that add up. And the symptoms are so similar to ADHD and bipolar. So similar. He was just out of dash range. Just out of dash range. Cheeky bugger. Cheeky bugger. Insight time. A good recommendation. Good recommendation. Meditating is super fucking hard. But it's like, you gotta put the reps in. You gotta put the reps in. Like you don't have to meditate perfectly on your on your first day and have a clear mind and be zen and peaceful. If your mind's still wandering, that's fine. It's just about bringing yourself back to focusing. Um, it's so hard. It's so boring, but it does work. That's fair enough, MJ. That's fair enough. Like I'm glad you're getting the help you need as well, man. I get the help you need. It's just it's really like that was when I when I got diagnosed. It was really hard to process. Where it's like, okay, 
I'm medically severely impaired, but I don't look like it because I've spent my life trying my best to look like I'm doing okay when I'm not. So it's hard to be like, you know, like I've come across so many people in my life that go like, oh, I'm depressed. And it's like, you know, are you or are you just looking for an excuse, like giving into an excuse to like get sleep in or be lazy or not work or be on welfare or, you know, whatever. And most people aren't that type of sort of person, of course. You know, it's better to um, give people the benefit of the doubt, for sure. But there are those people that, you know, self diagnose with 800 different things. Um, and there is a value to self diagnosis as well. Um, not as much as getting actually diagnosed. But that was really hard for me, where it was like, I don't want to, I don't want to end up using them as excuses. Oh, I can't go that, I can't do that, I can't do that. Still should try. Just be aware that, like, oh, if I fail at this, well, I might not be good at this, but I might be better at this. You know. I also don't think don't like people that look at ADHD as a superpower. They look like they look at like, oh, it's so good, all the advantages. Hyper focus. Yeah, but there's also disadvantages. You know, it's not all good. It's not all bad either. You know, there's nothing wrong with being different. You just be aware of it. You know, and then like, be a better friend to yourself. Be kind to yourself about. So I'm two for ten. I'm getting sent back to fucking plat. And sent back to fucking plat, hey. Uh, yeah, I had uh, I got attacked by a dog. I got attacked by a guard dog when I was like six. Um, I was at a, a neighbor's house and uh, the dog ran through the door. It, it it was like this huge German Shepherd like attack dog. I was just I was just sitting in the lounge room talking to him. I was like asking him, I was like, hey, can you know Johnny come out for a bike ride with me? And the the massive I was six massive German Shepherd knocked down both back doors, charged back doors, grabbed onto me and grabbed onto my leg and was like biting the fuck out of me. And then like the older brother grabbed it and tried to pull it off and stuff. Super traumatic. And after that, for six months, I had constant dreams of like being in bed and then the dog would come into the house and murder every, like a werewolf would come into the house, murder all the family and then finally come into my house, my room and then murder me. And um, that's when I started lucid dreaming. This might be uh, 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 <laughs> show my age, but um. The way that I processed that was like six months of like horrible nightmares. Um, I started whenever like the nightmare would happen, I would like zoom out of my body and I'd imagine it was a computer screen. I'd zoom out of my body and it'd be a computer screen and I'd press escape and the computer would shut down and I'd wake up. That was like my little strategy. Um, <laughs> I haven't like, talked to professionals about that or anything. Um, I'm not like, I don't get triggered over that memory, but like it, it fits a lot. When I, uh, what is it? Bo Burnham's Inside. Dude, I watched... Last year I watched Bo Burnham's Inside like fucking 30 times, like cried every time. Um, like it fits like the, I think it fits like derealization. De oh yeah, I'm not a professional. I'm not a professional. But like it takes, it takes a, there's nothing wrong with like analyzing things in your past. Like no, no one's, no one's traveled, it's perfect. You know, it might not be as good as you, as it was, or it might, it might be better. It might not be as bad as you think it was, you know? It's, um, I don't know if that's helpful. Copy can. Most people wouldn't think I got autism. Dude, that is like, I can't believe I missed the red flag. Like, <laughs> let me explain. I can't believe I missed that because in 2018, when we were hanging out in chat, like, you know, when I was first starting streaming, um, you said in chat, I've got autism. And I remember this clearly. And I said, oh, I didn't even know, man. Like, you seem so normal. Like, you seem, you seem so social to me. You know why you seem normal? Because I have it. Because that's normal to me. The people that are weird, they're the normal ones. We're the weird ones. <laughs> Of course, I didn't think you had it because to me, you're me. And, oh. and then I got diagnosed and it's like, oh, hang on. All of my friends have autism and ADHD. All of my friends in the universe. I guess it's not a coincidence, Damon, you fucking idiot. Oh. And then when I, when, I, when I told people on stream last year, three people said, I thought you knew. And then other people were like, yeah, I, I, it was obvious as fuck to me. No one told me. No one told me, you pricks. I had no idea. I was I was completely on edge. I thought ADHD was an eight-year-old boy running around with bad parents, like undisciplined. Oh, God damn it! You know, and but it's, it's also because um it's also because uh of um like it, it, the the stigmas changed in the last thirty years for the better as well. But it's also the media representation. The media representation around neurodivergence in like the early two thousands or even two thousand tens were like the the autistic person was like super um. That's the right word. Super autism. <laughs> you know, like the, the portrayal of those those disorders were always the extremes. They were always the like, 
you know, Big Bang Theory. Oh, you can't talk to Raj can't talk to girls or shit. They were always, yeah, Rain Man. They were always like Rain Man or they were like Scream. They were always the like extreme uh, disadvantages of those those things. So I go, I don't fit into the that category. So I guess I must just be normal and shit, <laughs> you know? Um, and then like you learn more about it. It's a spectrum. Everyone's different. Rah, rah. You know, if you're, um, it's different if you're, if you're a guy or a girl, if it's this and that, if you, if you're smart or whatever, you know, um, it's, uh, there's a lot like, there's, uh, it's really good. Um, like I think being a millennials, it's kind of, it's kind of, uh, it's, 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 hope, it's optimistic because I remember growing up, you know, again, such a boomer statement, but like when I was in school, everyone's calling each other gay and stuff. Like it, uh, that was like, everything's changed so much for the better. There's so many things that have changed for the better in terms of uh, education and, and that sort of stuff. And like, I've lived through that change. I've lived through that change. Whereas like my parents, baby boomers, they're still stuck in like the seventies. So like the change is harder to adapt to, but like kids these days, they grow up, all that stuff is very common, very, the internet everyone's like you know tiktok is dave syndrome or whatever it's called um there's much more awareness and education out there so people can uh you know uh, discover themselves and find the help they might need more easily there was no you know in school i was always the kid that was at senate class high primary school always kids sitting in the thing damon you're disruptive damon not paying attention you know you're not focused you're misbehaving yeah no, and i'm like <laughs> of course i am there's a reason to me i was like i felt like i was just getting punished for being myself and then you learn to mask and then rah 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 rah, rah you know <sighs> you're, you're exactly right cupid you're exactly right um what's that saying birds of a feather flock together um it's it's super true like you you know birds of a feather flock together um, and then like, like it was really like my, uh, the only way I found out it was cause my best friend got diagnosed and like, I don't know if I'll share heaps of his, heaps of the stories. Um, but like, um, uh, he had a way rougher time than I had way rougher time than I had. Uh, there's also stigma around medication and stuff like in some TV shows and stuff. Really terrible. There's actually, there's, 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 uh, I might, let's see if I can remember that story. Um, but there's, um, there's, there's good representations of neurodivergency in shows but they're not like canon or spoken about. So um, I saw a list of it, which I was like, oh shit, like House, have you seen um, the TV show House? I've seen people on the internet say that House has ADHD because he doesn't follow rules. He only does what he's interested in. He's only like, he's a puzzle solver. And then you got uh, Jake from Brooklyn Nine-Nine. That is pretty chronic. That is like clearly ADHD as well. He has the mail tub of like unopened mail. I have a cupboard of unopened mail. I forget about it exact same get a letter put it on the table forget about it for three months and then go you know like i've was an adhd tax i've been fined because i didn't vote before because i forgot so much stuff um also um there you go good reminder um do it right now because in five seconds you'll forget um and then what's the other one a good i think a good example is also um parks and recreation parks and recreation you've got andy like um chris pratt you've got andy who is like you know, super hyperactive and chaotic. And then you've got Leslie, which is like the other side of it, which is super organized, super hyper-focused, you know? It's um, like there's, but those, those um, I don't think they're, um, they're like canon. They don't actually talk about it, but it looks like it. And then you look got, um, you know, I think, I think Big Bang Theory is a dog shit show. Big Bang Theory is terrible content. It's terrible, but it's like, it's easy to consume because it's so bad. Um, but like Sheldon is probably a good example of like a uh, like high functioning, intelligent autistic person because like neurodivergence doesn't have anything to do with IQ. It can be anywhere on the spectrum. You can be, you know, low average, average, high average, doesn't matter, you know? And the, uh, like if you're gifted and neurodivergent, uh, that's like a recipe for disaster. <laughs> that's a recipe for, that was my whole childhood. All the, all the gifted programs and stuff, but then also failing basic tasks. And then you have that pressure of, hang on, you're in the gifted program, you should be smart, you should be exceeding here, but you're actually worse, you're, you're doing worse than everybody, you know, why? And, you know, why, why are you failing this? You shouldn't be. I know I shouldn't be, I don't know why I'm failing it. I guess it's because I'm lazy, I guess it's because I'm not disciplined, I guess it's because, you know, it's, um, it's hard. <laughs> 
I don't know if this topic is interesting to a lot of people. Um, I feel like I talk about ADHD and neurodivergence like five hours a day. Um, but I think it's, it's good to, uh, you know, keep raising awareness and stuff. Because like if my friend didn't get diagnosed, I would have never looked into it. And I looked into it, oh my God. And now like four out of six of my friends have all been diagnosed because we all have been friends for like 10, 15 years and we're all the very same. So when one of us got diagnosed, I was like, oh my God. I'm the exact same. Yeah, maybe that's why we're friends because we're very similar. <laughs> Goodbye, Reckoning Soda Shoes. Yep. I mean, like I learned a lot of like local colloquialisms. Like um, I just learned a lot of like Australian sayings. Like, you know, half the time when I'm talking to someone, it's like, oh yeah, you know, how's the missus? Oh, the old man. Like, I don't talk like that. I'm like, it's not actually how I uh, am inside. Um, but it's just like, it's like the, the social foreplay or whatever. That's actually why I like hanging out with my, um, uh, like my friend last night on New Year's Eve. Um, we don't like, he's, he's, I don't know what, on, what he's on all the spectrums. Um, super intelligent, super hard working, very functional, crushing it. Um, but we don't make small talk ever from the, from like, we walk in the house, two seconds later, we're arguing about immortality. Like, or we're, we're, argue, we're talking about like, uh, Isaac Asimov's uh, Little Lost Robot 1962 uh, black and white adaption of his story. Like, we, we, there's no small talk. There's no... And, like, we, we laugh about it because when he goes to work, people are like, did you see the footy on the weekend? Uh, I caught a fish. Look at my car. It's And to him, it's just, like, it's just so boring. It's so monotonous. Um, but if you just start... If you say hi to someone and then just, like, start talking about ancient history, it's like, you're, you're a weird cunt. You have to say, hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good. You know, like, all that, all that small, what's it called? Small talk? Yeah, small talk. So that's why I love hanging out with him, because, like, within a millisecond, we're into some, like, hectic, all experiment bullshit. <laughs> and it's so exciting. It's so exciting. It makes my brain very happy. Very happy learning. Is that something? Oh, fair enough. The creators will not. Yeah, it's a terrible show. It's a terrible show. Um, I don't. I can't think of. Are there any? Are there any good representations? What about um, what's that medical show? The doctor with autism. I haven't seen it. Is that any good or is it like, is it shit? What's it called? The Good Doctor or something? I haven't seen it. Is that good or is it bad? I feel like because like I saw the advertisements for it and I was like they're really hamming. They're really going hard on the. He's autistic. Like they just that was like the massive focus. And it's like. Uh, is it is it helping or is it is it damaging? Lucky I have 180 reflect there. The Kiri was horny for me. That was actually a really good 180 deflect. Where are you, Anna? Thanks for the rush. I'm like she nanoed him, and I'm like, what the hell? The, how did she nano him? Because like, because it's like a spec. Because like everyone's different with it. Nobu, so good to see you, man. Happy New Year. Happy New Year! Yeah, I've, I've seen almost none of it. But I got the impression I was like, it's probably not great. Because everyone's different. Like, there's not, there's not, you know, like if, if you're depressed, everyone that's got depression is like, has similar things. Like, anxiety, similar things, you know, it presents differently and stuff. But things like autism and ADHD, it can be completely different. You can be inattentive only. Um, you can be, you know, not everyone's Rain Man, not everyone's a savant. You could be that. Now, I think they uh, they reckon uh, Einstein had ADHD, but he was so smart that he just he made, he made it work. You know, he compensated. His, his desk was all messy, he'd work at weird hours and stuff, but he got away with it because he was, you know, compensating. Oh, did you reformat or something? Or did you blue screen? That's a rough start of the year, unless it's intentional. Hang out with people my age when you're young. That's something as well. Yeah. So, um, yeah. And then that, that affects your whole social development, you know, if you're in different, like, so I, uh, I got, I got, um, moved up grades. I got moved up two grades. Um, and it wasn't enough because like school was so dirt shit easy for me. It's like school was just super easy. I could just wing it. Like people, people kept telling me I could wing stuff. I was a good bullshitter. I could just wing stuff. So even in university, university, I didn't like, I got bad grades in uni. I got very bad grades in uni. 
Um, they tried to kick me out three times. I had to get a student lawyer. I had to go to like a tribunal. I got such bad grades three times in a row. They tried to kick me out. Um, not because I'm dumb at the subject, just because I just struggled with like the way, the way of learning. Um, what was my point then? What was my point? Hi dude, how was your name? I think about the Roman Empire all the time. <laughs> What's my point then? Oh, like socializing. So like I got, um, I got moved up two grades in uh, school and you know, year 12, for example, the last term three, the 12 week term, I didn't do a single bit of homework. I didn't do a single bit of homework. And then week one of term four, I just hard hyper focused and rushed everything in one week. And then at university, I didn't go to a single lecture for the whole six months. So I didn't go to like 35 lectures or whatever. I didn't go to a single one. And then two days before the exam, I wanted to blade that, but we actually have to die, I think. Yeah, I, don't think, I think I'm just staggering myself. Oh, he's anti. Damn. Can we even touch? Yeah, we came with the, with the uh, Kitsune. Um, so two days before the exam, I watched 40 lectures in a row. 40 hours of lectures, back to back to back. I sat in front of my computer with a notepad. Every single lecture in the entire row, back to back to back, right, 20 pages of notes, drove the exam, regurgitated it, got like 51%, barely passed, and then, you know, um, forgot everything. Terrible learning strategy. But that was my code mechanism because I could never focus. I could never do an hour of homework a night. I just, I just couldn't do it. So my strategy was just cram and hyper focus, and it, it, I managed to do it. It wasn't easy. It was very painful. Um, it was horrible. Like driving home from the exam, 45 hours no sleep. That's the worst I've ever felt in my entire life. The worst I've ever felt because I'm gonna get a, I'm either gonna fail or I'm gonna get a terrible grade, and I should be getting good grades. But instead, I'm going to look like a terrible student. I'm going to look like an idiot. I didn't, you know, stuff. And uh, the reason why I mentioned that, because uh, you said about the hanging out with different people ages, was because, um, like, when I got I got put up two grades in in I moved up a grade in primary uh, two grades in primary school, which meant I was the youngest person. And you know, if you're 11 and everyone in your class is 13, like, it's a massive difference. Like, it's a massive, massive difference. If you're um, like, I think I was, I might have been 15 in year 12. No, that's not true. I was 16, 16 in year 12. I turned 17 in the last year of school. Um, so my first year of uni, I couldn't go. I couldn't go to the pop crawl. I couldn't go to the events because I was underage. I didn't turn 18 until like the, you know, halfway through my first year of uni. So I'm in university and I'm a child and I can't go to the things um, because I was, I got put up great. So I was in the wrong age. Um, so it makes it complete. It, it, it like it, it changes the whole way you socialize and stuff. Um, and until you said that, I didn't actually think about going, going back. Is that tech getting? I see. Great to see you, brother. How are you, man? Miss you, dude. Are you still got like you still a lumberjack? You still in like a million things of snow and you got your huge beard? How have you been, buddy? Happy New Year. Merry Christmas too. Actually, I probably have to say Merry Christmas for like three years. It's been, been quite a while. It's good to see you, dude. Hope you're well. No snow. Interesting. What's the point of living in Canada if you don't get snow? What's the fucking point? May as well live in Australia, hey? <laughs> it's like stereotypes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, I think that's, that's, that's not the best way to portray it because if you watch that and you have autism and you're not an amazing doctor, then it's gonna make you feel bad. He won't tell me you know? Either. Yeah, yeah, urgency. There's like, there's a, there's a, an acronym of like for ADHD, where it's like, you'll only do stuff if you're interested, if it's novel, if it's competitive. Um, what is it? If it's urgent, urgency is massive. Like I actually, I used to, I used that trick in my, uh, my psych even recommended it. Like what I used to do, I used to say like, um, a few times I'd be, I'd invite my mum around. I'd say, Hey, come around at seven o'clock. We'll hang out for dinner or something. And then, Oh my God, I know someone's coming to my house at 7 PM. So what do I do that day? I clean the entire house. I haven't cleaned, didn't clean the house for a month, but now it's urgent. Oh, the homeowner's due to actually, there's that old meme due tomorrow, do tomorrow. Oh, 
This time it's you tomorrow? Okay. I can do 24 hours of like hard cramming. And it's not an effort. It's not an effort to start studying. But if I've got six months to do it, if it's ambiguous, I can do it whenever. I'm going to do it at the last possible minute. You know, like my license runs out. That's a crazy hook. My license runs out all the time and I end up renewing it a day after it's expired. I leave it to the last possible minute. Yeah. Uh, probably worth looking into ADHD. Um, like I'm exactly that. And that's a very common presentation. Again, I'm not a doctor. Do your own research. I recommend seeing professionals. Little no, Lee know you. Hopefully I didn't just say something rude with that name. That's the prime, mate. Yo, prime gamer in chat. Heck yeah, dude. Love when I see a prime gamer. Dude, you've chosen out of all the streams on Twitch. You chose this month's use of prime. Year. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. If you're lurking, I hope you enjoy the lurk. I appreciate that. We've got uh, under 24 hours left of the bonus subs. Under 24 hours. The, 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 the cool hype drain expires in 24 hours. And right now it's 25% off subs. And gifted subs, I think. Okay, so my discount. It's got all the details. Yeah, I'm not about to like you. Also, the Kiri punched out Winston to death. Um, and if you get a if you get a shit doctor, get a second opinion. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. I had to do that. Run an ISP. Oh wow! You gonna be a berry farmer and a woodsman? Are you excited for that, dude? You you always gave me like um like very like stoic vibes. Like I can see you in like a cabin in like. You know, the freezing wilderness, chilling, making a like wood fire. Berry farmer, hey? Berry farmer, interesting. Oh, that hands ran out. Yeah, oh my god. Interesting. Yeah, I remember you doing the, um, I remember doing the ISP. I know you're a very smart, very smart tech person, computer person. That's cool as fuck. 113 years old? Is Canada even that old? They built houses that long ago? Building a new one? That's so cool. Dude, thank you for, for sharing what you've been up to, man. It's awesome to hear. It's it's so heartwarming seeing um people from from like five years ago, man. The copycat just resub for 64 months. Jesus Christ, bro. Jesus Christ. That's so cool, dude. I don't know if you're still on the Discord, but if you want to share any photos, I'd love to see it. Um, you know, no pressure or anything. I don't want to uh force force uh activity off of you and we haven't seen each other in a while. Thank you, mate. Yeah, it's been a been an up and down journey. An up and down journey. Got a few diagnoses. Spent a year on a waiting list. Got misdiagnosed. Had to wait on a waiting list again. Spent all my savings, like spent my life savings on trying to survive. Went bankrupt. Um, lots of lots of bad stuff. I won't get into it too deeply, but lots of bad stuff. And we're kind of. I'm so excited for this year. Like I'm so, excited, I'm so actually so excited for the future because I have answers to problems that I didn't know. One, I didn't know I had, didn't know the problems were there. Um, and now I have answers to it. And I, not only do I have answers to it, I have ways to, to manage it and to improve it. So uh, it's like, I'm so excited. So excited, dude. It's really been a, the last few years have been like, I didn't scream till June this year. And I had like a year, 18 months off. Um, change games, change time zones, change everything. I don't understand, Anna. It's okay. No. He's definitely got old. That was a bad blade, bro. I'm glad she didn't nano me. That's dog shit blade. Oh, I'm so bad at the game. What am I doing? Kiri's an actual DPS. She's so strong. He's been hunting for that ult for so long. Oh, I'm so bad at the game. I'm playing dog shit today. Like, I think I'm one for nine or something. But I'm like, I'm so higher ranked than I should be. <laughs> um, 2 a.m. games are wild. Like, I'm, I'm, I've got players on my team that are like, you know, top 400 tanks. I'm a flat Genji, bro. I mean, I'm, I'm Masters 3. And I am a multi-tournament winner of last year. <laughs> but no, I'm a flat. I'm a filthy plat. I need an excuse for why I'm dog shit. I can't just, I just go, no, I actually am top 500. I'm just playing barely. No, 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 no. I'm bad. Yeah, that's it. Probably the good things. But I'm, I'm glad to hear you're doing well too, man. Sounds like you've had quite a journey. I can imagine how stressful that would be with like the workplace going bankrupt and stuff, man. So much effort. It's so worth it. It's so worth it. 
um like uh getting diagnosed was the most profound thing that's ever happened in my life the most it's nothing in my life ever come close to that uh it, it answered so many questions it, it, it completely changed my life completely changed my life. i think i should just die here right yeah you're gonna stagger me gotta die gotta die gotta die gotta die gotta die, gotta die. like I, I i uh i talked to my younger brothers because they're hereditary as well I talked to my younger brothers and stuff about it and I'm like, just go see your doc. Like, just try it. Nah, it's fine. Nah, it's fine. I'm like, you're exactly like me. Because the main thing was, um, like, it was really depressing when I actually got diagnosed because it was like, fuck. If I had got diagnosed in high school, I wouldn't have got that, just fuck that exam. If I had got diagnosed in university, I wouldn't have had to repeat and get kicked out of uni. You know, oh, I wouldn't have messed up that relationship. It's probably a good thing I messed up those relationships because it's like, I've only dated idiots. Um... But you know, it's like, oh, I forgot that. That's why that happened. Oh, I forgot that. Now I actually have an answer rather than just like, oh, I guess I'm just a, a terrible human. I guess I just suck. It's so exciting. It's so exciting. Hopefully I, uh... Oh, you have to promise me tech. I want to see you at least, at least, uh, next year. He has, he was anti, so I win that. I didn't get the Kiri? And they played better. I played. What am I score? 15 9. Probably the best game I've had tonight. It's the best game I've had tonight. Um, our, uh, our Tracer got, got kind of. kind of ouchied. It was a game. It was a game, though. It was a game. <sighs> yeah, sleep is the big thing. Sleep is like. I don't know how to do sleep. Um. I gotta go do something about that. The sleep fucks everything up. Fucks everything up. My sight wrote down, like, hasn't had a sleep pattern since high school. And high school was forced. Like, my my mum used to, like, rip the covers off. Like, literally cold water on the face. Rip the covers off. Every morning was, like, screaming, trying to get me out of bed. It was just impossible. Just impossible. Ugh. Hopefully something you can use to enhance your life. Oh, exactly right. Oh, tech. Oh, that's that's all I've been talking about today. Yeah. You don't want to, like, don't become the person that uses an excuse. Don't become, like... I mean, you know, live your life, do what you want. But um, I don't think it's an effective way if you, you know, you put 18 disorders that are self-diagnosed in your Twitter bio and you like you don't want to... You don't want to scapegoat it. You don't want to have an excuse to... Because it's very easy. Like, it's, it's hard. You have to critically analyze your own thoughts and actions because I do that all the time where I'm going, okay... Is this something that I struggle with or is, am I just listening to my brain that wants me to be lazy? You gotta really... Dude, the cues are so fast at fucking 2 a.m. in the morning. Um, yeah, same. Oh, hang on. Am I agreeing with something that I didn't read properly? <laughs> no, you're spot on, man. You're spot on. Like, that, that terrifies me. Uh, it terrifies me that I could become that person. Um, because those that, that sort of person is someone that I, I really dislike. <laughs> Happy New Year, Yola. Getting all the Canadians in today. How was your New Year? How was your Christmas? I think you spent Christmas with your brother, did you say? Hope you had a good uh, Christmas and New Year, whatever you got up to, dude. It's good to see you. Dude, all the OGs are coming in. Oh, because I'm streaming at 2am. Because I, I did stream for four years. I streamed from like 11pm to 7am for four years. Um, now I'm trying to see the sun. Now I'm trying to I'm trying to get vitamin D. I understand the be the My mental health benefits of touching grass and leaving the house and seeing sunlight. Um, you asked to change. We got all the OGs coming in. That's so cool. Body couldn't always keep up with me. It's the last second. Besides, you hate it, but you struggle to change it. To turn down rocket legs. Do you have to do? Do you have to travel to the, the big city again? To because I think I, I I I didn't read all the stuff in the Discord, but you were talking about it like the. Some of you girls were having conversations about it, like the docks were being silly or something. No, I will be mucho reckless. Mucho reckless. Ooh, Genji vs Genji. Ooh, Genji Mercy vs Genji Mercy. Ooh, ooh. Dude, I'm getting frame drops. I'm getting such frame drops. That's not fair. Oh, I, uh, I'm like, where's my team? We going in? We go, going going in? We hot W. Where we not hot W? I guess the Mercy probably should be pocketing the Sojourn, to be honest. Anything under 
144 frames hurts my brain so much. <laughs> and Doctor Them Specialities. Yeah, that's it, dude. Like, uh, I was going to talk about this before. Like, because I went through, you know, how many things? Depression, generalized anxiety disorder, um, chronic fatigue, uh, seasonal affective disorder, bipolar. I got down with bipolar, um, ADHD, autism. Like, you, there's a lot, massive list of it. But, um, I, I don't want, like, I don't want to wear those as, like, a badge of honor or an excuse. It's just like, oh, I'm learning about myself. And now I can, I, like, it's, it's more, you know what it's about? It's, it's about, um, uh, managing expectations with yourself. That's what it's about. It's about managing expectations of yourself. Like, knowing how harsh you should be on yourself. Oh, I forgot that. Well, you know what? I, I have short-term memory problems. So, I'm not gonna, not gonna hate myself because I made a mistake. You know what? That's just part of it. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't get that. Oh, this was the tracer on the team that, um... The tracer on the team that, um... I'm getting frames off. Um, they, they died 14 times last game. Now I'm getting owned. Had my computer... I opened my computer once last year. No shit. So you were just, you were just offline. No shit. Fluke stopped playing. Wow. Not a real gamer. Not a real gamer. It's only like 7pm in Perth. Get back on Overwatch. I want to DM him. Put the hours in, man. Come on. Also, we didn't, we didn't end up playing games together at all. How low rank is he? Why did, how do we not end up games? Are you doing quick play or something? I think, I think that is the perfect way to deal with it. Um, take again. Perfect way to deal with it. Perfect way. It's just about, it's about, man, like, I, I think managing expectations is a great way to describe it. Because for me, it's just been about, like, being nicer to myself. Not being so, like, beforehand, I didn't realize, I didn't know why I was fucking up. I didn't know why things were hard. I didn't know, you know, and also, like, you know, um, depression for a long time was like, oh, you're sad? Oh, I get sad too. Just get out of bed. I can't. Well, just when I'm sad, I get out of bed. When I'm sad, I sort of work. It's like, is that stigma? It's hard to explain. Like, if you don't, if you haven't experienced it yourself, it's impossible to explain. You just can't explain to someone. It, they don't have any frame of reference. Um, but also, because it's an invisible illness, then you get people that use it as an excuse, which might not actually have it, which makes everyone else look bad. That's with everything, though. But it's like, you know, it's like the, the best example is asthma. I love that example where it's like, right. You know, because like there's, there's still a lot of uh, stigmas around medication and stuff as well. Um, and it's like, oh, you're just relying on a medication. Well, if you have asthma, you're going to take your inhaler. Uh, is, is an inhaler performance enhancing? No, it helps them function, you know? And then if you're trying to go for a run with asthma and you can't and you're struggling, well, you have a legitimate reason to, you know? So don't don't hold yourself to the expectation of, say, a typical person. Anxiety is horrible, man. Anxiety is horrible. Like, I, I, got, I had depression way longer than I had anxiety. Um... Uh, like when I started getting anxiety into something, anxiety, anxiety is fucking the worst. The fucking worst. I wouldn't wish anxiety on my worst enemy. Like just 200 heart rate, 24/7, panic attacks. Like nothing's happening. Your brain's just going crazy. What is this? What is this? What is this? What is this? Oh, I was fucking horrible, horrible. I had like a six month period of insomnia. I didn't sleep for like six months. Oh my god, horrible. Oh, and then the medication for it as well, like benzos, are not great either. Like getting off of those was tough. Damn, man. So like I have such and I have such um empathy. Empathy is the right word, not sympathy, right? Empathy. Such empathy when when um people are comfortable to share that stuff. Like actually, this is a cool little story. At the Twitch Adelaide event at the cinema, the cinema one on Twitter, we had a whole cinema booked out. We played Mario Kart and stuff. It was really cool. I'm playing really bad this game. Nice. Um, I was uh. Uh, we were like sharing a controller. We we're like uh, playing one game, one game. So I was sharing a controller with the guy, and um, he's like, "Oh, um, you know, um, when you pass me the controller, I've just got like these these baby wipes. I've just got these wipes. I'm just going to clean the controller. I, like, um, you know, I've got OCD." I was like, "Dude, that, that's that's fair enough. No stress. I, I understand completely. All good, man. You don't have to explain yourself to me." 
And I'm like, you know, <laughs> I can't pay attention. So if I do badly in the game, you know, I'm like, it was just, uh, I guess it's just education. Because beforehand, I didn't know anything about that stuff. So I was like, oh, you got OCD? Like, okay, what do you like flick light switches 10? Like, I just had no idea what it was. So like, I would have had a different response 10 years ago because I wouldn't know what it was. And then like, there's also, you know, well, everyone's a little OCD. Everyone's a little OCD. Well, that sort of stuff isn't, isn't, isn't helpful either. Sorry, I'm missing some chat guys. Um, hey, thanks for the sub tech. The subs have been really strange. Like Moodbot is catching all the subscriptions. Um, but it's, you have to share it on Twitch. So sometimes on mobile, it doesn't give you the share option. And if you're on desktop, you have to refresh the stream and then you can share it. And, um, then the alert comes through. Oh my God. Yeah. Getting punished for not showing your work. Yeah. How do you know the answer? Because I did it in my head because I'm smart. Or show you're working out. That's so fucking boring. We must cheat. Oh my god, tech. Dude, no wonder we got along so well five years ago. Actually, like, the same person. I relate to that entire paragraph. Yeah, I relate to all of that, man. In the map Midtown, do you expect FPS drop on the first point? I haven't noticed FPS drops specifically on Midtown. Um, that was Route 66 we were playing on. Um, and we did play on Midtown earlier, though. I haven't noticed it specifically on any maps. I think it's just because I've um, like less, I've had OBS open for, you know, seven hours or whatever. Um, my, my, my computer like four years old, so it's dying. So I think it's just, I've had the game. I'm trying to run 4, 144 Hertz on the game and it's not giving me the frames. We didn't have frame drops for like the, uh, like it's not, I shouldn't be frame dropping on the stream, but I'm having frame drops in the game. Um, and by frame drops, I mean, instead of at 150, uh, FPS, it's going down to 80, which is horrible. Um, but it wasn't happening for the first five hours. So I think it's just my computer dying, but I'm not restarting the stream. I wanted to go to the gym. I probably should still go to the gym. I want to go to the gym before people get there though. I don't want to, I don't want to interact with people. I just want to go lift weights. That's great. You still make mead? Nice, dude. Nice. So, yeah, mum, are you returning to Twitch? Are you, um, are you, uh, like, getting more active on the internet again? You see, you didn't turn on your computer very much. If you've only just recently got back to being online, and the first thing you do is stop by my stream, that's so fucking wholesome. Well, I'm sure your first stop was Pornhub, but I, I can, I'm happy to come number, number second there. Number second. Also, hopefully your sub was cheaper. Hopefully your sub was 25 months off. Um, because for new single and for gift subs, it works. I don't know if it was uh, cheap for you. Hopefully it should be. I don't know if yours counts as new because you're... How many months is that? Oh, yeah, it hasn't come through yet. Surely it's a year at least. Recall. Yeah. Get out of here, nerd. Amster is an interesting defensive character. Not the worst. Grace is so annoying. Ooh, you slept someone? I gotta make sure I'm peeling for the supports because our ball's in their back line, but that means their trace is just bullying our Anna. Nice! Nice timing. Great timing. Good job, Tracer. Dude, this Tracer was getting fucking owned last game. This Tracer had 14 deaths on my team last game. And now they're destroying my team. Did they play good last game. I mean, I've been playing bad all night, so. Not for me to. She didn't fly. I was trying to intercept her trajectory there. But I mistimed it. Oh my god, Tracer's totally outplaying me. I'm gonna die to the Kiri. Kiri's brutal, man. I'm, I'm. Thanks, Anna. I'm not doing anything though. Probably better to Nana the hamster there. Oh. Why is the pig pen there? Oh, I got her. Nice. God damn it. I respect the Genji going for a Pharah though. I love that. I get the mini? Oh, damn. Damn, I'm getting home! 
Six for five. Okay, Farah is six for ten. No, they have no hit scans. That's pretty rough. And their hog is 19-1. Ooh! And Anna's died ten times. Dude, their tracer is destroying our Anna. Because, like... It's just, it's just not synergistic. It's just not synergistic. Our hamster wants to go on the back line. I wanted to also dive with the hamster too. Um, but then it allows their tracer to have free reign on our supports. And our supports can't heal our hamster. He doesn't need healing anyway because he's got a bazillion health. But they can't heal the hamster because he's so deep. Tracer's just destroying him. I don't want to play. I mean, I can't play Brig anyway. Get the bitch! Come back here! Okay. Hamster's paying attention. Ooh. Hang on. Is it raining? Weird summer. Oh, so um, that's Discalcular. Um, Discalcular is dyslexia, but for numbers. Um, also, I'm not a doctor, so I'm not diagnosing your sister. But it sounds like Discalcular, which I don't think there's much awareness around Discalcular. I don't know much about it. I just know it's a thing. Um, interesting. Yeah, I can't imagine being having undiagnosed dyslexia. Like, that would be so horrible. You go, like, 20 years of school, and you just don't understand why, like, words are hard. That'd be, like, so, so hard. Nice. Present for ya! Little shit. <laughs> Such a waste, like that's such an ego blade. It's such a waste. Such a waste. No regrets. No regrets. Present for you. Yeah, I got a present for you, mate. Dude, one of my tags, it was uncalled for. It was very uncalled for. One of my tags is Mata Mata D's. That's right. Oh, great res. Great res. Got no cleanse. God. Oh my god, bro. Dude, our supports are just having a rough time because the trade trade is doing work, man. It's doing work. Thanks, Tech. Oh, it's exactly a year. Nice, dude. Nice. Prices are higher. They might be. They did something a few years ago where they changed the pricing to like local pricing, which I think is good. Like it made some country subs cheaper, like if the exchange rate or whatever. Um, but I think it like I mean, tier one sub in Australia is eight bucks. It used to be six, but it used to be five bucks American, which was roughly. Eight bucks. Um, I appreciate that, Tech. Thanks so much, man. My heart is like so full. Like the, the last, like the Christmas stream, we did the recap stream, New Year's Eve, like seeing all the old faces. I'm doing new games. I'm doing new things. Sponsors I have tournaments, casting, like oh, it's just everything's so fresh. So, so fresh. I'm so, I'm so, it's not often that I'm hopeful for the future. I always like kind of dread it. It's like, oh, I'm so behind on everything. The future's like, the past sucks. Currently it sucks. Of course the future's going to suck. I'm actually, oh, I'm so excited. I hope we, I hope we crush this year. You know, I'm sure we're going to have ups and downs. I'm sure we're going to have, we're not perfect. We're human. We're going to have times where we are offline. We're going to have some, we're going to have mistakes. We're going to fuck up, but can't be worse than 20 hours a day of DVD for fucking months. Oh my god. How did I, how is that a thing? And that's such hyper focus, dude. <laughs> such pain. I've almost got blade. Oh my god, the mercies. Yeah. GG. Dude, the tracer blade fucking super good. Um, our poor bat man, our poor bat. You still touching? Well played. GG well played. Yeah, great job. Great job. Fun game. Fun game. The uh, hamster's doing a lot of damage, but not getting kills. Unfortunately. Needed, needed a front line, I think. That was a good game. How did I manage to win that fight with some actually talking? Dude, I, I don't use 100% of my brain. <laughs> like, that's why when I play DVD, I need three monitors and I need chat interaction. Like, I never played DVD in 4,000 hours. I never played offline. Because the idea... The idea of staring at a screen at one game for 20 minutes. Oh my God, I'm bored thinking about it. I need extra stuff. I need like a YouTube video and uh, a different game on my phone. Like I need extra stuff. Whereas Overwatch, Overwatch is, that's, Overwatch is so chill to me. Um, I've played like so many hours of it. 
and I'm like I'm so familiar with Genji that I can just I said like Genji's not thinking. If I have to think, that's when I fuck up. Whenever I have this is the same as when I play sport, by the way. When I play tennis, I lose games with people that are shit at the game. They hit lollipops or they hit short at the, at the service line at the um uh, like yeah. I, I, I lose games. I lose games to people that are very bad. But if someone's like belting balls, if someone's like uber good, that's when I do, that's when I play good. And it's the same as Overwatch. Like if there's too much time to think, if it's if it's too much time, then I go like, my brain goes, should I do this, should I do this, should I do this? I'm dead. In tennis, oh, the ball's a lob. Okay, should I go left, should I go right, should I do this? Oh, I miss. But if it's just intense, fast paced chaos, I'm not thinking, I'm just reacting. It's just my lizard brain. My subconscious brain is just mindlessly muscle memory. If I have to, th if I have to take, think, that's when I start not getting focused. Although if you watch us play the tournaments, like we, we played quite well in the tournaments. Um, I was very happy with how we played considering we were versing top 500 cards. It's like, you know, my teammates were amazing as well. I'm not taking any credit here. You know, we did get MVP, but again, not taking credit here, but I played really well in the tournaments, um, much better than I play in comp. And that's because I, there were stakes and I was super focused. I was laser focused. I didn't read a single, I didn't get distracted once. I was super fucking focused. But if there's no stakes, I can't get into that flow state, that hyper focus. Comp is like, I don't care if I'm masters or plat or if I can't, I can't even care if I win. If I cared about winning, I'd be in voice chat. I'd be coordinating, I'd be in game leading. I'd be swapping, I'd be counter picking. I'd be strategizing, I'd be all that sort of shit. I don't really care about winning. I'm having fun on Genji. So there's no stakes, but for the tournament, it's stakes. Every life or death, every team fight has impact. That's when I'm focused. So like mindlessly playing Genji, it's just a lizard brain, lizard brain. So like I'd probably play worse. Like, cause when I play Watch offline, I don't, um, I don't just sit here and focus. I have two YouTube videos going. I got Facebook messenger open. I got discord open on this screen. I'm on my phone on Snapchat. I'm doing a future spinner. I'm doing this. I'll play like, I might even play, um, slay the spire in queues or like play it during like respawning i'm always uh doing multi things to keep me uh engaged i need like max stimulation otherwise i'm just <laughs> brain dead um thanks for the sub tech how many loonies and toonies were it for you it was 650 okay and that's more expensive than it used to be Can canadian dollars are very are like almost the same as american right they're very similar very similar uh, your name is hilarious, but I don't understand what word you typed. Is the exchange, is it, is it not the same exchange room? I thought it was like, I mean, I don't know why I thought that. I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. So pretty similar. Like, cause I think it's about, yeah, it's about the same as Australia. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Cause I'm pretty certain in America it's five USD, five USD or four ninety nine. Interesting. Play the game where you don't give a fuck. Yeah, if you get, um, like, that's why I stopped playing CSGO because I cared about the winning. I cared about the result. So I wouldn't have fun if I lose. I only cared about the result. And I've started playing CS again recently, actually. And it, I'm, I'm definitely, I still have that, like, frustrated teenager inside me. But it's just about, like, you know, if you don't give a fuck, you, if you're always, always having fun. If, you, if your fun is related to the result of winning or losing, and winning or losing is in the hands of your teammates, you're always going to be miserable. Always gonna be miserable. Seven bucks, okay. Does it cost 650 Yola? Why is it cheaper for tech? You got five fifty cents off. Yo, scam. Scam. That that could be without the 25%. The 25% runs out in like under a day. Do you think I was stupid until I told you dyslexia? I never diagnosed. I was in primary school, support to primary school. They remove support. Wow, your parents didn't want to tell you when you have a label. Yeah. The most disgusting foods. Um, I bloody. Um, a few months ago, we did a, a month of charity streams. Um, we raised two and a half grand for uh, Cancer Council Australia. Um, and one of the charity goals that I said, I said every time, every time uh, someone donates to the charity, I'll do a bean boozle. Um, one of the goals was, I was about to say, there's nothing in here. It's empty. Yeah, it's empty. One of the goals was eating all the bean boozles in one go. So if you haven't seen bean boozle, it's like the birdie bots, like from Harry Potter. So you can get like, 
they all look the same. You'll get like a, a the the blue bean. It could be either toothpaste or berry blue. The uh, the pink one could either be a strawberry banana or dead fish. So it's just a gamble. Eating all of these in one go was fucking horrible. Probably the worst thing I ever ate. Besides your mum. I think that's probably the worst thing I've ever ate in recent memory. Junker Town. Why are you getting hosed? At least my maximum is unfortunate. You can always you can always improve that. You know? He's gotta stop the stop the So what sort of berries? Yeah, dude. I mean, like, I remember you being relatively physical. You know, obviously working in a computer company. There's a lot of sitting right in an office, I imagine. But, um, I swear you used to send me photos of, like, literal lumberjacking, right? Like, cutting down logs for the fire and stuff. Farming is gonna, yeah, like, it's, you don't, you don't often see, like, obese farmers. You know, most of them have, like, got a gut, but they're pretty strong and active. You know, you never see an obese Amish person. So if you, if you start farming, you'll start getting fit again, man. Exercising in Canada and Sweden must be so hard. Like, can you even go for a run without dying of frostbite? Gonna bring your snow boots to the gym, dude. That's the word. That's okay. That's the only thing I don't like about like those snowy countries. Like I love sport. Like I don't like winter in Australia because like I play sport. You can't play tennis in Canada. You can't do parkour in Canada. You can't go. I can probably go rock climbing. But or I guess you can do snowboarding and skiing. That's really fun. That's kind of cool. That's exciting. 50, hey? All right. I don't know if I believe you, dude. You're giving me, like, troll vibes. But if that's true, that's a lot. Indoors? But you, you run indoors? Do parkour with the skates? The skates? Skates? 28. Okay, were you, like, uber stoned? 58 pickled sausages? That is the worst munchies I've ever heard of. Your goal, your your goal for 2024 should be to not give in to peer pressure. If your friend tells you to eat 58 pickled hot dogs, you tell them to get fucked. <laughs> Zero degrees. That's mild. Zero degrees is mild. That's crazy. I gotta convert convert to pounds. What are you doing using pounds? Unless that's kilos. What are you doing using pounds? That's your neighbors to the south. Ping. I'm on. Oh yeah. Okay, we're on a Singapore server. Dude, I'd rather have ping and have. Uh, I don't think ping's that impactful. Like, I gotta buy. Um, I, I want a guy. Uh, asked Hoshi the other day. Hoshi um uses a VPN called Exit Lag. I want to get a VPN because when I stream in the morning, um, the, the queues are very slow in the morning because people in Australia are like working and doing productive stuff. How dare they? Um, so a lot of the Overwatch streamers that stream in the morning, because you want to stream in the morning or late at night, because only like 2% of Twitch is Australian, like 90% is American. So if you want to grow and viewers and all that sort of stuff, you know, not live on Audi pizzas, it's important to stream in the good time zones. Um, but you can't play Overwatch in the American time zone because the queue times are too long, so everyone VPNs. This didn't reflect the, uh, the A36 tactical grenade, as if. I can't. Yeah, it's good. Oh, again, I'm not doing very well, am I? Oh, I got, I got, a infinity more kills than um, uh, than our Sombra. Any Torps with Tracer? I don't feel like Torb would be good here. Oh, it's probably be too bad. We only got a minute left. I'm not stopping a Torb. We'll try to do something with our blade. Let me get it. Oh, my God, get owned. Oh my god. Dude, this Tracer played terrible when they're on my team. They, well, they've been terrible. I mean, I don't know. They've been pretty good. And then the two times I versed them, maybe they avoided me. They've been playing insane. They've been playing so good. Maybe they just got having supportive teammates. They're playing so good. They really warmed up, man. I'm actually super impressed. I mean, as a Genji player, I can't really do much against Tracer. Um, they play super good. Well played. 
Did you fall down? I don't know what that means, people. You gotta speak. You gotta speak. I only speak English. If it's slang, I don't understand. Indoor tennis court? No shit. But like, how big are the indoor courts? Because you need. Oh my god. This trace is actually destroying me. Actually destroying me. Well played, man. Like, there's nothing to say. I'm, I'm getting outplayed. I'm getting outskilled. Skilled if true. Dylan. Fly away. Oh, dude. Okay, blading on 120 ping. That felt so weird. That felt so weird. Like, it wasn't. That felt so strange. Okay, we capped, thank God. I'll get Torb. I'll get Torb. Oh, Snow. Nice. Dad and mum won't let her. That's rough, dude. That's rough. I'm very, uh, like, my parents have got a lot of stigmas. Like, both my parents refuse to even consider getting diagnosed. Oh, like, you know, they, they're so symptomatic. <laughs> like, um, they, like, my parents have got a really weird opinion towards, like, med medication. Like, my mum's like, oh, that's a drug. Like, my mum will take, like, herbal things and all this weird stuff. I'm like, why do you dislike medicine? Like, what what science has done is we've taken the plant that does good stuff, and we've taken the stuff in the plant that's good and put it into a pill, so you don't have to eat the plant. She loves all that stuff, um, which is it was difficult in terms of like, you know, uh, me, my, my, me and my brothers have struggled with depression and stuff, so like, they're much more a fan. They were much more a fan of you know it's education. Like they they're trying their best. They're well intentioned, and um, I'm very thankful for support and stuff. But they are boomers. So a lot of their opinions are old opinions and they're wrong opinions. Um, and considering I have a science degree and I'm pretty literate, it's like, how do you still believe this? Like they just won't even, won't even uh, consider the possibility that I might be right in what I'm talking about in some things. So like with like depression, it's like, I don't want to be on a pill for the rest of my life every day. It's like, why? You want to be sad every day? What do you mean? Like there's, 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 there's that odd stigma for it, you know? But there are, they do, they do try to learn and stuff. Cause like, you know, baby boomers days, it was just, there was no such thing as oppression. It was like harden the fuck up. Someone would randomly just kill themselves and be like, oh, I guess he was sad. Cause he couldn't talk about it. Um, I am Rakali, dude, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to end. But goddamn, the lovely Val raided me with all of her sweet community. And then now all of my American and Canadian friends are popping in that I haven't seen for ages. I don't stream at 2am anymore, and I'm also having a lot of fun, and the queues are quick, and I don't want to go to the gym, so I'm procrastinating. I should go to bed. This is a bad ult, probably. Is he dead? Never mind, I'm a god. Torb god! Overtime! Best Torb, OCE. Till well after I recovered. That's rough, man. What's that badge, Rudzi? What's that badge? I can't. I don't want to tab. Just have a look at it. I haven't seen that badge before. This is the first time I've seen it. Like it's um, you know, like multiple members of my family, like all of us brothers, three brothers, all had our own struggles. You know, I had periods of like serious, so like I won't get too into it. Like it, it's a miracle that I'm still alive. Put it that way. Um, it's a miracle. And then like when they, you know. When uh, I moved home, like I, uh, I was walking around a house, like in tears every day. Like I can't do this. I can't like just freaking out. And I ended up having to move home like overnight. And like when my parents saw me in tears every day for like weeks, it's kind of like, okay, there must be something to this, you know? And they're like very understanding and stuff. They're just uneducated. Um, and it's hard to explain because like, I remember, I mean, maybe I was, I don't know if maybe I'm wrong, but I remember, yo, what's up Sham? I remember um, like not being depressed and I couldn't really empathize with people that said that. I'm like, you know, just get over it. Like I just got raised like that. And then when I got depressed, I was like, oh shit, I totally understand. But it's impossible, it's impossible to um, to 
you just can't relate. If you haven't been through it, you just can't relate. You come an interesting time. We're just uh, we're just like shit talking right now. Good to see you, Sham. How are you, man? How are you, dude? Oh, this might be funny for you, Sham. You might find this funny. Um, I was going through, I was going through all the, uh, like, so today I went through like all my emails since October. I was very behind on them. And one of the emails was like the Twitch partner email, like the partner email. Um, and because there was the there was the, I don't know if I can share this. I feel if I, if I show this, I'm, I don't know if I'm breaching confidentiality. I don't want to get in trouble. Um, okay. Awesome. MJ. Um, what was I going to say? Um, in the, cause like, obviously you're at the partner, the partner event with me. We've got the photos. So in the partner event, there's, there's the photos out. Thanks for coming to the, our first Adelaide partner event, you know, and what they said in the email, they said, it's the first time we've held a partner event in a non-major city. <laughs> What? What is this backhand compliment, Twitch? What do you mean Adelaide's a non-major city? We're number one. How dare they? Aren't we too old for flattery? There's a photo of me and you, like there's a few photos of me and you, like sitting in the chairs and stuff. Non-major city. How dare they? How dare they, filthy Eastern Staters? Good to see you, Beeves. I'm coming with the raid, man. No worries, Tech Geddon. Great to see you, man. You've taken me on a trip down memory lane, dude. I appreciate it. Hopefully I see you again soon. Good luck with the farming and stuff, dude. Thanks for the resub. I appreciate it. Yeah, turret is pain. Like, you want to put turret on off angle. So, like, for them to get that turret, they've got to be here. This is not the best turret spot. But, like, I like putting the turret here because they're going to be here fighting us. They have to turn their back to us. Get the turret. But their tracer is super good. And the hamster can just get rid of it. Yeah, like... It's all right. I'll be a sniper. Try to two tap the mercy. I actually got stuck with that. Like, can you one tap a tracer? No, I don't. Can't do anything with this fucking. I guess I'll just sit back with my Anna. Dude, where are the sounds? The sounds are so weird right now. Yeah, non major. How's your stream, dude? Playing some CS? Dude, I got, uh, I got placed in, I did 10 games of Mirage in comp. I hadn't played CS in ages. I got put in silver, silver three. I, I got like a 36 bomb in one of the games, which is more, I guess it's more impressive now because um, it's only 13 rounds. I'm used to the, the 16, 14. Um, I used to be global. I used to be fucking global. I placed me in silver three. Oh, it's so frustrating, dude. Like when you spectate your teammates, it's just like, oh my God, their movement. Like my aim's rusty as fuck. It's like, oh my God, they don't even know how to break the keyboard. Or like you're playing A-Site and you're like, what is my teammate looking? Oh, he's hiding in Sandwich. He's looking at nothing. Like, you watch A-Main or Palace, please? Like, we'll have to play sometime. Yeah, we will, dude, we will. CS is, uh, I've only ever played CS once on stream in the last five years because I used to rage so fucking hard. I'm, and I, I feel that like competitive twinge. But if we, had a, if we had a five stack, if we had a five stack, that'd be cool to chill. That'd be cool to chill. Then it's like, uh, not too stressed. Look at that. Oh man, this Tracer is playing so fucking well. Oh so fucking well. Also, oh, they're bashing. has got 20k damage. Jesus Christ, bro. Jesus Christ. Thanks for following, mate. If you're brand new here, I'm Scary Drop Bear. I'm streaming for fucking ever. Uh, used to be a DBD nerd for like four years. Now I'm doing uh, a lot of Overwatch, but we're doing like FPS variety. Played some finals, played some Hunt Showdown. We're doing FPS variety right now. We did some Dark Souls this year, last year. So, uh, and we have a big focus on, like, as you rated me, we we're talking about mental health. We have a massive focus on mental health and, like, positivity and all that, like, cringy shit. <laughs> Talk a lot about that stuff. Is real real? Might be fun, man. Might be fun. No reason why we couldn't. It's, um, I'm still trying to get, I'm dead here. I'm still trying to get comfortable, uh, playing with people because, like, I feel weird. Like, if I voice chat with five people, then I can't talk to stream. And if I if I don't voice chat with the people I'm playing with, I feel rude to them. So it's like, as long as you guys don't mind if I'm, like, muted. Um, yeah, what were, you, were you doing that? What were you doing today? Also, if you had a raid run, go to bed. No stress, dude. No stress, brother. I understand. Oh, should I ult this? Yeah, I should. Okay, my load is on the cart. No, I can still push it. What am I doing playing? <sighs> oh, 
I want to play. I want to play Genji, but I can't. I'm getting fucking. I can't kill a 900 health hamster. I can't play Cassidy. I can't. Mm, I can't play Cassidy. I'm not very good. My aim's terrible. That's fair. That's fair, dude. I appreciate the raid, man. I appreciate it. Super kind. Super kind. Dude, Twitch Island was so cool this last year. Impossible. Oh my god. I gotta deal with a ball, or a Roadhog, or a fucking Malga. I don't mind Roadhog. Give me Roadhog any day of the week. I can't aim, bro. As if I didn't get her. Oh, I'm also on 120 ping. We're on a Singapore server. So it's late night. Getting owned. Getting fucking owned. I don't think I've had a shield tank or a diva once this game. Like, once this stream. I've only had, like, balls and roadhogs and, like, no frontline. Oh, I'm just complaining. I'm just looking for excuses why I'm playing badly. 120 ping. My frame drops. Everything's... Wah, wah, wah. Yeah, do it, dude. Do it. No reason why you can't. You'll probably be terrible at the game and probably low rank. But you'll still have fun. Overwatch is more like... I don't know if you ever played TF2. Like, it's very similar to that. This is the worst point for a hog because we have to... Oh, I actually hit her. We have to hide here. We have no front line. We're just getting poked out so hard. Wait, literally can't do anything. Literally can't do anything. Oh, that might be the end of the Overwatch. 120 ping with like, I'm not playing very well. I've had like 11 losses in a row. My team hasn't been very good any of the games. I'm not playing very well either. Plus the ping. Plus it's 2.30 in the morning. I can bring on it. Dude, you could, you could breed with your nutsack on 4,000 ping. I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. I mean, it's uh, it's 2.30 a.m. and on a weekday. And it's high rank. It's high rank. So Masters is the top 3%. Masters is top 3%. So I was trying to match make... It's trying to match make out of like 3% of the whole Overwatch population in off-peak hours on a weekday. It's um... Like Australia's only got 25 million people. So like every game, every game at high rank is um is long queue times. Like the queue times have been very fast. They've been very, very fast. It's just, um, you just see the same players and stuff. I can't believe we won that. Great job, Roadhog. Great job, Anna, Anna too. I think getting that pick on Anna was, uh, helped there as well. Have a great one, Sham. Good to see you, man. Good to see you, dude. It was, uh, nice meeting you this year and hanging out. Thanks for the raid. I appreciate it. Sham's good people. If you like, uh, CSGO and chill streams, like Adelaide streamers, we're the best, clearly. Non-major city, my ass. I'm gonna get slept, aren't I? Never mind, I'm getting peeled by the Bastion. Dude, I, we can't do anything about a Bastion up there getting damaged with. We can't do anything. I would sell... I would sell... I, I'm, I'm talking about nuts too much today. I'd sell my, my nuts out for a fucking diva today. <laughs> Yeah, the same people. I mean, it's the same in DBD. It's the same, no matter what game you play in Australia, if you play at high rank on off-peak hours, you'll see the same people. Dude, he hit 30k damage. He might have had... How much damage? 25k damage. That's so good, dude. That Bastion was playing fucking um, training range. 25k damage. That's super cool. That's so much damage, man. Dude, their Mercy just AFK damage boosting. Okay, look at this. You GM yet? I don't want to fucking talk about Chris. I want to talk about it. It's a 120 pin game getting owned. Look at this. Look at this. It's been fucking rough. It's been rough on the streets, bro. It's been rough. Yeah, it's been rough. I'm getting sent back to fucking plat, bro. Oh, well, dude, like, that's I'm, I've been saying this all around. Being Masters 2, I'm in GM and top 500 lobbies. It's so hard. I shouldn't be there. Like, I've had a tank player a few times that's, that's 380th. Top 500 tank player on my team. I'm a platinum Genji. I was, I've been plat one all the seasons, and then I hit Masters 2 the next season. Oh my God, it's been rough, dude. But I, I have fun playing Genji no matter what. You know, it'd be nice to win. But I don't think I, don't think I want to rank up any higher. I don't want to start, like, when you get into that sweaty stage of, like, you know, most people that are like elite gamers, 
they generally have like a massive ego because like you need that it's, a, it's an advantage you want to be super competitive super ego but most of them are like 19 year old shit cunts <laughs> i'm just generalizing here not specifically about any community um snow is a is a is a, the opposite of that which is uh why he's awesome but generally like the the highest ranks because it's so serious it's so serious we've got to play the exact meta we've got to do the exact thing uh, this play is going to be super serious Every, like all that matters is the win i don't i don't want to stress over the the wins did you just wake up by the way chris i know you're as uh crazy with me with the sleep oh, it's been rough dude dude i had i had a 67 percent win rate on genji over like 100 games has it tanked okay i still have i still have a 57 percent win rate on genji so a 57% win rate and we've played, you know, what? 100 games or something? Oh, you're in Melbourne. Oh, nice. You saw you're over there for New Year's. Oh, it went well, dude. It went well. I still got 57% win rate on Genji um, out of, you know, 17 hours. It's just... <sighs> so we played, we've had 130 games. Yeah, I had a uh, like high 60s. We got some, we got some cool things. I got an Ash play of the game. When are going to Ash play the game? I'm not paying any attention. Oh, this was a good blade. This was a good blade. Let's look at the one good thing I did tonight. Look at this blade. Oh, this, this, I just, I love this. Oh, dash resets. Oh my God. Target tracking. Look at that. Not a single wasted slash. Not a single wasted slash. Tracking. Like before I blade, I have like, I take like a snapshot of like the players in my head. Like once I roughly know, I'm like, okay, sports are here. The, and then like I 180 and I predict, like I try to predict, I'm gonna watch that again because I, I played so badly tonight. This is the only good thing. Yeah, no, I mean, you're really good Zen. You should play bat, you should play bat. I don't think we wasted a slash. I think that slash hit. Animation cancel at the end. Ah, love it. Love it. <laughs> what else did we do? I've had my aircon on all the way. All the way till 2 3rd in the morning. All right. I think this must be the start. I picked off, I picked the Mercy and then the Anna and then the junk wrap. I think it was an attack here. Male, male was watching me play Ash. So nervous, man. He's too good at the game. Yep, perfect. Perfect. Zero misses. Oh, wonderful. Oh, great. Look at that. Look at that. I guess that was that was play of the game, I guess. Queen, Ramacha, and Malga. Dude, Junky Queen is so fun. I this year, we're definitely doing our tank placements. Like, if if I uh if we go um if I go all modes. Yeah, I've, I've got a, like 400 hours on my old account as well. So I got almost 2,200 hours. Most, pretty much all of it's in quick competitive. The unranked gameplay, that was when I was depressed for a year and all I did was play Lucio quick play. I just played Lucio quick play from morning till night. Um, just like trying to distract myself. That's all I was doing. And I wasn't winning. I'm, I'm terrible at Lucio. But that's where those hours come from. Um, that was in the in the loot boxes. Um, someone, people kept asking me like, did I buy a lot? Because I had like 350 loot boxes unopened. Um, and it was just from quick play. Just from quick play. Wasn't because I bought them or anything. They're like, why don't you open them? I'm like, I don't care. Hanzo, that was scatter every days. Um, but like, let's what's my most what's my most played tank? I guess I played 51 hours of Roadhog at some point. That was probably I've never done tank placements. So um this must have been quick play overwatch one. Or actually, you know what this is from? That's probably from hog fishing. 12, 12 hooks, one hole or whatever. That's probably from like in queues. You play the custom game modes. It's probably from uh, Roadhog Fishing. Zarya, I played a bit. Zarya is really fun because she's a DPS. Diva. The first time ever I played, the first time I ever played Junk Queen was like a few weeks ago when I was queuing as uh, Snow and the friends. Um, and they were like, are you, you're really good at Junk Queen. I'm like, am I? It's the first time I've ever played it. She's so easy, but also she's so fun. She's just, I had a lot of fun playing Junk Queen. So I think we're going to do our tank placements this year. And um, I don't want to like, I don't want to play tank, like the role. I want to play DPS with more health. I don't want to have to hold a shield. I want to have to peel for my sports. Fuck all that. I'm holding W and inting. I'm going to play Junk Queen. I'm not going to like group up and like wait for the team. 
Fuck that. I am just holding W and charging. That's all I'm doing. That's I don't want to play the role of tank. Like I, I'm been tempted to try support just because Kiri's a DPS. Like I can get around Kiri, the wall climb and stuff. I can get around that. But I don't want to actually heal. I don't want to actually play support. I don't want to support the team. I want the team to support me. I'm very selfish. You guys support me and then I'll carry. You don't support me, then we'll all lose. <laughs> Jungle Queen's fun, man. But yeah, like, I don't know why I have three minutes on Malga. I don't know why I have. I think I played Malga briefly. So just so I could press F1, I played Malga in the training range, just so I could press F1 and learn what the ability is called. Because when I'm for casting Overwatch, I got to actually know the abilities, the names. Um, like I, I don't even have, I don't even have, um, I don't even have them unlocked. I don't even have, not Ramatra. I don't think I have Ramatra unlocked. Like in, um, in comp, that must be, I don't know. I don't know, Jungle Queen, I get behind. Jungle Queen seems like, Sigma also, I played a little bit of Sigma. Like this three hours of recently. Sigma seems pretty easy. Like it's, it's very basic to understand. Um, just throw fucking rocks at people. Why is the rock called accretion? What is what is accretion? Accretion is, it sounds like a dirty word. I just accretioned over you. It sounds dirty. Why is it called accretion? It should just be called big rock. Big rock. Give dude, give him a Geodude skin. Geodude skin win. Crossover with fucking Pokemon. Do that. I know Crest would love that. Give him like a give him a what's it? Geodude, Machamp, Machop? No, Machop, Machamp. Give him the Machamp skin. So when he throws rocks, that'd be good. And I play like no support. What's my most played support hero? I guess Brig. I guess I did nine hours of Brig at some point. This would all be from like in 2,200 hours, this would all be from like gun games, like Gun game workshop maps or like random hero maps. That's what this is what all, all these hours will be from. It'll be like one second at a time. All right, what are you doing? I can wold. Oh, dude, please tell me this is a solo blade on the tracer. She spawn camped me and she's like, got a present for you. Solo blade of the fuck out of it. Now I was doing this. She was, she wanted to remake on my head. She was hunting for it. Oh, and then we just get like a, uh, we just get her on the way out. Not bad. What are to Oh, we actually did. We actually did clutch the end of the game. Got a double load. Need to throw in Big Mercy? I think, I think, uh, we're gonna call it there. Um. Uh, I should go to the gym at 2 30 in the morning. I should. I should. Because I, uh, I've been like a little bit, not nervous, but like I have, I've been having the gym a while, so I haven't wanted, haven't wanted to go on there, to go there when there's like when it's busy. So I wanted to go back to the gym for the first time when it um I wasn't watching when it's quiet. It should be if there's anybody there at 3 a.m. I'm gonna be so mad, so mad. You grew up in Samoa? That's cool as fuck. Also, did you tell me what the um what the the badge is? What's that badge? Dude, we clutched it. We were like three people down. Got the tracer, got the hamster. Uh, Quilly comes around occasionally. Whenever Quilly has a few beers, he posts in the Discord. Um, I see Quilly occasionally. Occasionally, I think he likes to lurk. Um, haven't seen, uh, yeah, tiny Asian kid. Haven't seen him in forever. Um, but I mean, like I saw Viking Bear the other day. You know, Copycat's here, Tech Geddon was here. There's a lot of, um, a lot of OGs. What was this? Did we do anything good on Savasa? It was definitely a blade. Oh, this guy was AFK. I think it was quick play, actually. Dude, that's so hard. I got to deflect like both directions. Dash reset. Get this. Oh yeah, not bad, not bad. We record a stream. It's I'm I don't want to stream at two a.m. Like I I I I feel much better when I have sunlight. And when I touch grass, but it's so fun streaming late night. I'm such a night owl. It's quiet. I like I stream for four years between 11 p.m. and 7 a.m. So like I built my community in this time zone. So like streaming in Australian time zones, I don't get to see you, copycat. I don't get to see all my international friends. It's just such a shame. I gotta spend. I gotta spend my chat talking to fucking Australians. I talk to Australians every day. I'm sick of Australians. <laughs> That's not true. That's not true. Yeah, dude, 64 month resub. Um, we're gonna call it there, guys. We're gonna call it there. Um, if you're brand new to the stream, um, make sure you follow so you can find your way back. Uh, Overwatch is pretty much our main game at the moment. I'm 
trying to be a variety streamer. Um, but we're variety FPS, so we're doing a lot of finals, a lot of other stuff. Um, and last year we played in four tournaments. Four, we played a bunch of tournaments. We won two tournaments back to back. The third tournament, I was like, I can't win three in a row. It's a bit rude. So instead of playing, I casted it, which was also so much fun. It's so hard to decide. Do I want to cast it or do I want to play? They're both so much fun. So there, I'm sure there's going to be more tournaments this year. There's going to be, like we're on the Battle.net launcher twice last year. Right. Oh, fuck. Front page six months. What? Oh my God. Blowing my mind. Yo, Prime Gamer. Thanks, mate. I appreciate that. Yeah, you guys have got 24 hours, like under 24 hours of the 25% off. Um... Twitch is doing the special bonus thing. It ends January 3rd, 3 a.m. Australia. So January 2nd for non-Australians. Um, and the, the gifted sub 25% off. This is a brand new hype train as well. Um, there's my sales pitch for the year. <laughs> it's all really busy hours. Yeah, don't like after school, it gets busy too. Dude, send me a Snapchat of you at the gym. And then if I don't go to the gym, I feel guilty because I'll, oh my God, it, this... This fucking French guy's going to the gym. I gotta, I gotta go to the gym as well. Thanks for sub, man. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Also, some of the upcoming stuff this year. We're gonna be doing an I, a bunch of IRL streams. We're gonna be doing an IRL pool stream, um, like billiards, French. Oh, sorry. Um, you're Italian, right? Italian. You're from Holland. Where are you from? <laughs> oh man, I love fucking with you. Um. Yeah, so we're going to be doing an ice bath. We're going to be doing a, a billiard stream, like a pool stream, eye roll stream with one of the mods. Um, we're going to do the giveaway, the Logitech giveaway. Um, more stuff might be coming this year as well, which is exciting. Um, I also got offered partner with a, a, a drink company. They sent me some stuff. Very tasty. So I got to get back to them. True Austria moment. Yeah, fair play. I deserve it. I deserve it. Um, but more more tournaments, more we're going to be so much more casting. I'm loving casting. So um, hopefully you'll see me casting really fun yeah i'm so bad. thanks for hanging out today guys i appreciate all the raids all the follows what a great start to the 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 new year this is gonna be a good year it's gonna be a great year um do jump in the discord if you want to we honestly have a fucking great discord i know every streamer says that but they're all wrong our discord's fucking awesome even if you join it just to look at the doggo channel holy shit dude serotonin on wheels the doggo channel um i'm active on twitter active on the other stuff vod channels YouTube stuff's going to be coming. I'm editing a thirst trap on TikTok right now. Bunch of stuff. Um, all right, I'm out of here. See you later, dickheads. Do we, you know what? Let's find someone to raid. I haven't raided someone in ages. I think I do. If I don't have a tattoo channel, just put it wherever. Put it wherever. And if it's wrong, I'll yell at you. We haven't done a raid in ages. I've been getting really comfortable, like, not raiding people. I've just been, like, ending stream. Because, like... <laughs> I don't want to sit there and talk to people. Um, <laughs> I want to go to sleep. But let's... Who can we raid? Dude, we can raid Pestily. Um, he had like 100k views the other day. Drops go crazy. He's he's such a good streamer. He's such a good person as well. Let's see if anyone else needs the help though. Oh, we can raid them. They're lovely. I'm never up this time. So, okay. Okay. Um, we're going to raid a DBD streamer. I know. Gross. This is my mate Gaza. Gaza is wonderful. He just started his stream too. So we're gonna have um, you're gonna have a lots of content coming in. If you want to do the raid command, you're welcome to. I like this emote. Just spam his channel with the BBC. Um, we're gonna go raid my friend the Hot Cross. He has a Danny DeVito emote. Um, he goes by the Sunshine Cunt or something. <laughs> He's wonderful. He's very lovely. He's very lovely. Um, the the DVD people that I still hang around with, um, they're exceptionally lovely. Uh, DBD is a, a fun game to watch, so we'll get that raid started. Go be nice to him. Go spam his channel. He's very nice. Very nice. He's got Magnum Dong as one of his... <laughs> Magnum Dong as one of his tags. I love it. I love it. Anyone that's a fan of Always Sunny in Philadelphia is, like, my favorite person. My fa is it a Danny DeVito? Like, a alive... Oh, my God, he's great. He's great. Go be nice to him. Say that uh, some Australian dickhead sent you. All right, is the raid loading? Why is it not working? How do I... Oh, we gotta wait. 132 viewers ready to raid. We got more people to raid? Dude, let's get 169 people. Oh, what a great start. I'm so happy. Thanks for the raids today from Val and from Sham. I've been hanging out. Thanks for all the viewers today. I appreciate it. It's been really sweet. Um, and it's such a nice feeling. Gary's been live for 12 minutes and we're about to drop 100, 132 people on his head. 
That is so sweet. What a great start to the stream for him. That's fantastic. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Um, I probably should be live tomorrow. Obviously, my sleep's fat and fox. I don't know. I'll be in the Discord. Um, but yeah, I hope you're excited for a great year. I am. And thanks for spending part of the start of the year with me. All right, I'm rambling. I'm out of here. See you later, dickheads. Love you guys lots. See you later. Goodbye.